We got Bill Burns Studio. Bill was telling me off mic that uh, he's been waiting a year for today. Yes. Who hasn't? No, just a whole year listening to Pat from Munaki Puke. That's like the funniest audio ever. Isn't that actually, great? I've actually a, been trying to little. explain it to people. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that sound is that gurgling, sucking chest it's wound. Hilarious. Kind of sound. A gallon of eggnog hitting a hefty bag. Yeah, yeah, it's always hilarious. And we learned that Pat from Monaki's in love with someone that's not in love with him. Uh, during the break, I hope the rest of America understands. We're all just walking around going, "Oh God, no! Oh, oh no. God, this is oh, just going to no. end in a suicide." Yeah, it's going to be bad. You can't explain. I was trying to tell my girlfriend about the audio with of the puking, and you cannot explain to a girl. The beauty of vomit audio. There's no way to make that translate yeah. across. Gender. No, the chicks just don't dig vomit no, audio. It's almost like Three Stooges type thing, or you know, it's oh, just yeah, it's a sl- girl gene. You think puke? It's a form of slapstick. Yeah, yeah, yeah it is. <laughs> it's one of those things that girls just go, I don't get it. It's disgusting. I don't. I don't get it. How do you go grow up? It's just stupid. I watched uh, Jackass Two. And there is a scene where Steve O is wearing some kind of space helmet thing, and he pukes in it, and it's it, <laughs> it's a glass fishbowl pretty much on his head, and he's vomiting into it, and it's filling up with puke, oh. and I'm roaring. It is just the funniest thing, and girls like just don't find that funny. I don't know why I find it funny, but it just is. <laughs> and she comes running in. She thinks you're watching, like, Sleepless in Seattle. <laughs> Tom Hanks said something cute. <laughs> <laughs> and and all you're getting is this. Oh. Yeah. We're, and we're, laughter. Guys are pretty simple. By the way, uh, professional camera dude, where are you from? From HDNet. HDNet is HDNet. filming the eggnog drinking contest? Yes, we are. We're going to have details on when this is going to air? All right, we'll uh, we'll keep everyone informed, but we got a HD real net. We got a real camera dude in today. Yes. HD net helping us out today. All right, bring in the contestants. You know, puking in widescreen. That's what it's all about, yeah, and right? It's high def, so you'll know exactly nice. what they had for dinner last night. High def digital video. Hey, Wonderful. I see some familiar faces. Sergeant Magoo, we got... Ah, oh, there's Sergeant Magoo. What a show he put on for the Pal Talkers yesterday. Did you hear about this, Bill? Uh-uh. Yesterday on Pal Talk, Sergeant Magoo, uh, we had a lot of people uh, come in and audition for this because we, we want uh, real contenders, not these slouches that are going to come in and be out in the first two shots. Sergeant Magoo, on Pal Talk, was home uh, drinking milk, eating sticks of butter... With ketchup on it. Oh, my God. And vomiting into Tupperware, which he then no. filled with Fruit Loops, <laughs> got a big spoon, and started eating. It was fantastic. It was like I was watching Ali back in the uh, late 60s, early 70s, kind of that type of champion. This is a man who obviously wants to win and has what it takes to win this competition. I like how they gave him the shoulder holster taping of his name. Yeah, well, what the hell are you guys doing? Taping name tags on these people. All right, well, hey, uh, where is that video, by the way, Sergeant McGill? Uh, right now, one person that was uh, filming, it got messed up, so we're trying to get the other people to get it up online right now. By the way, not just name tags. I asked for Stars of David. <laughs> Why don't I get what I... So we're trying to get it online. <laughs> yeah, the mic is a little low. Uh, what are we doing over there? We need a little more volume. I'm pinned over here. All right, and we also have uh, Dugout Doug is here from uh, a fine he website, oaexperience.com. That's how we promote it over here? Yes, sir. There you go. He runs a great fan site. Thank you. Also known as FBA, but you got to figure out what FBA stands for. But Pleasure. oaexperience.com to check out uh, Dugout Doug's fine uh, website. Has there been any uh, dissension in the ranks between the uh, whack bag uh, people and uh, FBA? Because I see a whack bag shirt over there. I know there's a board altercation going on between uh, Doug's board and uh, Whackbag board wars. It's all in good fun. Oh, it's all in good fun. Some of the stuff I read sure doesn't look like fun. No. You guys are hitting well below the who's, belt. Who's this gentleman here with the, that Danny's at the mic in front of with the Whackbag shirt? I'm Generoso. Oh, Generoso. Yes, I've seen your name uh, many times. Yeah, uh, yeah. Well, the fan sites are fighting all the time. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's just a battle. It's it's some kind of Lord of the Flies thing. I'm waiting for somebody to push a rock on. Uh, yeah, 
So I'm we, piggy, so, but I don't. I'm not sure which one is piggy. I think it's all of them. So we, we got a lot whack, of rocks. We got whack bag uh, representing today in the eggnog drinking contest. All the websites, by the way, are linked up on our site, opianthony.com. Who else we got? We want to talk to. We got Flea back there. I see he was p- putting on a show the other day for us. Yeah, Flea, how you doing? Doing pretty good. Skinny little bastard. You think you got a shot at this? Oh yeah, absolutely. No, yeah. you don't. You uh, you Stop. drank. He drank a lot. He drank a yeah. quart of milk, and then he drank a quart oh. of um, half and half, and he drank a quart of heavy cream. Uh, he did boof. You did uh, puke, but you kept drinking. Yep. Uh, you do know if you puke here, you're out. There's no uh, buyback. You can't absolutely. buy back in. Yeah, the contest is really easy. These guys are going to drink a double shot of eggnog every single minute until they puke. When they puke, they are out of the competition. How many contestants we're going with, guys? We got what, about 10 or so? 10. All right, we got 10 contestants. I see Pat, of course, the the favorite. Pat from Minaki has got to be the favorite. But uh, Love might, uh, might put a damper on his uh, competitive spirit uh, with this whole thing. He might, have, he might have to, you know, fill it. Oh, what? Oh, yeah, girl contest. Thanks, Steve. Have I we got it. any money going on? Anything going on here? Uh, there's a little action, a little side action. Side action. People are betting in their cubicles right now, Bill. But this is purely for uh, uh, the, just the... And you don't condone that kind of activity. No, we don't condone <laughs> a betting when it comes to uh, eggnog drinking till you puke. Why would we? Uh, we this, this, it's about dignity. It's not about betting and I money. Can't pick a favorite. You need some little skinny Asian guy. That's they're the ones we always. Oh, want to be. you got the skinny flea. Favorite and, was Pat. And we got a uh, chick this year. I, I don't think we've ever had a chick in the eggnog drinking yeah. contest. Yeah, you, you are the first, huh? Who are you? Uh, my name is May. I live here in New York. Hey, May. Hi. Big fan of the show? Absolutely. Uh, do you, do Who you... put your tape on, by the way? <laughs> <laughs> Made sure it went right over your Master left po- breast. Master Poe. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Master Poe in the parking lot. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah, so I bet this is like, I listened to it last year, year before. Yeah. So, and you, know? you really think you can get some shots down? Yeah, I think I'm How many do you think you're good for? I can probably do about 30. 30? Uh, are you a, uh, a woofer? Do you, I'm a, just a big eater. Can you, pu- can you puke, though, without a uh, problem? Yeah, I just usually don't puke. So. You don't puke. All right. Well, this is something that a lot of people that have never puked. Uh... Oh. <laughs> and she's confusing the audience. She's saying she's a big eater, but you're not a big girl. No. No, I'm just a big eater. And, by the way, someone has to say you have a lovely set there. Thank you. All the way, May. <laughs> oh, Hey. All, hey, hey! All the way, May. Leave all the way, May, out of this well, we're today. We're just saying maybe she'll be the champ and go all the way. Hey! Not, uh, not like you're all the way, May. You're nice, a great aunt. Nice they're staying on the back seat that a helicopter could land on. <laughs> Bill, remember the show where they went after your grandmother? Was yes. it your grandmother? Yes, it was. Where yes. they, the abuse was brutal? Well, yes. now they're uh, doing it to my great aunt. His great aunt is the actual All the Way May, the character that uh, Madonna played in League of Their Own. She, <laughs> his great aunt was the actual one. It's a true story. She's a nun now to try to make up for all the... Uh, hey, 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 hey. Well, hey. you know all the gentlemen were off fighting a war, so God knows uh, what she was with. No, all the way, Re- May. Retards, no. cripples, <laughs> and the entire Negro League. And, 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 and people with flat feet. <laughs> flat feet. No. Bunch of no. flat, flat p- footprints on the Studebaker windshield. <laughs> you know how much this could hurt. Don't don't go there. This hurts. Nah, just it's all the way, May, because she was a really good hitter. That's all. No. And she went around the bases a lot. Yeah, she's, she's <laughs> sure dead. All right. Heard a song about it once with Phil Rizzuto in it. <laughs> All right, who else do we want to talk Pat to? Pat wanted to say something while the girl was talking. Oh, Pat. Pat had something to yeah, in. Are right? you in love with her, too, now? No, I, no, I was just going to say, well, before you said it, I said, I think May's going to go all the way. So. Oh, oh, oh. They are so, oh, yeah. Okay. All right, Pat, well, thank you. Was born named uh, 4F? <laughs> all right. Uh, wow. I, 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 now, Pat was the favorite right up until today, for me, anyway. I would have put all my money on Pat. I think this love thing is going to screw you yep. up. I also think I'm filled up with love. It's gonna be in the back of your head that she's making out with somebody else in the hallway. You gotta be honest. Why'd you hear something? <laughs> you gotta be honest. <laughs> You're gonna be really distracted. You're gonna be thinking the whole time, God, is she uh, flirting or making out with someone in the hallway as I try to impress her by uh, drinking a lot of eggnog Why, today? Why'd you hear? <laughs> And who's uh, who's the guy in the blue in the back? Yeah, yeah now have... here's a guy that I'm thinking there might be a problem Jerry. with. Huh? Jerry. Jerry. What's up, Jerry? What's your story? Jerry. Uh, just listen to the radio. Yeah. I drink a lot of eggnog. Puke. Doug is saying, turn around. Why turn around? <laughs> oh, wow. You're, wow. Sweat, you're, you're sweating. sweating. Like a, Are you sweating? Nervous. Wait. A little nervous. Uh, you're, ta- you're about six, what? Four? Six, six. Six, six. Okay. And how, and how much do you weigh? 
Four sixty. Four sixty. Wow. He's our biggest competitor. You don't look yeah. four sixty though. You don't look four sixty. Because he's a very tall guy. Yeah, it's true. He looks three eighty. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Smelled three eighty. Now, what, do you, what have you have you done anything as far as uh, eating a lot or? Oh, wait, <laughs> Not on a daily basis. You think? <laughs> but I mean, he only eats one meal a day, but it's a water buffalo. <laughs> uh, what do you think your, your chances are? I think they're pretty good. Pretty good. Yeah. I did six pitches of beer in an hour and didn't blow. Oh, wow, Pat, six you're in trouble. in an hour. All right, Pat. I this, like this guy loosening up his neck, right there with the psycho haircut. Oh my God, who's yeah. this little fella? Psycho. Who, who are you? What's up? I was here last week. I was yeah. drinking milk. Oh, yeah, you're the milk, milk guy. guy. All right, okay. I, I didn't see you. He just spiked his you're hair up Danny. a little more. Yeah. Your your video's up on YouTube. It's getting oh, uh, yeah. viewed pretty well. I can find it. Yeah, it's up there. Just uh, throw Opie and Anthony in the search. Good deal. All right, anybody else we want to talk to? I see Sergeant Magoo has his Fruit Loops just in case he pukes. Yeah, Sergeant Magoo, uh, step up to him, Mike. Uh, uh, yes, gentlemen. Yeah, you brought the Fruit Loops now. In case uh, you puke, you're going to reenact what you did on Pal Talk with the Fruit Loops. Hey, I'm here to entertain. We're going to have some fun today, so I'll do whatever needs to be done. Well, not whatever, but yeah, you we'll know. have some fun. Yeah. All right. Anybody else we want to talk to? Anyone else have an interesting who's, story? Who's, who's the guy in the back there that I'm we lurking. didn't uh, speak to? Uh, your name, sir? Hi, I'm Shane. Hi, Shane. You're I'm Shane? The thing. I'm going to win it all. Oh, really? You think you're kind of just the... Uh, Absolutely. Richard Dreyfus. I'm a, I'm a closet eater. <laughs> <laughs> Whose colon is it anyway? You're, you're a closet eater? I'm a closet oh. eater, man. And me and my friends have little competitions. I always beat them, so I figure bring it out to the main stage. Really? Yep. All right. That's that full confidence I've seen so yep. many times. Yeah, oh we've God, seen it over the years. It's I, I, it's yeah. refreshing because then after a few shots, you ask him, how oh, you no. doing? He goes, well, it could be a problem. No, no, no. Absolutely not. <laughs> All right. All, All right. right. I think we're ready, Anethony. All the confidence. Who, who are you picking, uh... Ah, oh. uh, God, I want to go with Pat so bad. I want this love thing has got Wait, me. Has, the love has, thing. Has Pat won it yet? Didn't he? Like, yeah, the first he won, one. He won the first year one. He and should have won. Oh, last year. Last year he set the record but lost the contest. Yeah, oh, he lost. A weird thing where he took the, the shot that put him over the top. He had more shots than the other guy. There were only two left. But he puked before the other guy puked. It's all about who pukes first. Who there, pukes Bill. first. You got a minute to do that shot. And uh, Badlands decided he was going to sit and wait, wait it out. When Pat did the shot immediately, then Pat puked. Badlands didn't have to do the shot. And then he wow. and then he puked uh, pretty much right after Pat. It was yep. that close last year. So close. Hey Pat, what's finish. the record? Seventy-one. Right uh, seen the checkers flag. Right. Wait, Same thing. Sorry, sorry, everyone's talking. I, I'm sorry about that. I, I was yelling over you guys. But the the record is 71 double shots of eggnog. That's what we're looking for to, uh, today. Uh, do we have an organized squad that can fill all these cups? In the allotted time. All right, we own two guys. Didn't we have more last time? I don't like this. We might want to get a third guy, just in case. Just in case. If there's a problem on the first round, make sure we get some uh, ready re reserve in there. They look like they're gonna go Christmas caroling. Yeah. All yeah. right. Here's the deal. Uh, just to set it up for everybody at home, uh, it's the eggnog drinking contest. We got puke buckets all over the studio. We got tons of eggnog. Uh, these guys will do a double shot of eggnog every single minute until they puke. They puke, they're out. Until one guy is standing. And they will be doing it through commercial break. Yeah, well, we're going to take a, a break. Did we we're talk to you? No. Oh, okay, we didn't talk to him. Amish Beard. Real quick, uh, what's, what's <laughs> your name, sir? My name's Pat. Pat, and uh, where, where do you hail from? I hail from New Jersey. I was going to say Jersey. Ah, oh, jeez. Yeah, Jersey is just, you could see it a mile away. And uh, what's your story? I go to uh, the Connecticut School of Broadcasting. Oh, and, uh, oh boy. Good old CSB. And I want to intern here, but I figured this would be the better way of doing it rather than just applying. And not bad. Mess. All right. Not bad. Make sure you leave your info with Steve or somebody, uh, you know, leave it after you puke. Steve. And Rogan is, uh... <laughs> yeah, Joe Rogan is joining the party, too. All right, here we go. Why don't we get the contest going? We talked to you enough, please. Shut up. Oh, one quick check. What, what do you got, what? one quick question? If I, if I lose, Joe Rogan can choke me out. <laughs> You're going to lose, and he should choke you out either way. Hey, Joe, would you choke out Flea for us? Sure. All right. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> uh, sure. <laughs> Joe Rogan in studio playing Carolines all weekend long here Jeez. in New York City. I highly recommend you see the, uh, the the comedy of Joe Rogan. Do you know what type of that? I, I am saying that would make YouTube history as far as hits. Joe Rogan choking somebody out, a skinny I've little bastard cho like Flick. a radio guy out on YouTube once. Really? Yeah, some guy from Boston. Wow. Is it Mark Parento for hitting on you? <laughs> <laughs> Can we choke out Flea before the competition? 
probably not the best move. All right. Well, Anthony, why don't we get this going? Who wants yeah. to start this up? Hey, yo, can I do a toast? <laughs> uh, Doug? Can I toast it? Yeah, Doug out, Doug from OAExperience.com. Hey, a big rich to Solar Fist. The Soul of Fist. I can't say the name either. No one, no one was able to. God, but not forgotten. Maybe worm food, but we're going to toast you today, Rich. Yeah, we lost one of uh, one of our faithful listeners, and he has the the worst name to try to say in the radio. The Soul of Fist. But he was the, he was a great guy, and yep. he was at every single Opie and Anthony event that we ever did. So, uh, I'm right on, Doug. Good move. All right, let's uh, get the eggnog drinking contest going. Oh yeah, hey, Pat. Tanya, this one's for you, baby. <laughs> oh, it's over. Dude, she's, she's making lost. out with someone in the hall. Oh, she's not lost. even listening to you. Oh, no. All right, start drinking. The eggnog drinking contest has officially begun. It's going to be something on our shirt, and he's going to go, were you in the eggnog drinking competition, too? <laughs> yeah, they <laughs> <laughs> All right, and uh, all you have to do, guys, is drink a double shot of eggnog every single minute. Uh, they all got their first shot down, obviously. They're holding their second one. Just Refilling. First shot, uh, piece of yeah. cake. Yeah, yeah. It, this it, is like uh, who wants to be a, mi a millionaire? You know, the first few questions. Yeah. What's your name? <laughs> kind of, kind of like that for the hundred dollars. Eh, first couple, you just know it's going to go fine. But then after a while, uh, you start seeing faces. What do you think? Third shot or fourth shot? When does when does it start coming in? Nah, nah. It's usually around. They'll, they'll get up to ten with not even a problem. Yeah, anywhere between not even five and ten, you start seeing a face. And that's when you know to get the guy to the mic because he's going to start going, no, I'm okay, I'm okay, but you, but you see a face. Yeah, by the way, speaking of that, Anthony, if you are going to puke, you got to be a good sport and help us all out. Make sure you raise your hand so we can get some great audio of you puking. Yeah. All right, time for the second shot. And there they go, the second shot. Good. Well, that minute goes really yeah, quickly. Quick. Yeah. All right, I'm looking at different drinking styles. Pat just sucks it right down. Flea took two separate swigs. Flea's yeah, finished. yeah. That's flea is than I expected. <laughs> it's too small. Is it thicker than you expected? Yeah, I don't know what's wrong. It's eggnog. No, you know what? This this is like the, the 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 first week of like Navy SEAL training where everybody thinks they're gonna make it. Like, yeah, yeah. I can hack this. Uh, I can hack this. <laughs> I'm gonna be special forces. And then by the end, there's eight guys left out of two thousand. <laughs> right. <laughs> don't you do it? <laughs> don't you? <laughs> Anthony, you know what we should do? We should take a break. Uh, we'll get them to do the third shot. They'll continue through the break, and then we'll see where we're at. Um, when yep. we get back with the radio show, how does that sound? All right. We got Bill Burns Studio, Joe Rogan, Ari. Everyone's asking about your videos, The Amazing Racist. They're up on opianasty.com. Very if funny. If you're wondering. Uh, get ready. Here we go. The third double shot of eggnog. And go. There it goes. Wow. Let me see the technique. Sergeant Magoo pacing himself. <laughs> uh, Doug puts it right down. That's licking his lips, yeah. smacking him. How's uh, the lady doing? She just puts it right down, too. Okay. Nah, it's way too early. So why don't we take a break? Uh, by the time we get back from break, there'll be close to 10 shots of uh, eggnog. 10 double shots, double shots of eggnog. It's the eggnog drinking contest on the Opie and Anthony Show. We're back with the Opie and Anthony Show. We're in the middle of the eggnog drinking contest. It's starting to heat up. The action's starting to heat up. So you meant the studio. It's uh, already, I swear to you, it's already starting to smell like... Like A in here. Like swamp some, ass. Yeah, there's swamp ass going on in here. Somebody is guilty of having Well, it. there's a lot of guys. They're nervous. They're nervous because they're on a live radio oh, show, and they're drinking it, the eggnog, and they're I fat to, to begin you. with. Flea. What's, what about Flea? Who, who is it? Flea. Flea man has swamp ass? Flea, what's going on with who's, the, who's Who's got a... Flea. Hi. Do you have swamp ass? They're drinking their shot. Who Are is they it? saying flea smells? It's Flea. We need somebody to confirm that. You walked over here about five minutes ago, and I smelled the most wretched smell since this whole thing started. And I was standing by the big guy, Jerry, back there. His pits smell so bad, he must have not showered. Who? Dude, I swear, I'm smelling things that are really, really bad. Because he knows he's going to get choked out in about three minutes. It's it's swamp ass. It's the smell I've ever smelt, Flea. Guess you've never eaten out. Your <laughs> oh wow, Flea's getting tough. Oh boy, hey, a little smack. By the way, for the rest of America, Flea weighs how much you weigh, Flea? 130 tops? No, I weigh about 155. Do you? Ooh, all right. And you and you're gonna get choked out by Joe Rogan when you lose the eggnog drinking contest, right? Yeah, I will. All right, and dugout Doug's not happy with the smell that uh, that is emanating from uh, Flea. Wow. 
Yeah, let me have that. And uh, we're starting to spray the Lysol. All right, where are we at? It's the eggnog drinking contest. These guys are drinking a double shot of eggnog every single minute. How many shots have they done, Steve? They've done 14. Uh, Kev's pouring the 15th one now. They've done 14 double shots 14. of eggnog. Ah, yeah. E-Rock's spraying flea. flea down with Lysol. <laughs> hey, let's see how Pat's doing, Anthony. Pat. Oh, I'm doing just fine. No problem so far? No. Anybody having a problem? Of course. Flea Wait. already? The cockiest one is the only one having a problem so far. What's the problem, Flea? <laughs> His thing. Uh, oh, oh. oh. Hey, hey, oh. Shh, shh. Put your head down. Too much. That was it. That was a little bit. A little bit. That was like a burp. What? Wait a minute. We need a judge. Is no, he out of the... It wasn't a puke. It wasn't a puke? Did he get both feet and bounce? I think he kind of burped and... Oh, wait. Shh. Ah, he's out. That's no, that's no burp. I got. I tried to single you with it. Yeah, but you're not drinking it. You can't just hold it in your that mouth and spit it mouthful. out, stupid. It's not a date. Yeah, that wasn't really puking. <laughs> Flea's out. All right, Flea. Yep. No, dude, choke out. That's it. Flea is out of the eggnog drinking contest. Yeah, he Flea's so the first one. Flea is only here for Rogan to choke him out. Where you going, Flea? You got to keep your pants on, dude. Yeah. Man. Now, when do you want to do it? Yeah. All right, after. Choking. Yeah, get out of the studio. We, we got to make room. So we have to say goodbye to Flea. How many double shots did he almost do? 15? Wow. He's out after 15? Yep. All right, we're down to nine competitors. Anybody else uh, feeling a little queasy? If he's going to get choked out, he should throw up. Anyone bro. feeling, uh, what, full? Get, getting a little full. It's very thick, but... Uh, yeah. Keep going very forward. thick. Sergeant Magoo saying it's, it's very thick. It's getting full. Uh, did you eat? Uh, before you came here? Uh, no, I did not. I planned on eating here. Yeah? Uh, shot oh, time, by God, the way. Awful. Shot time, by the way. There he goes. Eggnog oh, is that the cute? dude that had to throw up with yeah, the, oh. the Fruit Loops? <laughs> the Fruit Loops, yeah. You, he brought his Fruit Loops, so he's going to give us a little sideshow later. You're really going to eat your own puke with Fruit Loops? Why he not? did it yesterday. Mine. He carries those Fruit That's Loops like answer. little John Cal huh? carries that stupid little <laughs> cup. That's his <laughs> thing now. I'm going to go with some Fruit Loops. <laughs> I feel like I only have 55 more in me. <laughs> yeah, Pat, we heard that last year. Yeah. Hey, and he was he was right though. Yeah. Pat did 72 double shots of eggnog last year. We'll 71. see if he 71. Sorry, I keep saying 72. 71 double shots of eggnog. That is the current record. We'll see if anyone beats that this year. All right, where are we at, Dan? Uh, got another shot in about 10 seconds. All right, no. and this will be. This will be number 17. Number 17. This is going to be the 17th double shot of eggnog. I think Pat's. Pat's kind of making a little face like is a little bit of a problem. It's starting to suck a little you bit. You kind of winced when a, a, another shot was announced. Pat? But he, but he, yeah. No, Pat but he, not, not, not Pat, Pat from Monaki. Pat, uh, Pat Duffy. Creepy oh. beard Pat. Oh, okay. All right. Pat is a... a loser he, Pat. He kind of winced. Oh, loser Ow. Pat. What yeah. about growing up Gotti? How's he doing? <laughs> Which one? <laughs> the spike there. <laughs> oh, there you go. How you doing? Fine? I'm just glad I love eggnog. Yeah. You really like the eggnog, huh? A little coat in the stomach now. And uh, what about a big guy? How you doing uh, back there? That's the big fella. Barely feel it. Yeah. He's 6'6", six, six, four, what yeah. was it, 460? 460. That's nothing for him. Yeah, okay. And Doug, how you feeling? Doing well. Doing well. I love the eggnog. I've been drinking it all week. Oh, you've been practicing? Yeah, I've been drinking, uh, what is it, uh, half a gallon a night. <laughs> put on like five pounds in the past week. Yeah. Good Lord. <laughs> wow. What is his blood sugar right now? Yeah. Oh, it's awful. <laughs> that would be the real contest. Been training for this? Yeah. yeah these guys. Tra Joe, this is a big thing every year. This is my first Another time shot. Eggnog. Huh? My first time ever trying eggnog. Really? It's delicious. Oh, right Sergeant now. Magoo ha doesn't even have a chance. He's here to do the Fruit Loop trick well, later. His own throw up in front yeah, of people. That, we're just waiting for the throw up to happen. You get, do we got a bowl? Now. We got a bowl for Sergeant Magoo. Yeah. Oh, okay. oh, a pitcher. A pitcher. No, Good. A oh, that is gonna really oh. sound horrid. I I'm looking at uh, Pat Duffy over there, and that last shot really was hard. I probably got another five minutes left. That's about it. Yeah, oh, I, nog, though. That's the thing. Huh? I love Nog. It's so good. It just sucks so oh. bad when there's so much. When it comes back, you'll <laughs> be able to say. taste it all over <laughs> I know, again. Right? <laughs> I yeah, because I noticed uh, he he kind of started drinking that down. He had to stop. He had to like oh, swallow. He winced a little and then finished it. So yeah. if you're at that point now, um, you're you're in trouble. 
Minutes, not a lot of time. Yeah. Uh-oh. No, I Uh-oh. got a little pre-puke belch over there. Yeah. Uh, which guy? Oh, which so guy? Just trying to get rid of gases so I can uh, put more room. Sergeant Magoo is burping, which is a prelude. We all know that. Just a little air in the lines. Uh, what about our young lady? Uh, how are you feeling? All right. I have a sugar rush, so I'm... Oh, cool. Yeah. <laughs> she, she we get... has... This she is has, way too much, and I'm used has, to it. She has shot. Shot. Shot, guys. I messed up. She has, she's got your eyes. Yes, Hold on, hon. Yes, Jimmy. She also has a burn victim wig hair. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 All right, how many double shots are we up to? Uh, they just did their 19th, <laughs> they just did their 19th uh, double shot of eggnog. Joe, what do you think so far? Joe Rogan in studio. Fascinating so far. <laughs> I'm just waiting to see the Magoo. Yeah, we're all waiting for Sergeant Magoo to That's, uh, eat Fruit Loops and puke. Hope he's getting weak. You do realize Joe Rogan hosts uh, Fear Factor. Oh, yeah, why am I? So this this to him is like kindergarten. Yeah, yeah. you're right. This is man. nothing. I forgot who I was talking to. It just bothers, it doesn't even bother me. All right, throw wait a minute. In front of me now. You need That's diced cow intestines Hold on. In, inside the We've uh, talked to him over eggnog. the years. Will it bother you when you see Sergeant Magoo puke into a pitcher, then add Fruit Loops yeah. and eat that? Yes, that will bother. That will be up there, right? Yeah. Oh yeah. All right, good. Anybody eating their own puke? That's that's hardcore. How about if Magoo ate someone else's puke? That's even more hardcore. All right. Watch how many people start puking after Sergeant Magoo yeah. eats the Fruit Loops in his own puke. Especially being all be queasy. Uh oh, we got a girl. Uh oh, what's, what's happening? Matter? We might be losing somebody. It's, her. it's way too much eggnog. Come on, chug this. it. Chug it. You got it. You got Come it. On. Chug it down. All right, we might be losing chug the, it down. the only female in the in the competition. Now, there you go. All right. Oh, you're, oh, she's she's yeah. still in. You got to do it for the ladies. Right. Yeah. Come we on. Want, down. We want to see a girl puke so bad. That's right. There you go. There's a whole nother glass for you. <laughs> right after that one, she had a real tough time Man, down in that right. one. The beauty of this contest, it starts off where everyone's like, oh, it's a piece of cake. Yeah, well, I got Double it. shot every minute, and then that minute starts coming by way too fast. What are we up to? This is the 20th? This is the 21st. 21st double shot of eggnog. And here we go. Wow. Okay, she's having a hard time. Oh, boy. Ooh. She's Ooh. sipping. Yeah, Keep we... that mic ready, young Dan. Yeah, they're getting the mics ready and everything. You know what? You got to just pound it. It's the only way to do it. Oh. 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 Wow, that was hot. <laughs> Pat's already trying to find his new girlfriend. No, I just can't do it. His current one is making out with somebody in the hall. Was... Uh-oh, we got another. Uh-oh. We might lose Uh-oh. a couple guys here. We're gonna Pat. Oh, oh, Pat. Oh, oh. oh nice. What? I bow to you today. Did he drink a gallon before he came here? Wow. wow. Hey, that was like that hold on, hold on, hold on. What? Can I get an intern job? <laughs> oh, that's the intern. Yes, hire him. Yeah. Connecticut School of Broadcasting guy is out. What's your name again? Wow. Pat. What? Pat, Pat, Pat. That, that was cool. Pat? Oh, that's me, Jesus. Pat. Pat, we've been doing this. Hold on. We've been doing this for three years. I've never seen anyone puke that much. That was you power no booting. That could be the best puke we've seen in three years. Power booting. Fear Factor for six seasons, I never saw anybody throw up like that. That was there you some go. puking, Listen, man. More. I'll, I'll throw up on the street on the walkover. All right. Yes. Oh, oh God, God, yes. <laughs> That'll be fine. Don't count me out yet. Dude, congrats. You have probably the best puke sound effects. That's awesome. awesome. Okay. By the way, it sounded like it was on loop. But it yeah. Was just, yeah. yeah. No, that was that was one guy puking over and over again. By the way, with the exact oh. same noise. By the way, we did a really good job there. When these guys start puking, we got to try to stay as quiet as possible. Yeah, it's like really that. hard, but it really but, is hard because it is so freaking fun. How's May doing? <laughs> She's done. Oh. Hey? You're, out. you're out, May. <laughs> yeah. All right. By the way, the guys had to continue drinking double shots of eggnog during that whole mess. So. 
Uh, let's see where we're at. We uh, lost Connecticut School of Broadcasting guy that we're going to hire for an intern. Awesome. And we, I guess we lose our only female competitor, uh, May, there. Oh, May, you're out, huh? All right. Can't guys, take can't, take, uh, can't take all the sugar. Uh, oh. All right. Hey, that hairdo is awful. Jimmy, do you mind if they stand over here to check out the rest of the... Magoo is uh, teetering? No. I thought when she bent over to puke, it was going to fall off. All right. Well, they stand back a little bit. Uh-oh. All right, where are we at? Magoo is teetering. He's got to get that shot down. We're up to the 24th double shot of eggnog. Sergeant oh Magoo is making his way oh to the, no. to the, uh, to the uh, bucket. All right. He has a pitcher in his hand. He's trying to hold it. He's trying. The bar has been raised so high now. Yeah. That was amazing. <laughs> uh, that was all in him? I couldn't believe it. They kept coming like that. It just... That was like, what, like 11? I think he puked up every shot that he drank. Yeah. Yeah. We, yeah individually. Yeah, individually. Yeah, individually. That's what I'm trying to say. Possible. Someone's got to count that for us. I think he puked like 10 to 12 individual they times were all, there. They all gems. They were all doozies. Wait till you see the video of that one. I want that re to replace my p old puke yeah, sound yeah. effects. And people are going to be confused. They're going to go, that guy had to have been one of the, uh, the last uh -oh. guys standing. Uh, what do we got? Magoo. Sergeant Magoo, how you feeling? I'm uh, feeling, feeling a little queasy. All right. Yeah, well, it's, it's, how many? It's like right shot, up under the shot, shot, shot. There we go, another one. What are we up to? Chit chat. All right, guys, this is the wow. 25th double shot of eggnog in the eggnog drinking contest. It goes by so What's the record? 71. 71. 71. Mag Magoo, put that one right down. Oh. Oh, oh. oh <laughs> oh my God! Oh God he's, he's puking into the pitcher, and now you can measure it. Oh my God! He's he's gonna fill it. Oh my God! Oh, Ooh, it's getting chunky. Look at the guy turning his back. He doesn't want to see it. No. Oh my God! Oh my God! He's filling up the pitcher. Pitcher's <laughs> full. Oh. Oh. oh, and the rest of them have to continue drinking. I think we're done with the puke. Oh my God! Look at all that. That almost made me puke. Yeah. He Watching filled, fill completely up. filled up a huge right. beer pitcher. I'm not looking. All right, here's the deal. We're going to take a quick break. When we get back, Sergeant Magoo, he's got a pitcher full of puke. He's got the Fruit Loops. They're opening up the Fruit Loops. He's going to do a, a little yeah. thing for everybody, a little side thing for everybody. Oh, it's the eggnog drinking contest. They have done 25 double shots. Uh, they're up to 26 as we take a break. It's the Opie and Anthony Show. The eggnog drinking contest number three. Uh, forgot about the bad part of this. What's right. the bad part? The smell. Dude, I had to put a, a paper towel and then, like, spray it with Lysol, and I'm holding it up to my nose. It's it not a crime so bad. scene. It, it, it smells like one. Anthony, do you want to sip out of that pitcher that Magoo filled? Shut up. Magoo filled a pitcher, and I'm telling Anthony in the break that, wait, don't don't drink it yet. Yeah, don't. We got uh. we got to do the big setup for this. Because if you swallowed some of that, it would be warm like his stomach, but I guarantee you there's a cool spot in there, like where the stuff that just <laughs> went down and his stomach didn't even warm. It would, You'd suck it down like an oyster. Uh. A, a cool... <laughs> <laughs> like clot of nog from his stomach. Yeah. Uh, I think I'm throat. having more fun. Look like he's about to puke. I, dude, Joe, by Please. the end of this, we have uh, literally like 20, 25 people in this room. By the end of this, there's going to be a lot of people puking. <laughs> I'm, I'm having more fun watching uh, Anthony get a little freaked out by this whole thing. I, I hate, hate this. Eric yeah, almost threw up. Like Eric almost threw up when uh, Sergeant Magoo was filling up the pitcher. I yeah. almost puked too, I yeah. admit. Did uh, you? Just, Not, just uh, you know what it was is the visual of filling up something that you is supposed to be yeah. sanitary. Let me give uh, the, yeah. <laughs> let me give the big setup. We got a guy getting close to puking here. It's the eggnog drinking contest. These guys have been drinking double shots of eggnog every single minute. When um, you puke, you're out. We're down to six contestants. I think we're gonna get our. our... Uh, oh, double puke! <laughs> oh. Down goes full age. <laughs> <laughs> Down goes full blown AIDS. <laughs> it's just as good coming back up. Oh no. We just lost two competitors. The cocky no chain. Oh. oh. There goes Doug out, Doug. Doug out, Doug is out of the competition. Oh no. Shane's going. Shane's going. False alarm. Shane's. Wow, Shane's. Oh, there goes Shane. Wow. 
<laughs> he got a running start with that one. Whoa. Oh, my God. <laughs> Out of the nose. <laughs> Look at Budaki. He's like John Madden of puking. <laughs> <laughs> He's just doing the color commentating. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> and and the other guys have to do a shot. All right, now I, hold on. We lost two, maybe three guys there. Three, growing three. up, we just five. lost three guys. Three right? guys right there. We lost dugout Doug. Who else did we lose? Shane and John. And Shane and John. What shot was that? What? Uh, that was uh, the thirty-second double shot of eggnog. We got three guys less uh, left in the uh, competition here. Shane right was a victim of the other two guys puking. He said that those two guys puking made him puke. Well, right. He was, he was facing the wall. Yep. Like at the end of Blair Witch. <laughs> and other people were puking. Wait, there's only three guys left? Three guys left. We came back from break with six guys, and uh, right right away we lost three of them. Pat, the uh -oh. big... Uh-oh, uh-oh. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> what happened there? I missed it. Came it. out of his nose. It came out of his nose? <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> and Doug's not done yet. Doug's vomiting more. And Doug's now vomiting more. <laughs> the warm-ups really that. paid off this week, didn't they? <laughs> Shane was just wiping off his forehead. That's how much is sprayed out. <laughs> wow. He power booted through his nose there, Joe. Uh, you heard it. it was like... <laughs> yeah. It's like a horse that just won the derby. <laughs> 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 All right, no surprise. We're down to three competitors, and it's the three biggest guys in the competition. Yep. Pat from Monaki. Who's uh, uh, Generoso? Generals. From, from whackbag.com. Whack I told him I do him proud. You're in the, you're... Oh, more puking going on wow, <laughs> from the, some of the guys that are out of the competition. Oh, He's really? Oh, He's coming out of his nose. Coming out of his nose. Oh, my God. It goes out as much his nose as it does his mouth. And then wh what do we got over there? Are you all right? I'm good. I'm all, right. all good. I'm all good. Yeah, the 6'6", 460-pound dude is doing fine, too. Yeah, Jerry doesn't even look nervous. And so what is it? Jerry Generoso and Patrick Minaki left in the competition. Hey, anybody want to make 20 bucks and just take a sip out of, uh, uh, out of, uh, out of Sergeant Magoo's pitcher? Yeah. A nice hey, warm sip? Well, where is Sergeant Magoo? He's, he promised us a little, uh, a oh, yeah. little thing here. All right, you guys are cool, right? All right, we're going to let the guys continue with the eggnog drinking contest. That's 33, 34. 35. 35. See how fast this goes? All right, wow. they're up to 35 double shots of eggnog. Sergeant Magoo, the field is, uh, the, the, the mic is yours there. Yes, sir. So what do you want to do today? Well, I know it, uh, I'm here to make Joe Rogan puke, maybe. But, uh, <sighs> Joe, what do you think? I got a nice full picture here of uh, eggnog, which I regurgitated. Yeah. So I figure maybe put in a little bowl of Fruit Loops and we'll enjoy well, breakfast together. I, I see the nice bowl of Fruit Loops there on the table. It needs uh, just a little uh, yeah. milk substance. Oh no, a milky substance oh. in there. Look how. Oh, oh, oh my God! No way! Oh God damn it! No! no. It's, it's holy no. Jesus! No, it's like it's pouring like molasses. It's, no, Anthony, it's pouring like rice pudding. It's it's a, a rice pudding it's or pancake like batter. Thick rice pancake batter. Oh, we might lose Erock. Erock is losing it over there. Erock. Erock, did you see that pour? Turn e around, Erock. Get on the mic. Oh, <laughs> oh Erock. Oh, he's eating Fruit Loops out of his own vomit. Erock. Right. Erock, you all right? I didn't know eggnog could clot. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh. Uh, oh, there goes Erock. Erock's out puking. <laughs> 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 oh, an innocent, an innocent bystander gets hit by a straight death. Oh, oh, Let's God. make this perfectly clear. Yes, Erock is not in the eggnog drinking contest. He's one of our own, and he's just puking because he, he just saw Sergeant Magoo uh, eating the Fruit Loops with, oh, with his own. Oh, my God. Well, it was Erock the whole looks preparation. worse than anybody in the competition. <laughs> right. Erock is so pale right now, and his eyes are running with Every, water. Erock, look at how thick that is. Go ahead, Magoo, do that again. Erock, you got to look. Oh, look, 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 watch, watch, watch. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh, it's like snot. Ah, there goes the rock. <laughs> I almost puked. Didn't you? I had to walk away. I had to walk away. You I almost puked. puked. <laughs> Poor e -Rock. If, I, if I hadn't. Oh, yes, no. Oh, we lost Generoso. Generoso. We, we lost Generoso for Wackbags.com. Sergeant Magoo is taking everybody out of the competition. Oh. Oh, Magoo is wow. carpet bomber. Magoo's like a suicide bomber. <laughs> <laughs> he really oh. is. Oh. Poor like Erock. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, look. They're all stuck together. <laughs> <laughs> it's like oyster crackers. <laughs> oh. 
He's just Magoo. Why don't you top off uh, yeah. the uh, Fruit Loops with a little more what you got in the pitcher there? How does it taste? Ah! <laughs> Eric is in the garbage can. He's puking up a storm. His stupid headphones are still on. <laughs> God, that is hilarious. Uh, take us to break, stupid. <laughs> oh my God, that is hilarious. Iraq, are you all right, Iraq? Look, he's gonna he's gonna top Iraq, off. Uh, watch him pour it. Look, watch him Eric, pour it. Watch him Just pour watch it. him pour it. Look, <laughs> look how thick. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what, in the what children? <laughs> he rock is puking. He's all the way in the garbage can. I almost lost. Look at it hanging off the spoon. Look at it hanging off the spoon. Oh, God, it's like oh. snot. Oh. Sergeant Magoo continues to eat the Fruit Loops with his own oh. eggnog puke. Oh, and Next there goes he rock That he poured from a pitcher. Oh, Adding more sugar. Yeah. Oh, oh, wow. Oh, a guy oh, like that boy. on Fear Factor could have cleaned up, man. You wow. Fear Factor, yeah. You can eat your own puke. What's going to Oh, look at Eric. Exactly. Well, he's got snot. Oh, Eric's a mess. <laughs> he really is, Jimmy. Poor young hawk. <laughs> uh, Magoo, hold that under his face a little bit. Give him something. What happened, uh, Iraq? I threw up my uh, nose. You threw up your nose? Out of his nose. Out of his nose. Do you want to eat it? No. E Rock is a mess. Oh, this is. is the most disgusting eggnog drinking contest we've ever had. Yeah. We, we might not set a record. We're down only two guys oh, at this yeah, point. Yeah. Oh, God, look, there's strings in it. Oh, there's strings that are connected. To... Oh, no. Oh. E Rock, look at. Oh. <laughs> Oh, Every time Sergeant Magoo pours a little more into his Fruit Loops, oh, E-Rock loses it. Where is that stupid Bob Kelly? Oh, would I be? Jesus. Oh, I invite Bob him, Kelly but he'd be puking like crazy. Orgasm is in Washington. We invite him, but he's uh, uh, All right, how much? Oh, we got to get somebody else to take one step out of Magoo's picture. Someone has to do it. Oh, oh, oh Jesus. E-Rock's got a stomach like Karen Carpenter. <laughs> 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 All right, let's get back to the competition, Ant. We got uh, Pat from Minaki, and what's his name, Jerry? I can't really see his name Jerry. tag. Jerry, right? Hey. We got uh, two guys left in the eggnog drinking yeah. contest. Of course, Pat from Minaki, who comes into this competition as the favorite. And very kind record holder at 71 double shots that he did last year. Jerry, how you holding out? I'm doing perfect. Doing perfect. Uh, Pat, how about right you? right in front of them eating. Oh, I'm just wonderful. You're yeah. wonderful. Pat, any ill effect at all? <laughs> Can I have some of that when you're done? You're not going to throw Pat. Yeah, Pat's not phased. Sergeant Magoo's trying to eat the Fruit Loop uh, puke mixture right in front of Pat. <laughs> oh. and Pat has no problem Pat, with it. God, God, that is so By the way, heinous. Joe, Pat from Minaki, a diabetic. Ooh. He has nine toes. He has nine toes. And he's taking in all this oh sugar today. <laughs> but he gets diabetic, and he's taking in all that sugar. He does get rid of it at the end of yeah, the contest. Yeah, it'll be gone yeah. soon enough. And and let me hear. Uh, let me tell you, hearing him uh, let go of all this eggnog, it's it's like putting on Sergeant Pepper's for the first time. <laughs> you, it's it's magic to your ears. What Yo, you will hear. Dude, it's, it's why I'm here today. Uh, yeah, I listened to it for a year. It was the funniest. Oh, I've ever heard wait, my we life. Hat puking is the uh, showstopper. It really is. It's well, I've like, heard it. I've heard it on the radio, but I think seeing yep. it. It's like um, a Hollywood sound effect. Like, it's it's so perfect. Yeah. yeah. We got guys in there who couldn't get in there. A lot of guys drove from a long distance and couldn't get in here because it's too much of a mess. Oh, Steve. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, he's going to puke. No. Um, can we get one of those guys in here? Like, uh, I, I want to chip in some money and get somebody. Yeah, I'll, I'll I, I want somebody. I'll, hey, we got money. Let, you'll do it? Bucks. Who are you? He's intern this, guy. In, this intern will eat Magoo's puke. How much can we give him? Oh, my God. What, what, what are you not going to? What are we, communists? All right. All right. I'm in for 20. Wait, I, I chip in 100. Jimmy's oh, got a bit wow. going. Wait, we got someone else that wants to do it over there. They're, they're getting more people. I smell puke and people are walking by. I threw in yeah. 100, so. Yeah, it's really disgusting, the smell in here. Yeah, it's cool. Jimmy, the competition should be the guy to try to keep it down. If they don't keep it down, we go to the next guy and the money goes up. Okay. I'll That's what I say right, we do. Enough. That's what I say we do. Maybe I should take back 50, you know, now that I'm thinking of my bravado. <laughs> no, no thanks. It's all good. <laughs> you know, it's all know. fun and games. Jimmy throws down a hundred. Everybody comes right. 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 I know. All right. Yes. Yeah. Where are we Seven at? Bucks. How many double shots of eggnog Jimmy are we up there? Trump. That'll be forty-two. All right, uh, Anthony. They're doing their forty-second double shot of eggnog. On their way, hopefully, to a new record. Yes, Sarge. I I see it. Believe me. He's holding up the pitcher. Like, look, puke. Yeah, I know. Oh, Magoo is a good boy. He is wow. a good boy. He's a good boy. Oh. 
He has really added a whole new element to this. Yeah. He took out like three guys yeah, because worked for the show. Yeah, they were they were looking at it as they're trying to drink the eggnog. They probably could have gotten a few more shots. I'm not yeah. saying they would have won or not, but uh, Magoo definitely uh, cramped their style. <laughs> I wanted, I'm sorry, to interrupt. Did Steve see that? What? Steve, Steve. didn't see that. Steve, you got to see uh, the viscous. Oh, puke in, in the pitcher. You're yeah, on the Come on, Steve. You're and tough then guy. watch right Sergeant Magoo watch eat it. All right, watch this. It. Here's uh, our now own Steve. Pour, pour a little on top, uh, Magoo. Steve, with Steve no watch. Wait, I can't see it. Tattoos. Definitely a tough man. Yeah. When he pours this, look how this mess. <laughs> it comes out like rice pudding. Oh. He's pouring it onto another bowl of fruit. Oh, it's oh, all God. curdled oh. and sour. Oh. Hawk. Oh. It's the hanger. Oh, the hanger. Yeah, there's a hanger on the end of it. I would use the word congealed. Yield. And now he takes his little spoon and I, his Fruit Loops. I spend a lot of time throwing up after that surgery I had, and this is ah, oh, this is awful. And now look, like nothing. Part of this nutrition. He mixes breakfast. it up. All right, he has no problem eating this. Here he goes. He's got hey, a little spoonful. Check it out, goes Steve. I don't think Erock has any more puke in him at this ah! point. Dude, that's really oh, he's dropping it. He's playful. Oh. Magoo is playful. It's falling on his shirt. Yeah. He's like a little boy enjoying it. It doesn't look as nasty as I thought it would, to be honest. Yeah. No? No, it really doesn't. Hey, How by the he... way, I, I, I've gotten word from uh, one of our pals, Wink yep. Wink, that sits to my left here, that Kenny cannot handle this. No, he can't. Where is Kenny? Ha- we need him for security. Get he has Kenny to be in, in here. here. Kenny, why isn't our security guy in hey, here? Get we don't Kenny know, in here. We, we don't got... know half these guys in Look here. Look how many people we have. I want to ask Kenny a question. All right, Bill Burr, yes. in the room? Tell him to bring his he, food he in. He needs to come in here. I, I just want to ask him a question. Yeah. Sorry. Yes, uh, Bill. He actually requested that I stay in here, and he... Uh, really? No, no, Kenny has to come in here. Here comes Kenny. 20 years on the force. The smell is really thick in this room, huh? Yeah. Kenny. Between the... We need you here. I saw... We feel threatened. puke. All right, hey, wait, let's get to Kenny. Kenny's over here. Club soda, Kenny. You, you you guys don't realize how bad this room smells compared to the rest of the building. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. I can't even tell. I swear. Yeah, I, I'm not smelling anything awful. yet. And I, I just smell finished it. eating my breakfast, too. Oh, Can you just uh, take a look at this, Why Kenny? don't you watch the show? Watch Magoo. Kenny. This is Sergeant Magoo. Yeah, get Kenny a mic. Magoo, that is a pitcher. <laughs> no. That is a pitcher full of vomit. No, he, get get Kenny over there. You know who's worse than me? Roland is complaining in the other room. Get, get Roland, get Roland, Roland in, here. in here. What a, what oh, a right here. What a, he Wait. threw it to the dog. What a tattletale. Get Roland. No, no. Get, Kenny, where you go? You Kenny, can't leave. Kenny, Kenny, stay in here, there. You didn't even have to torture him. He just uh, immediately no, told where the platoon out. was. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You ratted clicks, him out. Two clicks to the I right. don't like it, but Roland doesn't like it either. What a snitch. <laughs> <laughs> Roland, you having a tough time? Get on a mic. Just find any mic. Oh, it's going to be pricey. Yeah, I just had breakfast, too, and I was like, oh. oh really? Did you see Magoo pour it? No. Look. <laughs> All right. Watch Magoo. All right. Watch get get, get Roland, Roland. Explain to Roland what that is. Yeah, get rolling the mic. He's Magoo, in front of Sergeant Magoo Magoo's now. been out of the contest. A lot of the people puke into the buckets, but Magoo chose to puke into that beer pitcher, which he is now pouring on Fruit Loops. Watch how it pours. That was eggnog <laughs> moments <threw> ago. <laughs> it is now a bile mess. Oh, he's drinking... Uh, 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 Roland's drinking Coke. Coke trying to... Oh, oh look at that hanger. It's like, now it's like pouring like yogurt. It's not even rice pudding oh, God, anymore. God, it's hardening. It's really it's starting really to congeal. Hardening. And now he will... Watch this. Watch this, Roland. This he less. mixes up the Fruit Loops. Yeah. Oh. Come on, Roland. Get a nice eyeful. Come on, Roland. Here we go. And, oh. oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, wait, wait, no. Wait, 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 wait. That's for the competition. No! Playing Connecticut School of Broadcasting guy that we're going to hire as an intern. He's out of the competition, obviously. Sergeant Magoo has been eating his own oh, own Fruit Loops puke combination. Now Sergeant Magoo gave the concoction to Connecticut School of Broadcasting guy, so now he's eating Sergeant Magoo's puke on Fruit Loops. Oh my God! Eric's about to go again. Oh, there goes Iraq. 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 Oh, <laughs> Iraq is puking again. He, Certainly, and he has nothing to do with this competition. We're finding the weak stomachs among us. <laughs> Look at Bill Burr, not looking so good. Bill, you all right? I'm all right. I'm all right. What Bill, happened, Bill? Did you Bill? see that? Did you watch that, Bill? Yes, what what got you? The fact that he's eating someone else's yeah, puke? I can't even yeah, yeah, that. yeah. That was too much. <laughs> hey, where's Club Soda Kenny? Right he's right there. there. Kenny's okay. here. Hey, wait a minute. Hey, would somebody take? Uh, now that picture is so awful. Would somebody take a sip out of it, like without the fruit loops? Just a sip. Just a nice, oh. thick, yogurty sip. Oh! 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 Oh!
<laughs> Erosh down. Uh, Erosh down again. Wait, we got to explain because it's just noise for Dude, people out there. The intern took yeah. a big mouthful sip out of, of, of Magoo's picture of thick, viscous he vomit. He took, he took a Viking yeah. swig. Oh, that kid's a animal. Viking swig. <laughs> and it, it spilled over his oh, cheeks yes. and chin, oh, ran was. down his shirt, and splattered on the that floor. Was, that was Straight. a victory dude. battle swig. He just conquered this town and yeah. celebrated with the, Magoo. The government oh. needs to follow that dude around. Dude, this kid started as a listener, a competitor. Now he's an intern. By the end of the show, you're going to be like a co-host of this show. <laughs> <laughs> and he's Iraq, of course... Puked again you when get, that when that happened. You get Erock's job, by the way. He's got someone else's puke from his mouth on his own shoes. <laughs> yeah, oh, dude. Uh, but did we explain that he just poured the whole pitcher? He tipped the pitcher into his mouth, and a half of it went into his mouth, which he swallowed. Half of it went onto his chin and his beard. After he ate Magoo's puke with Fruit Loops on it. My and the rest. Dad's listening. <laughs> you raised you raised a tough son of a bitch, sir. Hey, keep it off the rug. Keep it off the rug. <laughs> you should Barely be proud. You should be proud. All right. You should I'll be a Marine. Yeah, it got right on the edge of the tarp. All right, let's oh, get back oh, to the competition. It's oh, Pat from Minaki oh, and Jerry. Really Where are you going, Hawk? We really? only got two guys left in the eggnog drinking oh. contest. How many shots are we up to? <laughs> You have to go back horrible. to the days of like Attila the Hun <laughs> yeah. to find that kind of disgusting <laughs> look at, Roman puke rooms. Just look at Iraq's face. Look how he's sad and and red. You alright, Iraq? Yeah, pale. Yeah, my throat is killing me. His throat hurts. It's coming out his nose, and his eyes are all watery and teary. You look like a basset hound. Yep, he <laughs> you look like Hulk Hogan just walked away from you. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I gotta ask Joe Rogan. Are you impressed? Yeah. I mean, you've seen it all on Fear Factor. Are you impressed with this or what? Uh, I'm very impressed with the drinking of the puke. I, yeah. It's unprecedented. <laughs> I've never seen anything like that. And uh, I, I bow down. I bow down to uh, Pat Duffy. All right, right on. Pat Duffy. I, I, Holy mother of Jesus. Yeah, well. And he didn't puke after what? he did it? No. Huh? Can someone else do that for the money? Well, we got another kid. You guys want to do the same thing? What'd you say? What'd you this say? guy saying he could top what he did? No, he said he can't. Oh, you top can't top, top that. that. All right. How about the guy with the beard, the Nirvana shirt? We recognize. Can him. you top that? Do you think you could drink that? The beard is going to be a nice touch. The beard. Yeah. It drooling down the beard. <laughs> do you that think really you could? Looks like a fake beard, doesn't it? Do you think you could top <laughs> drinking? <laughs> oh, he's oh, stepping he's, in the other guy's he's, puke. He's in the puke now. He's stepping in it. Do you think you could top <laughs> drinking <laughs> that? <laughs> puke out of that beer pitcher. Can I top it? If you gargle I, it. I have no idea. <laughs> Can you do Who it? Gargle. Yeah. <laughs> you know what you know what we should do? We should fill up we should fill up two cups and see who could drink an entire cup. Ch- one or the other. A chugging contest? Yeah. You you're you out? No, I got it. I'm, I'm in. Well, he's oh, my God. He's an animal, Joe. He's but he's an already He's already done it. You're, you know, a rookie. Addition, I think we can get somebody to pee in a cup and drink out of it. I think we can get somebody to drink somebody else's pee. I, I can see that happening. Yeah, I don't think that'll go through. <laughs> nah, nah. I don't think that'll make it. <laughs> yeah, nah, nah. I see it happening with this, the, the air competition in this room? Right. Yeah, well, speaking think, of the air think, in this room. I think pee is a step down from... Uh, Enough about the pee! Stop! No, none of it's making it. None yeah, of it's making the radio. They're let's just dumping say on no all that. fluid is as vile as vomit. I don't think vomit's the yeah. worst you can get. Oh, anyway. my God. Smell all right, let's, all right, listen. Okay. There was a lot of dumping that had to be done there. Okay, we're back to the competition. We're at, at the what? 51. 51. 51. Now, I'm seeing uh, uh, J- Jerry. Jerry and Pat from Unaki. Jerry's taking some deep breaths. Yeah, I'm getting a little shaky. You get a little oh, shaky. Really Pat like from Unaki, how you holding up? I'm fine. Pat <laughs> is fine. Unshakable. Pat is amazing. Well, an amazing athlete, I like to call them. High <laughs> level athlete. Yes. Yeah. Next year, wow. we got to do this. At, Jerry's sweating. we got to do this in front of an audience, man. You're, you're looking a little on. pale, and I'm seeing like this almost spasmatic, oh. like you're ready to pu- Oh, God. Oh, God. Sergeant Magoo has poured out the big cups of puke. Magoo is a good pourer. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, my God. Wow. I almost gagged. It's like this. Swear to you, came very close. It's like this seaweed. <laughs> look at Eric. He won't it look up. It looks like curdled vanilla pudding. Good call. Curdled vanilla pudding. Yeah. All right. Here it is. Two Rolling. equal equal cups yeah, full of of eggnog vomit. Uh, uh, Jerry, don't look at this, bro. God, no, brother, don't look at this. I want you in this competition a little longer. Holy Jesus. All right, we got the two guys still. Oh, in... like, is this a clean cup? Hold on, here's the deal. We got the two guys still in the eggnog drinking contest officially. We got a, uh, yeah, a little clean cup. We got three, like, uh, rings happening here. It's like a circus. We got the, these two guys on the side. They're going to drink a cup of eggnog, right? Mm-hmm. First one, well, eggnog, eggnog puke. puke. Eggnog sure, puke. What's the deal? The, the guy who finished first drink. wins the money? Yeah. <laughs> Jimmy, it's your thing. I think so, yeah. I don't care. Whoever wants it now. After Whoever that, finishes it first. 
Wh wait, wait, whoever finishes first? No, 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 because there might be more puke to be drunk. I mean, we, we, we don't want to be rushing. Just enjoy it. So, so what's the? Who wins? Oh. Who wins? I yeah. don't know. We need some rules. We need here. some How about rules. Nobody. <laughs> yeah, I don't think there's. Whoever any turns this show wins. off wins. <laughs> I think they ought to have a chug contest. Whoever can chug it and hold it uh, wins. If they c both do it, they got to do another cup. Oh my God! <laughs> this is insane. <laughs> Huh? Another eggnog puke challenge. I say gargle. I want to hear somebody. Jerry's gargle. rumbling. Jerry. I'll gargle it. Gargle. All right, what's your name, by the way, Nirvana guy? Drew. Drew, what's up? <laughs> he's gonna... He looks like Not he's in a spin doctor. Yeah. Someone else's vomit. That was a long time listener, first time puker. <laughs> that was your chance. <laughs> this is really tough. I've never had this tough a time. Nope. Fan's unflappable, too. Nothing bothers Stan. He's just standing right. there, tent in his pants. He doesn't care. <laughs> I've been fine with everything so far. <laughs> So Got far. Paul R. Nelson shirt yeah. on, you show off. Man, is unflappably psychotic. So I say someone's got to gargle with that puke. Why not? I mean, it'd be cute. Oh, right. Drew? Jesus, Jim. Oh, whoa. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> he just gargled Sergeant Magoo's <laughs> puke. <laughs> All right, that got a little too close. Did they make a mouthwash for that? <laughs> yes, they did. It's, it's called a bullet. <laughs> By the way, HDNet is filming this whole thing. Okay, that got a little too late. Uh, that, that splatter got a little too close. A, a, a little speck got on my chair. This must be eliminated immediately, or I will leave the program. Uh, Drew? It tastes like vomit. What does it taste like? What does it taste like, Drew? It tastes like eggnog. Warm eggnog. Warm eggnog. But there's clumps in it. Dude, there's, there's, there's clumps. It was stomach warmed final. up in a man's stomach. Oh, all right, we got the uh, intro with you, uh, Pat, Pat, Duffy. Yep. Hold uh, on, Jerry's raising his hand over there. Jerry? What's the matter, Jerry? I thought it was for a second. What? I thought it was for a second. All right, wh what shot are we up to? We're getting close. Dan, how many shots are we up to? Uh, 54. All right, uh, the guys that are still in the competition, it's only two, Pat from Minaki and Jerry. They're about to do their 54th double shot. Uh, oh, they're going to do 55 right now. All right, their 55th double shot of eggnog. I think last year Pat did the 71. Yeah, we're getting close to the record now. Pat, how many more do you think you could do? Uh, uh, a few. Uh-oh. Oh, there goes uh, Jerry. Just put his down. Pat's eating less because he's losing weight for his girl, so Pat's not in quite... He's not in shape. Not in this he's kind of shape. shape. He's becoming in better uh, everyday shape. Yeah. Um, well, well, I just settle down, what? Pat. Find yourself a nice girl and settle down. <laughs> yeah, where's your uh, girl there, Pat? You don't know, do you? Uh-oh. Uh -oh. I'm going to puke. Oh, no. Oh, I, I, oh, my God. Everyone, this is the big guy, Jerry. Here comes the bison. Oh. Oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> It's like he's sneezing through his mouth. He <laughs> can't get it done. It doesn't want to come out. Did he technically puke? Yep. Yeah, we got a we got a winner actually. <laughs> Somebody uh. What a different sound. Alright, here it comes now. Does this mean I oh, won? Magoo's holding the thing under. Hold the pitch on it, Magoo. <laughs> yeah. Magoo, you gotta catch some of it? Yep. Puke into the pitcher, sir. Uh, Jerry is still over the barrel. Not much has come out, it's considering how much around. he's got in him. There's a lot of effort. It felt, felt like a Switch golf match. It got oh, there quiet. he goes. Oh, he's puking into the other thing of puke. <laughs> He's adding to Sergeant Magoo's picture. This wow. is so heinous. <laughs> this is so bad. You know what's funny? The picture was so heinous that him puking didn't even phase me. I don't know. His puke is different. Lap. Yeah. There's something like, about it. It's like white cheddar cheese puffs. It's, yes. <laughs> it's thicker. It's a cottage cheesy thing. Yeah, it's had time to really, like, um, solidify in his stomach. Yeah, the water has gone through different pipes. And <laughs> yeah. Oh, left some the solid. Body chemicals have been added. <laughs> look, look at <laughs> oh, God. Oh. I like how he's enticing him with. <laughs> yeah, with. The best part about this is Pat isn't even remotely phased. No. no. How are you feeling, Pat? Jerry. I'm well, feeling pretty damn good. Jerry? <laughs> how are you feeling? <laughs> I better. did it for you, Tanya. Alright, here's the deal. 
Uh, Jerry is the runner-up in the eggnog drinking contest. Pat from Monaki gets the title back. And not only that, he just finished the little shot. He, he never had to. Right. He didn't have to finish it, but he just chugged down, and he's refilling his cup. Look at him go. Hey, Pat, you going to go for the record or no? Uh, I already won. <laughs> Did I mention I was diabetic? <laughs> Pat, uh, do you have a, a, gr a grand finale in you? Hmm, funny you say grand. <laughs> uh, <laughs> wow. Yeah, where's the money coming from? Do we have to promote anybody, or is it just cold hard cash? Ooh. From just the radio station, Go Free FM here in New York? With Tanya. Huh? With that. You're going to take Tanya on a date? Yeah. Buy us something drive nice. Master Post yeah. somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, let's go to the phones. Pat, what are you going to do? You want to go for the record or no? Sure, what the hell? All right, Pat's going to go for the record. All right. Oh. Uh, let's go. say hi to Pete in the Bronx. Pete, what's up? What's going on, guys? What's hey. going on? Hey. Oh, my God. I thought my window was open, and I threw up all over the goddamn car. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this you guys is... are great, man. All right, thanks. It's one of those tough uh, shows. Larry on really Long Island. Really is tough. Larry. What's hey. What's going Larry. On, guys? What's up? I'm driving my truck on uh, Sunrise Highway, and uh, I look to my left, and I see this chick, and she's listening to the show. She has to be. Looks like she's gagging and making all these uh, messed up faces. I look to my right, and I can see this dude in a truck, and I know he's uh, listening, and he's got his, he's laughing his ass off. <laughs> <laughs> but the classic radio, unbelievable. I'm loving it. It's been unbelievable today. Let's go to Boston. Zach, what's up? <sighs> Zach. All right, I love Zach. Let's go to Brandon in Cleveland. Brandon. Oh, that is, I was fine up until Jimmy started explaining it. <laughs> And the Viking swig, I had yeah. the burps, and I had to run to the kitchen listening to you guys on direct TV. Oh. And I, I say the money has to go. I say that all, I, would would uh, the, oh. young, the young intern goggle with the other man's vomit, and I say you get the money. Cause Absolutely. You, this kid, nothing phases him. Yeah, he's, he's a tough competitor. Just be careful you don't throw up on the walk. The only way to top yeah. this would be if someone put their head over the bucket with an open mouth and let Pat from Wunaki throw up in their mouth. Joey! That's wow. why Joe Rogan is here. Rogan. That's Rogan. the next level, people. Rogan's going to be at Caroline's let's, all weekend long here in New York yeah, City. Let's not make this happen next year. Let's make it happen this year. What do you say? Well, Pat's going to... That? That's all those years from all those great pitch meetings. That's all the yep, experience. Yeah, that's right. Just, uh, that's a wonderful human episode. Human water right fountain. Yeah. Well, yeah, Pat's going to get to another from. level here. Pat's going to have to get rid of what he's got in his belly because he's a <laughs> diabetic. So uh, how many shots is uh, Pat up to? 60. 60? If we can get someone to just lean back... Put the head Who, over the bucket with an open mouth. Who's gonna lean back? Can I catch it with this cup and try? No, 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 no. Right, open right mouth. Okay. Well, we have to go to. We Eric, have to do a Eric break, right? Hold you up. Wow, we gotta take a break. We wanna take a break now, Pat? Do you think you can do that? Open mouth. Uh, you got good aim. Pat, can you hold out sure. for five minutes before you puke? <laughs> sure. How many minutes sure. do you gotta do? Sure. Sure. How many minutes? This break? is gonna be the most disgusting thing ever. <laughs> like, like he's never ever. done this before. Like, <laughs> oh yeah. Sure. sure. <laughs> Pat, how close are you to puking? I'm pretty good right now. You can hold out for a few minutes. I, oh, yeah. Yeah, uh, Pat, right. that's pro. All right, here's the deal. Pat's going to go for the record. We're going to take a quick break, and uh, we'll continue with the uh, the Opie uh, and Anthony show. Just... I guess when we get back, it's the showstopper that Joe came up with. Pat's going to have to get rid of this. He won the eggnog drinking contest, and he's going to get rid of it as uh, the new intern dude is over the bucket, Pat Duffy. right? Other Pat. Pat Duffy. Mm -hmm. All right, cool. We'll do that next. It's the Opie and Anthony show. <laughs> We're back for the grand finale. Of the eggnog drinking contest. Wow. If you're just joining in, Pat from Winaki has won the eggnog drinking contest. Getting his title back. He's won two out of the three competitions. Uh, he's going for the record, which uh, stands at 71 double shots of eggnog that he set last year. And uh, oh, God. what else is going on, Anthony? We got well, the new intern. Yeah, the new intern. Uh, Pat. Pat. Uh, What's up? What's his last name? Duffy. Duffy. Pat Duffy. Pat Good Duffy, boy. yeah. Pat Duffy. Soon to be legend. And, yeah, yeah he, he is soon to be a legend yes. uh, in this uh, competition because he has volunteered to let Pat from Munaki, who has had how many shots? Uh, 67. 67 shots. He is four <laughs> shots away from, from tying the yeah. eggnog drinking That's contest true. record. Earlier, Sergeant Magoo, as we know, puked into a um, beer uh, a beer uh, pitcher, pitcher yeah. uh, poured it into a bowl of Fruit Loops and ate it, Yeah. Um, so which right. is really disgusting. Yep. And so did, yeah, Pat, Pat uh, our new intern. 
he uh, he did that. Step by step. Ate some of the Fruit Loops, but now he has volunteered um, with a little bit of prodding to wow. to letting Barely. either d- if he wants a, a job as an intern on the show, he's going to do this. Yeah, to letting Pat from Wenaki right unload his vomit. Into his mouth directly. Yeah, because Pat has to get rid of this because he's a diabetic. Yeah, he's Desperate. diabetic. Now, he's going to kneel. I would say you should get into position shortly where you kneel on the uh, tarpaulin and lean the head back over the garbage can because you don't want to be balanced. You don't want to fall back and break your neck. Mm. Do we have um, a table? I think, think what about that little stool the there? A good stool. Good like, point. like in Max Hardcore? Can he sit on that? Let's and then stool. Is that tall enough? Yeah. Hey, i got to use that. Uh, is that stool good? Put the stool against there. See if he could sit on that and lean his head back like he's at the dentist. Yeah, because yes. it can't be the back of the head. He's got... T- yeah. That could be a perfect, perfect. size. Oh yeah. Okay, like, like that a, works like perfectly. Yeah. yeah, like he's having his hair shampooed. <laughs> right. There you go. Yeah, hey, Sam. Sam. Right. Did you shoot from that angle? Yeah, shoot from another angle so because if we don't get a view of this... No, I'm going to be kid, pissed. This is like watching uh, Halley's Comet. Yeah. Oh, you missed it. Yes. You know, you're oh not going to see this again. Sam, get in position. Yeah. H- HD net, get in position. Pat from Monaki, how many shots have you done? Oh, God. This is actually also like flash dance. Yeah. That scene where, <laughs> where he pulls a little handle and the water goes all over him, but it certainly won't be water. Uh, yeah, you get one later. All right, wait, where are we at? Where's Pat at? Pat, 68. You really think this is... You really gonna be able to do this one? Sure, yeah. why not? Yeah, I'll do it. You're gonna let a dude throw up in your mouth. Yeah. Sam, how's that uh, camera battery? Good. Wow. Okay. <laughs> yeah, we got like a three camera shoot yeah. going on. By the way, yeah. this is called the baby bird, right? Than came up yeah, with the name. Yeah, came up with the name, the baby bird. The baby uh, bird. Rogan, of course, that sick bastard, came up with the idea. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and uh, he's in position for the first time. Pat's in position in radio history. You're about to listen to right, the baby bird. The baby the bird. Human history. Which is <laughs> now I think some fraternity did this somewhere. <laughs> That's true. We're making German pornography. Right. This is um. No, I think it was right the other way. He's too high in the air now. Yeah, don't be all. Silly it's all right because some uh, some's gonna yeah, get we, on the tarp. We, we have a tarp. We have a reason. tarp. It's fine. Yeah. Pat, how many shots are you up to? 69. 69. Pat is very close How to the doing, eggnog Pat? drinking contest record. Okay, I'm feeling it, though. You feeling it? Yeah. Feeling that pressure. Feeling a little nausea? All right. We got the, the new intern, Pat, in position. Pat Duffy. This is going to be And uh, uh, Danny, uh, could you mic him from the other side? Yeah, Without getting yeah, Sam's way, we got to film it properly. Yeah. yeah. Right. We got to film, film it properly. properly. Yeah. Sam, you miss this, you die. Yeah. This is very important. Don't go for art. Go for documentary. Yeah, exactly. HD. You should get over there, too, just in case. I think I'm close enough. You're, you're going to be all right? Yeah. yeah, this guy, the cameraman's not uh, not into the whole puke thing, but he's filming it for HD. But he, you know, sometimes you got it's like a war correspondent. I understand. You don't want to see it, but you're there, and you have to document what happened. All right, a lot of things going on. Pat, what uh, shot you got in your hand now? 71. This is to tie the record right here, guys. Uh, how you doing? He's, he's taking his time. It's rough, huh, He's Pat? He's pulling this one over. Pat, do it for love. He's going to tell me when to go. Oh, Pat's ready. Oh. Oh. Shot. All right, this ties the eggnog drinking contest record. Pat has officially tied it. He is one shot away from setting a brand new record and here. Like a true champion, he's only in competition with himself. Yeah, only with himself. He could have stopped. He won the competition. <laughs> he's feeling the pressure. You could see it on his face. He's not as confident as he, as he was at the beginning of this. No. Uh, he is just going for the record, though. So he can pace himself. Hi. Um, he doesn't have to worry about losing. And the loneliness of the champion left there standing. Anthony. Alone. Yeah. Also, his belly is really bloated. Yeah, it is really <laughs> pushed out. Because you've yeah. lost weight, and you got a massive belly today. Like no filter Paul. Now, I would suggest to uh, Pat over here, uh, the new intern, our new favorite intern, <laughs> Pat, that... Don't move. It's just going to make it worse. Yeah. You're gonna, Close you're, your eyes. Your instinct is probably going to be to sit up quickly and get out of the way, but that'll just make it worse. It just shut your eyes. Let it happen. Yeah. Now, wait, wait. Where's Pat Fumanaki going to stand? Because you're way, you got a whole bunch yeah, of... Yeah, Pat, what's can. your position going to be? Right there. So you give him like a little hair rinse. Do a dry run. you got to get his mouth. No, the mouth, Pat. Right, well, yeah. the whole head, the whole head. He'll, he'll, but record. but aim for his mouth. The record. The record. The record. Broke it. The record. Pat has just Pat set a new record of 72. Oh, 72. Wow. Fantastic. Could not be more relaxed. He's like, I know. His heart rate hasn't even gone up. No. Pat, 
Uh, can we have a, like a dry run of what you're going to do? Let's say you're you're ready to puke. What are you going to do? Brace yourself on the bucket, each hand, yeah. uh, on the sides of the bucket. And then, and then right in his mouth. Pat. In the mouth, Pat. Right Don't worry yeah. about the bucket. Just, I mean, we got it's the call called, down. Okay. It's called the baby bird. It's not gay, Pat. Pat. You are the mommy bird coming back to feed oh, the baby bird. Feed your young. That's no baby's hungry. Pat, just destroy oh him. God. Just, oh, my God. Oh, he's going to destroy him. Please say that before you do it. Pat, Please just destroy that. his face, man. Oh. We don't care about the mess. We'll clean up afterwards. Oh, right. no. Tom's tie. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, no. 73. 73. 73. Unbelievable. 73 double shots of eggnog from Pat Fuminaki. Worst thing ever. He's, Pat, yeah, Pat this this is really really bad. He's got that look on his face like those guys in the '80s that were about to fight Tyson. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just that oh inevitable loss. Joe Rogan playing Carolines all weekend long. Whew. With the amazing racist uh, opening up. Pat, how are you? Uh, it's getting real close. All right, it's getting real, <laughs> real close. The suspense. All the cameras out. We've never had more people in the studio, by the way. There's got to be about 30 people in here. And what he's doing is very DiMaggio-esque. This is like the 56-game hitting streak. Yeah, yeah. 73 shots. This will never be broken. Hey, someone is no, saying, please no, center no. the Pal Talk camera. We got it. Uh, 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 I got mine done. All right. Make no, no, mine's, mine's <laughs> fine. Uh, -oh. uh It's Pal Talk 2. All right. That somebody's in the way of or something like that. I guess it's the camera guy. What shot is that? The left. 74. Oh, Pat. he's going for more. He's going for 75. Everyone's got to pretty much keep their position so keep going. the cameras and everybody can see. Puking all over the place. 75. Just about every city in America. He's and in Canada, thanks to XM. He's just drinking now. He's up to 76. Uh-oh, oh, here we go. Here it goes. Oh! It's happening. It's happening. Wet myself. I swear to you, I'm oh, laughing so hard. I have never... We lost Jimmy. He's laughing so hard. He ran into the corner. Yeah! A thunderous round of applause. Down goes Pat. Down goes Pat. He's wearing puke blackface. That was the greatest moment in radio history, period. It's yeah, impossible yeah. to top that. Yeah, it's it's not impossible. Impossible. Trust I, me on that. How can you top that? Trust me on that. How can that be topped? We, we are an announcing our retirement <laughs> right now because that is it. How can that be topped? Wow. Joe. That can't be topped. That, that, can't, that was, was the craziest thing I've ever seen in my life. That was insane. <laughs> can that you believe insane. you were watching that as it was happening? <laughs> I cannot believe I saw that. <laughs> Holy. Jimmy, what happened? happened I I was filming it on my camera you, for, for posterity yeah. it was like Zapruder and as I I, 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 I got a hit I, the smell hit me and I almost threw up but I, I mean the smell Dude, that the best, kid is the intern. best part when Pat uh, the our new intern turned his head sideways to get some of it off of his face and Pat puked right in his ear <laughs> No, the best. What about when he opened his eyes and all of a sudden it was just these two clear dots yeah. in the middle of this right, cake listen. batter? Listen. He's going. He all keeps right. going. All right, listen. Oh, my God. I'm watching it on Joe uh, Rogan's camera yeah. phone. Oh, look. my God. I'm crying. It's the worst thing right. I've ever seen. Look, look, look. Here, this is what we, hold on, Ann. we got to do this because yeah. everyone's asking what the hell happened. All they heard was the reaction. So, uh, Pat from Minaki, what what shot was that? The 75th? He did this 75th. Oh, okay. You gotta get that. Hold on, let's let's do this. That oh, the cleanup. He did this his 75th double shot of eggnog because people aren't sure exactly what happened. Oh. Okay, 
he immediately lost it. We had Pat uh, Pat Duffy leaning over the, the, the bucket, and Pat just unloaded everything that was in his stomach. I've never seen anyone puke more volume in my life all over uh, Pat Duffy's head. He's still cleaning off his head. It's pouring out of his hair still, the puke. I, he just shook his head like he got out of a pool, you know, when you have stuff in your ear. There was no way to describe it as it was going on because it was the, it, the reaction in the studio was just amazing. Oh, my God. I defy that clip to not make the number one downloaded clip on on. Uh, on YouTube. YouTube. We're going that, for number one download on YouTube. Got, what the hell are you going to watch that's better than that? That clip will be up on YouTube, what, within a day? I'm sending that to my website. It's going to be at JoeRogan.net in about 10 seconds. That's got to be, yeah. <laughs> that has to Brilliant, be Joe. online immediately. It's going right now. It's going right now. Brilliant. Oh, look, Joe is uploading it as as we speak at. Technology. JoeRogan.net? Yeah, JoeRogan.net. It'll right. be up uh, in my phone camera uh, slot right. section. Right. Oh, my God. Wow. I, I was watching it, like, <laughs> and it was like a, it was an out-of-body experience because I was like, I, I, I know what it's like now to watch a murder happen. Dude, <laughs> you're watching going, oh, my God, this isn't really happening. All right, it's Anthony. Because people are like, all we heard was you guys screaming. you got to understand. It was so unbelievable. We, we, we stepped out of being radio hosts and just yeah. watched. All right. I'm, when I suggested, I did not think he was going to take it up. I'm telling you right now, and I have been doing radio for 12-plus years. I, that is the greatest moment Never that we've seen, seen we, and we've in seen studio. It all. And we've seen it all. That he was leaning back, his head over the garbage pail, sitting on a stool like you would getting your hair shampooed at a salon. Oh, That's the God. exact stance he had. Pat was on the other side. Uh, where the sink would be, where the, the faucets the, would be, yeah. The mama bird side. Yeah, the mama bird side. Uh, uh, Pat, the intern, mouth opened, and then Pat from Unaki just let loose a, a, a virtual waterfall. Uh, have you of, ever seen anyone puke more volume? No, no. I can't even describe it was a waterfall. how much came out of them. It's uploaded. It's at uh, JoeRogan.net now. There's a little section in the upper left-hand corner that says uh, latest camera phone shot. Oh. It'll be a video. That'll be a, it'll be on Text America. Good luck. But you can find it on JoeRogan.net. Good luck. You just crashed your site, I'm sure. <laughs> I don't sure. care. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I got it on my cell phone. I don't care. <laughs> Oh, I've never, I can't believe I saw that. Yeah, Steve, get that video up on Opie and Anthony. And it kept yeah. happening and happening. It wasn't like, it wasn't like it happened and then it was done. Right. It went yeah. on and on, on and, and Pat on. just, and more Pat each just, time. and the volume, yeah, it was more each time until he was completely covered. It looked like the Pat mama bird. Got Look at this disgusting. It stinks. Pat was standing there, and he would just open his mouth, and it shot out of it. It almost looked like fake puke, <laughs> like like it was being done with a hose. Like Look. she says, when she's opening Look. her mouth, and puke What's shot up? out. And like Joe said, simple as this. We just raised a bar. I guarantee that is the greatest moment in radio history right there as far as just over-the-top stuff. Oh, my God. Is I that... guarantee. When you see this video on YouTube and opianthony.com, you're not going to believe it. Oh. I'm uploading a second video. I got two videos. Ed, he never puked himself. Yeah, you didn't puke, right, Pat? No. You are Pat Duffy, a man. Man. Pat Duffy. He's our Just new... Save it for the walkover. He's that, our new intern. That dude is. is a savage. Give that, him the money. It's not much money, so but give it to him. That's that. his money. Yeah. Oh, yeah. What a, Here, Pat. Yeah. Now, He's that's a way to driver. apply for a goddamn job. Absolutely. <laughs> oh, my God. Deserves, You're hired. He deserves health insurance after that one. Yeah. <laughs> Dental, even. What are your references? He puts his head back and opens his mouth. <laughs> wow. wow. A little thing wow. called wow. the baby bird. <laughs> yeah. You ever hear the baby bird? Me. Greatest moment in radio history. Yeah. Hey, Joe. You know football? No. You don't know football? I, I got to get these. I do your radio picks. Let this new boy, Pat Duffy, do your picks. Yeah, I got to do uh, oh, my football picks really for this spots. week. New football star. picks sponsored by Dish Network. More football for you. Better TV for oh. all. Call 1-888-GET-DISH. That's 1-888-GET-DISH. Dish Network. Oh, oh great just time. nothing uh, total respect. How about we do this as a group? Jets, Packers. What do we think? Jets. Yeah, let's go Jets on that. All right. Uh, Jaguars, Dolphins. Got to be the, the the Dolphins. Yes, Dolphins no. are playing at home. Got to go Dolphins. Maybe, but the Jaguars. Uh, <laughs> we got the Falcons and the Redskins. That's a toughie. Redskins at home? I hate the Redskins. Falcons. Falcons better team. Michael Vick. All right, we'll go. Yeah, but then again, too. he's giving the finger to his own fans. I love him. All right, let's go Falcons. So, so far, i got the Jets, the Dolphins, the Falcons. Here's the biggie this week, Cowboys, Giants. It's going to be Cowboys. Cowboys. That Roma, he's going to run through that stupid giant defense. And then finally, the Texans and the Raiders. Ugh. 
Definitely Denver. <laughs> yeah, I like Denver, too. Denver? Houston or Oakland? I say who cares, but I'll go with uh, yeah, o- I'll go, uh, yeah, Oakland. I'll go Oakland. Take Oakland, yeah. Oakland take at Oakland home. Just... Oakland at home, all right? Wow, it's this smell over there, Steve? Oh, it's football. <laughs> football pick sponsored by Dish Network. Steve. More football for you. Better TV for all. Call 1-888-GET-DISH. Steve uh, has puke on him. Yeah. Puke on the wires. <laughs> There's puke all over me. It D- really is. Is it bad. smelling bad, Hawk? <laughs> People are calling it pukaki. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we're gonna walk over to free, uh, to, uh, to XM. Yeah. Uh, we have some. Uh, we, the boys will be drinking some eggnog on the way. Yeah. This young this young go getter Pat Duffy. Yeah. Um, uh, hopefully won't throw up on the walk over because we'd hate to see that on 57th Street because that would look really awful. Yeah, we'll be filming. Well, I'm I'm now um, looking at the text that was coming out of Pal Talk because the people watching it on the cameras, and I've never seen so many no's yeah. no being yeah. written ever. People are just disgusted. Other people just throwing in random te- letters like they just slam their keyboard and hit send. You know, <laughs> it, it, I, they were stunned. Dude, for the first time, I think the reaction said it all. I mean, we had over 30, maybe 40 people in studio. Just losing their minds, Jimmy. Like I didn't even, I didn't even know where you went. I, I stood on the couch and was filming with my own camera. I fell on the floor. I was laughing so freaking hard. I was, I was looking crying. Around. I thought was, I was going to wet myself. No one I else was puking. They were what just. About, I got right next to it yeah. to get it on my camera phone. I, yeah. I, I, I didn't even throw up. I was so transfixed by the moment. <laughs> I couldn't believe it was actually happening. It was like an alien abduction. <laughs> you are a and trooper, then, and then man. The round of applause was incredible. Yeah, it, uh, yeah. It's called the baby bird. Thank you, Than, for naming that and fine Rogan little stunt. Thinking it, yeah. And Pat for being Pat, and and other Pat for being Pat. We have two Pats. Yeah, we gotta. Well, I've got to hear that again when we get over. Yeah, there. we will. I've got to hear the clip. Listen, the, let's the get sounds. out. Of, we got to get out of here early because they got to clean up. The yeah, they got to clean up. All right, Joe Rogan at Caroline's all weekend long. Te- I'm telling you right now, Joe Rogan, wow. Rogan's comedy is amazing. Make sure you check him out at Caroline's Thank if you. you're in the area. And uh, you got the amazing racist with you, right? Two one two seven five seven forty one hundred. Uh you there tonight, tomorrow and Sunday, right? Yeah, exactly. How many shows? Two, two and two, one. Two and one, yeah. Rogan will sell out, you idiots, so call. Uh Bill Burr, anything? Uh what do I got? Uh South Beach for New so- Year's. Oh. All right, very good. And we'll continue over at XM. Uh Monday and Tuesday, broadcasting live from West Palm Beach, Florida. We're leaving for West Palm right after the uh, second half of the That's show on right. XM today. West Palm Beach. That's where I'm going to be. Oh, r- right on. And we'll be at the bake sale yep. that uh, they're doing down there tomorrow. It's an all-day uh, 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 concert festival or whatever. Oh, and we'll hurry be up. Get me out of here. It's yeah, all right. We got to go, guys. Thank you so much. Don't forget to, to check out the videos on YouTube. Just throw Opie and Anthony in the search engine. That should happen within uh, the next day or so. And also, uh, uh, opianthony.com. A little secret, because when Sam throws these videos up on YouTube, yeah. you have to wait in the search engine for about 24 hours. Yeah. His uh, his account is OA Videos. OA Videos. You can get a sneak peek very early on. OA Videos. All right, that's for the tech people out there. They'll figure You're it out. Right. Hey, guys, thank you so much. We'll see you when we broadcast live from West Palm Beach, Monday and Tuesday. The Opie and Anthony XM walkover begins now. Wow. I, I, yeah. Awestruck. I'm awestruck at what I just saw. I'm, I'm happy to breathe, uh, fresh air. And Bill pointed out there are three buses across the street, like spewing exhaust. And to me, it's fresh air because it stunk so fucking bad in that studio. This is going to be the video that everyone talks about as far as the Opie and Anthony show goes. Yeah. We've made some great videos lately. This one is going to be... It might it might beat Bill Burr's video, by the way, is the, the as top as, uh, uh, Opie and Anthony video on YouTube. It counts. You're in trouble, Bill. Oh, yeah. You're, You're in be trouble. going down on this one. And there, there's no reason why mine should not be number two by 9.30. I can't even explain baby it. Baby bird. It's called the baby bird. Joe Rogan came up with it. Than named it, and it wasn't disappointing. We had uh, Sam. Sam's camera work was unbelievable. I saw it. It's. I can't. It's amazing how much came out of Pat from Anaki. That's the. That's the first thing that and comes how, to mind. How, it was like. Uh, it was like a pail. A pail. Yeah. There you go. Every and time he puked. Every time. Right. How Pat, our new intern, Pat Duffy. Pat Duffy. Uh, how he took it. Just laid there and just took it. Like a man. Like a man. Like a man. He takes turned you. his head at one point. No. Like Pat Duffy. Like Pat Duffy. And he, he was going, <laughs> trying to get it out of his mouth and nose and eyes. Yeah. And as his head was turned, Pat 
laid a volley of puke on the side of his head yeah. that just covered his entire head. It, it They're both named so Pop, bad. Pat, so you got to go Mama Bird and Baby Bird. Mama Bird and, <laughs> and Baby, Baby Bird. Bird. Right. By the way, usually we have security walking us to XM, and of course yeah. we do today. They have they have to walk with Sam in that camera. <laughs> Very valuable tape in there. Somebody walk with Sam today. He needs to handcuff that to his wrist. Yeah, no right. kidding, man. Would you be mad at him if he dropped it in the tape? Oh God, in a puddle. No, that would that would be our luck, to be honest with you. Uh, Sam, what are you waiting for? Get to XM. Get that online. Be yeah. careful with the camera. The camera. Camera. Don't, why don't you put the tape, that tape, and stuff, take it out? Right. Sam's a good one. He took it out already. He all doesn't right. have it anymore. All right. Kids all cock. All right, want to start the walk? We got a huge yeah. crowd here today. Everyone say hi. Oh, uh, yeah. Very, very nice crowd. I think they're seeing us off. They kind of come out when uh, when we're hitting the road. Yeah. Yep. Or well, they think we're about to be fired. <laughs> yeah. True. Hitting West Palm Beach after the show today. Yeah, Tom Chiosano looked none too happy. No, I talked to him after the show. I got to be yeah. honest, he was cool. Was he? He was pretty cool about it. A little worried about the, how we left the studio, but it was that's a not our problem. Mess. Oh yeah, he's he's the one who's got to listen to the complaining. Yeah, those yeah, poor the next bastards who've got to come in next. JV yeah. and Elvis are going to go in there and just be like uh, a little pissed off at this smell. Dude, that, yeah, how awful that is. We got used to it because it happened slowly. Right. You imagine walking into that and just smelling that. And it was worse oh. down the hall because of the fan. Yeah. You know, I, I got to say it. The eggnog drinking contest gets better and better every year. Every year. This was by far. Oh, uh, screw Andrew today. Yeah, Go fuck Andrew. yourself. Andrew, how are you? Uh, yeah, how are you yeah, doing? Yeah. Treat With yourself. We'll Gilligan. See, we'll see you at the home of shopping he spree. He does have hair like Gilligan. He does. Yeah. <laughs> Gilligan. And the same living situation. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> we, so he, does, he needs a little fake palm tree out there. <laughs> hey, we should get that for him. Uh, so many highlights. So oh, many yeah. highlights. The first puke, that gurgling sound, and that again was uh, Pat was Duffy. Pat, Pat Duffy. His our name is Pat Duffy. Is anyone gonna puke on the walkover? I would love to see the reaction of people if we get some. Hey, does anybody have to puke? Anybody sick? No, they're all kind of all dry. All right. Fuck, I would have loved to have seen somebody drink some eggnog. You guys had a Congressional Vomit. Medal of Honor. I know. He should get it. So he we really got, should. So we had Pat Duffy that started the festivities as far as the highlights go. And then, I mean, Sergeant Magoo, you, you almost forget what Sergeant Magoo did in this competition today. Just amazing, amazing stuff with the Fruit Loops and the puke. It was a total team effort. It was, it was incredible. you got to come up with a new The Pat Duffy Award. <laughs> yeah. Joe, your thoughts once again. Huh? Your thoughts on what you just saw? I'm blown away. I, I feel like I just saw like someone do something that's impossible. I feel like I saw someone fly through the air, breathe underwater. Someone inventing a new, a new kind and, of music. And yeah, Joe Rogan, remember, he's a factor. This guy's seen a lot of really heinous shit. And that was way past anything I ever saw in Fear yeah. Factor. Way. Yeah. That, was, that was in another dimension. Yep. Another you dimension. Beatles. You just saw the Beatles. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Beat that. The Beatles. Of that was the you. first talkie. You just saw the first talkie. <laughs> Amazing. All right, making our way to Hi, Patty. Patty. Uh, oh, Patty. Well, it would be better if we dipped her in that can. Oh, mm. oh that would covered be covered, cool. Patty. <laughs> just oh. a head, head first right into the garbage pail. I miss. Pail full of puke. Oh, my God. Let me, let me, can I get through here, Joe? Somebody smells of puke. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah, I wonder yes. why. There's only four of us that don't. God, we got a lot of people out here today. A huge crowd doing the walkover. All right. Which way you want to go? Uh, well, that's flashing. We'll go straight. We'll go straight today. We have Sonny Ferrelli out here and Flea. And yeah, a lot no of the uh, regulars. The whole dirty crew. General Bam's out here looking, looking around. around the bus stops. Happy typing yeah, girls out here. Son of a... Oh, thank you. Huh? Waiting for the light to change. All right, we're good. You're waiting we, for the we, bus. Hey, to yeah, get everybody out of the does way. smell like puke out we here. We got to get on the elevator. It's with puke guy. We have to get on. I want to see people's reaction when he gets on the elevator. Oh yeah. Puke guy. We Just have to reeking. Have to be on the elevator. We have to cut it out. Reeking as puke. Oh. By the way, the video will be up on oh. YouTube. A little, a little side door action because stupid YouTube. Uh, you got to wait like a day for the video to be available. Uh, Sam's account is OA Videos. I was wondering what the smell OA was. OA Videos. It's the pitcher. We got to get. Who's, where's the pitcher? Uh, it's hanging off of Sergeant Magoo's back pocket. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Here we go. All right, we got to. Uh, 
Yeah, I want to see the faces when Pat Duffy gets in the elevator. And just Smelling. reeks. Oh, look at the dogs. Kick them. I'm going to cook them. <laughs> Fucking rotten Asian. <laughs> wow, what a day. Jesus, Bam. That, I don't know how uh, how you top something like that. Next year, what are we going to do? Next year, we got to bring the eggnog drinking contest to the public. We have to do that. Imagine the baby bird in we front of uh, a couple of thousand people. Oh By the way, Ant, good uh, description when you were talking about Flashdance. Yeah, yeah, that's how he was laying. If you know that old movie with the water coming down cascading, it yep. was that much puke. That's what it looked like. It, it was, was that reveal, much right? puke. Flashdance, yeah, the water Jesus. scene. Oh, oh, hat. What, a, what a smart <laughs> outfit. Oh. Oh. She looks like a fat white tiger. I wish a <laughs> lion would come out and bite yeah. her neck. A zebra. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> a fat zebra. <laughs> oh, that was the fucking worst. A white, like, and black striped hat and coat. Awful ghetto. <laughs> she was dressed like she was on the Flintstones. Oh. <laughs> 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 <Yeah. laughs> uh. All right, what are we going to do? How are we going to get all these people up today? Well, huh? That's, I'll organize that's it. That's Kenny. You realize they're right. bringing the smell of puke with them. All right, just everyone. that out there. Hold on. Everyone listen up. Kenny? Yeah. Kenny, your speech. Yeah. Listen, people, pay attention. If you want to come upstairs, I will discreetly pick some of you to come upstairs and watch the Opie and Anthony radio show on XM Satellite Radio. The greatest radio show. That's correct. The greatest radio show of all time. Thank you. All right. Kenny will take Was care of you guys. Was he asking for Thank sexual you. favors there? Yeah, I think so. I will so. pick you discreetly. Discreetly? I don't think that's the word he was looking for. All right. Heading toward the elevators. We'll see you guys upstairs. Unbelievable. Has anyone seen Pat yet? Usually no. he spends about an hour in the bathroom after the eggnog drinking contest, shitting and puking. <laughs> Unbelievable is all I can say. You know, if Pat wins it again next year, that's a uh, it's a, a dynasty. Treaty. It's a dynasty. Well, he's won two out of the three. Two out of the three, and the new record is seventy-five. I guess. Set the record. Seventy-five. There were so many highlights. We we were remembering all the highlights in the elevator. Like we almost forgot that E Rock was puking through the whole thing. Oh. And he wasn't even in the competition. The that was chugging. so much so much fun. That, that was, was so unbelievable. Fun. The chugging of the uh, puke. Just Niagara Falls. It was like standing under a waterfall yeah. of eggnog puke. Sam is already in front of a computer working on the video. So Yeah, Joe Rogan.net, it's all uploaded to the front page now. <laughs> it's on the front page now. <laughs> let's uh, Two videos from my camera phone. Let's say hi to Lucas in Arizona. Lucas. Hey, what's up, ONA? Hey. Well, thank you guys for giving me the best birthday present ever. Yeah. Oh, you like that, huh? Yeah, love the puking. Love, <laughs> love the puking. Uh, thank you, sir. And our, and our, uh, you know, they're never satisfied. Rogan never choked out Flea. <laughs> we forgot all about oh, Flea. Relax. Could, how do you top that? If Rogan puts puke on his cock and chokes Flea with it, there's yeah, no to way to fuck follow that. Flea in the ass with puke on my dick while I choked him unconscious. <laughs> mm, I like it. While he threw up into Pat's mouth. Might have to come back next year. <laughs> yeah. In front of an audience. It. Next year we do it in front of a, a, yeah. an audience. Well, we had an audience today. We had about 40 people. Oh, we're talking, you know, uh, in front of a thousand that was people. Repugnant. I've got to hear it because I was in the oh, yeah. moment. We're it's very get... hard to, like, really sort it out. I want to hear it so I know what the listeners heard. Yeah, well, uh, do we have the audio ready to go? Not yet. No. Not yet. And by the way, uh, we, have, we have to get a couple of the, uh, the interns in here. Something going on. Yeah, we'll figure all that out. We're problem, problem. Are they jealous of the new star? I don't know. Maybe that's it. They're feeling the pressure. <laughs> exactly. Oh, he, there's no way you're going to top that guy. No. That guy, he didn't even throw up. He had his mouth wide open. He turned to the side. He, they, then Pat threw up in his ear. And then, and then all over his head uh, and face and is, chest. And you were saying he opened his eyes. It was like a raccoon. Yeah, he looked like a <laughs> raccoon. And he's like <laughs> spitting and bubbles were coming out of his nose. I just never thought anybody was going to do it. No. Someone is going to think that's Why would anyone a, do it? Someone's going to think it's a fake video, just how his <laughs> mouth was so <laughs> wide open. It was like a broken booty. fire hydrant. And it reeked. Where do you go mentally? <laughs> To block all that out and just be yeah. like, okay, 
It's just warm liquid. So, that Pat Duffy is a sick fuck. That kid is that guy will completely do anything. out of control. We all know That's your is. guy. That's not. There's not a lot of guys like that. That's no. a rare find. I'll tell you, That's an, an intern guy. like that comes around once every 20 years. Right. Yeah. <laughs> that it's like is the Muhammad someone. Ali of interns. Yeah. That's, That's right. the guy you want on your Jimmy team. Jimmy Hendrix. He, he's, he's a Cassius Duffy. <laughs> <laughs> we all know his name. His name oh, is Pat Patrick Duffy. Duffy. Dum, dum. Uh, I, oh, I'm trying to Ro think. Rogan site. Just don't even bother going there. Is it crashed? No, I can't even. It, <laughs> wa it won't load. You're it a smart won't. man, Joe Rogan. <laughs> You're a smart man. Um, uh, I'm trying to think. <clears throat> Other things we've done that comes close to that. And we've seen it all. We've we've had blind guys boxing. That was <laughs> where a guy popped out his eyes and was boxing. Cigarette smoking out the uh, out, pussy. Out, out of the pussy. Just trying what? to make a cell phone call with a girl with a phone up her pussy. Yeah. <laughs> to see if we got reception. Uh, of course, the 55-gallon drum challenges. 55-gallon drum. Uh, that's going to be a shooting lot. Shooting a bottle <laughs> rocket out of her pussy. Oh, uh, shooting a bottle rocket out of your uh, pussy. That's still... This might, this might go right oh, to the top. Yeah, I think it was. I think it was. I've never heard of anything that crazy. A lot of those videos are up on YouTube, by the way. The ones where is anybody? About I mean, right now. who's gonna rip that off? Is somebody gonna rip yeah. that off? Is some hack you're, in like Kansas City gonna rip that off? How can you? Where do? You, where are you gonna find someone that's gonna agree to that? Yeah. that was like the <laughs> yeah. stars aligned perfectly. We were having the competition. Yeah, that's <laughs> we like had a guy in there that was willing to do this. And, and That'd be funny that. if they try to rip Baby Bird, like the, the little seagull. We came yeah, up with it first. Yeah, little seagull. The we penguin. Yeah. The baby bird. <laughs> Dude, that yeah. video is going to be just viewed like... It better be, or else YouTube is uh, stupid, phony. Even Where's if you get someone to agree to it, you also have to have someone there who's willing to projectile vomit. Vomit. Yeah, you have to have minutes. him had uh, had enough in him that he can vomit that much. Seventy-five yeah. shots. Yeah, someone has to drink seventy-five shots, shots, double of, shots. Of, of, of double shots of eggnog. Yeah. And every year we try to do the math, and every year we fail. So that was figured out. That seventy-five was, double shots. How how much eggnog is it's that? Got to be a gallon. A yeah, maybe a gallon. He said that you can't drink a gallon of milk. He told me that I could. It was impossible to drink a gallon yeah, of milk. We've done it. Really? Yeah. In an hour. That Same. was a perfect storm. I thought it was impossible. I've heard it's impossible. Uh, we've heard you. the same thing, but we had a guy do it to get into this contest. <sighs> and he kept it Pat from Munaki. Well, then he puked. Champion. He's a champion. A true champion. Where's Pat from Munaki? He's still puking and shitting somewhere. That's he what he does after like the competition. Yeah, he's, he's icing down his uh, larynx. Where's Tanya? You think they're gonna make out after this? We love uh, you. Uh, uh, can I puke on you? Uh, uh, Some oh. people are saying they've seen the video already. Probably off Joe Rogan's site. Wow. And they're saying, uh, best video ever. <laughs> oh. He's showing up to, his, to the victor's go the spoils. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to fill her up. Yeah. As his it's fucking, so crazy. as his pants are down around his fucking nine-toed feet. Yeah. <laughs> and he's shitting in the fucking free FM bathroom. Puking sloth. <laughs> yeah. Let's go to Corey in Montana. Oh. Corey. Hey, guys. What's going on? Hey. Hey, I had to, uh, I just thought you might owe me breakfast because I left mine laying on Highway 261. <laughs> yeah, I think a lot of people were puking. That was coming in like crazy. Oh. People puking all over How the many, place. What, do you, what do you think we got? How many people puking? Maybe 100,000? Oh, and yeah. I bet you got 100,000 people puking. Puking. <laughs> puking. When you started describing that viscousy, stringy stuff out of Magoo's picture, I lost it. That's yeah. when I, I, <laughs> I never, like, get nauseous at these things. So I've seen them. You know, I consider myself a war veteran of this kind of thing. Yeah, absolutely. Been in it. Been in the trenches. Uh, but I got that tinge of a choking feeling in my throat at one point when Magoo was pouring the beer pitcher of his own vomit. On top of his Fruit Loops, and it made this stringy, yep. like oh, white Ugh. and yellow goop. Like and seaweed. then a big blob just went bloop and <laughs> fell out in it. <laughs> <laughs> it. It almost I got like a tinge of tightening up in the throat. That was a, that was the most disgusting <clears throat> thing. Like the the puking on the head was just like it was so it amazing. Went beyond, it went beyond. Yeah, it gross. was it was so amazing. You didn't have time to think about it on the sense of of it being gross. You just were amazed you were watching it. Yeah. It was one of those things, that, like, you know. Has that the, ever happened before? The moon landing. It was like watching the moon landing. I can't even talk, dude. I, I, I am ruined by, by, for the dumbfounded. I have nothing to say. You had to remove yourself from the situation. No, no, I was on the red couch standing there filming it. Yeah. With my camera. It was just. I, and I, it, it, when the smell hit me, 
<laughs> I had to. I literally almost just vomited involuntarily. That smell. Now that would have been uh, a real topper if Jimmy Norton himself would have puked. I was very close to it, but I what, hate puke. What was amazing was how it escalated slowly. Like yep. first, Magoo threatened to eat his own puke. Yep. And everybody's like, okay, is this guy really gonna eat his own puke? And then he throws up into the pitcher. Oh Jesus! Now he's yep. pouring the pitcher into the, the the you know the Fruit Loops in there. Oh, now he's eating it. Now fucking Pat is eating his puke. You gotta be shitting me. And then the other guy jumps in like he's gonna be the fucking champ. And they start gargling. I mean, it just kept going. Oh, I the, forgot the about Viking, the Viking yeah. chug. The Viking chug happened. The Viking oh. chug. Oh. And it wasn't even puking. his puke. It was someone else's puke. Oh, it was That was another insane. Pat Duffy. His trifecta. He's an animal. Yeah. Pat Duffy's a savage. Pat Duffy. Hey, let me ask you, Pat Duffy. Just nod. Keep it on the mic on you. Are you. Do you have a fetish for girls' puke or no? No, you know, okay. Because no. some guys like that shit. It's, it's called Roman showers. There are guys that get off on it and pay hookers to yeah, do it. Yeah, let's bring Pat Duffy Pat in Duffy here. No, let's like, talk yeah. to Pat let's Duffy yeah. out there. Who would ever thought that the Sarge Magoo Fruit Loop trick <laughs> was, was nothing? Was you gotta stand over there. Turns out to be uh, nothing. No, you don't. <laughs> no, you, you stay over there is where people stay. It was an appetizer. You fucking look like you're you ready to funny? raise a barn. That you brought Amish. that up, the Roman showers. That means somebody's going to watch that thing tonight and jerk off to you, it. You have no idea. It's already happened. That's, <laughs> yeah. yeah. If, it's, if it's on my website, someone already's got the cock out right now. Oh, yeah. Oh, you Just fucking puking in his mouth. You, you fucking puke on him. You fucking puke in his fucking finally, mouth, you fucking whore. I've oh, seen all that shit, oh, but he finally made a fucking him. cape would have been fantasizing. And if time. someone hasn't, just because we talked about it, someone's got their dick out right now. Fuck yeah! Why didn't I think of that? Uh, <laughs> it, it, those those are the clothes you were wearing. Yeah. So, well, a shirt. You, I had to change my shirt. Oh, How did you smells. clean? Uh, it took. Ope told me to take this one off, so I had my undershirt on. And How then, about the shorts? Well, the shorts are the same. I still got puke all over them. <gasps> Smell nice. my uh, Magoo poured water down my back, and it's now it's like all wet, wet nuts. Yeah, down but, your butt crack. But honestly, you got he doesn't puke. look. He doesn't look bad considering what he went through. Well, they, they handed me like a pile of paper towels. And then the, I saw him pouring water over your head, giving you a little shower over the puke bucket. What yeah. were you thinking as it's hitting your mouth? Yeah, uh, I felt like my ex on a Saturday night. I mean, I always wanted to say that. Sorry. That's all right. Hey, first one. <laughs> first of many, my friend. So dude, this is when we tear the legend down. Right. Uh, <laughs> you gotta knock him off his pedestal a little please bit. Don't. Literally, this will be my heroes crushing me. Please don't. Nah, we know. We love you. Pat nah, Duffy. what are you kidding? After what you did. So Pat Duffy, you're a hero. You, um, you, Audie Murphy. As it's coming, what are you thinking? <laughs> um, just. I was just waiting for it, and I knew it was going to be disgusting. But I knew it was going to be mostly eggnog, so it wouldn't be that big of a deal. And how bad was the smell? <sighs> disgusting. I, I didn't think the smell was going to be as bad as it is. See that? You know why? It wasn't only eggnog. Exactly. <laughs> where, did, where did you go, like mentally? What did you tell yourself? Yeah. Just a happy place. Vietnam. A happy place. Yeah. Vietnam. <laughs> <laughs> you saw choppers happy and fucking place. Agent Orange. <laughs> yeah. Napalm. Take yeah. the pain. Oh, Pat why did Duffy. you decide to open your think eyes? Think of an Elzar Cowie um, beheading. To see if I could see through it. He, yeah, he did open his eyes. Yeah, yeah. in the middle of that. See through it. I see my ears still. Everything's kind of muffled still. Oh, oh my God. He's got puke in his ears. How are you going to get that out? You put a Q-tip, are you going to push it yes. further? I blew my nose. It was all eggnog. Wow, you really do stink, too. I know. I can smell it now. Don't make him feel bad. He's a good boy. Hey, Thank you. you guys we love it? Pat Duffy. Can we rehear it? Uh, James pulling it right now. Yeah, I got to uh, hear that. We're on CD or something? Yeah. Make it easy that way? All right. We're going to replay it in a second here. I'm um, again trying to. Uh, I think we got your dad on the phone. Really? Page. That's just, awesome. <laughs> Pat's dad. Oh, we got to get him heads. headphones. I can't hear, yeah. We got to get him guest headphones that we never use. Yeah, get him the headphones. He has puke in his ear. Oh god, that what? smell is back. Oh, Why do we? We need some sort of isolation booth for these moments. Hang on, Kay. Oh jeez, yeah, that's my dad. It is your dad. Yeah, that's tough. Hey, uh, Pat's dad. Opie, oh, what's happening, bro? What's up? What's your name? Mike. Hey, Mike. How are you? What do you think of your son today? Thirty-five thousand dollars of education money. This is it. You better give him a job. Well, <laughs> hey, you know how hard it is to get an internship on our show, and he just got it. Thank you. Apparently, yeah, I know. He's been. I turned him on to your show way back when the NEW days. Back in '99. Oh no, kidding. Yeah, I emailed you a bunch yeah. of months ago and told you all about it. Your son is a champion. Yeah, he's a champion, and uh, yeah, he's got an internship because of what he did today. Rare stock. Actually, someone we Legend. hired to, my, to be my, an intern is now fired. We <laughs> yes, to be you. We got to make a spot for Pat Duffy. That's me. It's like when Michael Jordan came into the league and just showed everybody the next level. Right, yeah. right. Yep. Yeah, it's like he's like just it, there's no one, no one, no one's gonna come close to that. You'd have to shit in his mouth. There's only that's you'd have to force diarrhea. That's next year. You're gonna have to force diarrhea. Someone's gonna have to take massive fucking laxatives, squeeze their asshole shut. And someone's going to have to lean their head over a toilet bowl and shit in someone's mouth. That's the only way we're going to beat this. Just explode shit all over someone's mouth. That's uh, the yeah. only way it can be beat. We have I've gotten uh, to Rogan's oh, site. I am watching 
uh, some of the video from really? his phone. Oh my uh, God! Yeah, th- this is just. <laughs> Baby bird. You got him in like mid puke there uh, to start, but look, it just cascades out of his mouth. All <laughs> <laughs> just all the over sheer volume. Oh, look at that! It's, it, there's no way a man can puke that much. And his mouth, his face is comes covered, <laughs> and it went on and on. on and on. Dude, that's pretty gross. Yeah, I thought it was. I thought it was over at one point, but it wasn't at all. Yeah, that's when that you took the ear shot. Yeah, that was the ear shot. Anthony, Fantastic. Sam is working on our crystal clear video. Ah, uh, 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 uh. <laughs> little competition. A little competition. That's yeah. amazing. Our version will be crystal clear. Oh, I saw your version is head. phenomenal I'm because sorry. he turns his head to the side like to try to spit out, and then then Pat throws up in his ear, like right in his ear. <laughs> yeah, I oh I gotta see it. Hey, uh, Pat's dad, anything else? Nah, just tell him I said McGillicuddy, nice job. I'll catch you later. I gotta make a delivery. I'll see you at pizza night, Duff. All right, any plugs okay, out there? Buddy. You want to plug anything there, Mike? <laughs> no, nah, I'm driving an Exxon truck. How's that? All right. <laughs> all right, you're all good. All right. So you and your dad get along. Name. All right, thank you, it's... Mike. Take care, buddy. You and your dad get along good, right? Oh yeah, yeah. He's really the reason that I'm into radio and everything. They're like friends. Oh, yeah. Him and his dad are like yeah. fucking he's buddies. Well, I really, call I, some Duff. Yeah. I really rip him apart like all the time. Pizza nights are ridiculous. We have pizza every Friday night. I, I, the whole time, I just rip my dad apart. Yeah. That's good. It's good like you. Yeah. You know. right. Wow. That's sweet. All right, we're just waiting for the audio. Danny's going to wow. bring it in any second, so i, I got to hear that, that again. Really I'm actually hungry. Melling in here. Yeah, I got some Sorry. food coming, man. Yeah, me too. Uh, George in Jersey, what's up? The... Dude, that had to have been the best fucking radio I've ever heard in my life. Oh. Crazy, crazy. Hey, listen, is Rogan still over there? I was yes. wondering if uh, if he could send me his, that pic on his phone, man. Yeah, Rogan will just send you something. What, what are you, yeah, if you go if you go to JoeRogan.net, it's uh it's up on the front page if you can get it to load. Yeah. I don't have a computer, man. That's why. So oh well, you're fucked. Computer. Never, uh, <laughs> well, give your number off the air, and Rogan will give you his number, and you guys can send videos back and forth. But you, you do go. it off the air because yeah, that's the way Joe operates. Yeah. Yeah. All right, all right, hold on, yeah. line. No we computer. Did you send me a Nickelodeon of it. Maybe you can come over and teach your karate too in a room. You both dress like Roman wrestlers. The studio stinks. Yeah, Carl in Jersey. What's up? Hey, what's happening? I had to, unfortunately, tune out of your walkover because I wanted to hear those assholes start their show. And um, they said they needed a fan because it sunk <laughs> like Lemon Pledge and throw up. And they must have, like, an, um, an intern or some producer or some shit in the background. And he was just throwing up all over the place. They just couldn't take it. They the were puking, really, really The puking off. is continuing over at the other <laughs> studio. <laughs> puking is so <laughs> contagious. <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm not even joking, man. It's like you can hear the guy in the background throwing up. They got to come. Ch- they have a couple of chicks that work for him too, I think, and uh, that's the work. Because girls don't react well to vomit. No, I wonder what don't. the real numbers of people throwing up listening were. It had hey, yeah, like hundred thousand people. Yeah. Yo, what's up, dude? I love you, Joe. You're the man. Thank you, man. You know, oh, I had a man too, but you know, just kind of throw some props out. Joe, Joe. C- came up with the idea. Yeah, Joe. Oh, guys, nobody, crazy. no one in their right mind would have thought that was possible. <laughs> so why bring it up? Gotta tell and you, Joe yeah. Rogan. Yep. Hey, puke in his mouth. Okay. Did he just say okay? <laughs> Why? I know. I thought Joe was just being ridiculous. Yeah. Just going, hey, he, wouldn't this yeah. be wacky? And Ant and I are great at talking people into doing stuff. So I'm thinking, all right, great idea. This might take an hour, but I think we can get it done. It was like immediate. I had faith in that kid. <laughs> immediate. Thank you. There is I a had faith still... in that Pat Duffy. There's something about that kid. The look in his eyes. I'm like, this kid can do it. He's unflappable. There is a still He's picture a champion. Yeah. Uh, sure. on a thread on Whackbag that says, congratulations, Pat from Unaki. It says, congratulations to Pat from Unaki. Nagi on his first place win. We knew you could do it. And then there is a still photo of... I cannot even describe the amount of puke. Oh People are going to say that's fake. Face. <laughs> They're going to say that's fake. It looks like it was done at Lucasfilm. Wow. It can't be real. <laughs> get that. Oh, oh my God. I'm really proud of myself. That oh is. My God. Get that, that on. Get that on, insane. too. You are being oh, drowned by vomit right there. I'm very proud of myself oh at the moment. Jesus. Brian, if you're that's listening, get that up on my front page, too. No, get that. That doesn't look right real. Because someone really captured oh it. I have to assure the people it is absolutely. Absolutely authentic. That's a perfect it, shot. It is a perfect shot. The sheer vomit. You can't see his head. His entire head is obscured by a 
cavalcade of vomit. That picture's our whack bag. We're going to get it on opianathy.com as There's only one way to describe it. The baby bird. The baby bird. Did you get that on opianathy? Get away from me. That description, that name will live in infamy. The baby bird. Get the fuck away. Are you insane? We could sell We could sell that shot. That is a beautiful shot. That says it all right there. Oh, my God. Hang it up on your wall. I would hang that up on my wall. Yeah, that's a print. Because he's, he's, he's in a power position, Pat from Monaki. He's almost like a, a gladiator. You know yeah. what? For next year, you guys should put flyers up. Put this. You could put this in fucking Madison Square Garden. Put flyers up all around the city. This yeah. year, we will top it. Right. And have that poster. Yeah. We will top the baby Next bird. year, we finally bring this out to you guys. It's got to be at a venue next year. <laughs> it has year. to be. And a big one, too. Pat, Pat Duffy. Name. Has to sit outside. Pat, we love yeah, you. No, Pat, no, Pat. no offense. You did a great friend. job. You don't believe But you got to get the fuck out of here. Sure, whatever course. plug you want. I just want to plug my MySpace page, myspace.com slash all purpose cleaner. All purpose cleaner. <laughs> wow. You're going to remember How that, appropriate. Though. Yeah, no kidding. It certainly. You guys want to hear the finale? Yeah. Please. You guys got it in a good spot? Yeah. Any set up needed? Nothing? No, it starts right as Pat is about to lose it. All right, so the, it's the baby bird. We had Pat Duffy, his head over the. Uh, the garbage pail, like he's getting his hair washed before a haircut. Yep. And Pat is about to, backwards. about to get rid of 75 double shots of eggnog. Here we go. He's just drinking now. He's up to 75. Uh-oh. Oh, here we go. Here it goes. Oh, oh, my God. Oh, my God. The baby bird oh, no. is going the down. The baby bird is happening. The it's baby happening. bird is happening. Oh. I wet myself. I swear to you. I'm laughing so hard. I have never... We lost Jimmy. He's laughing so hard. He ran into the corner. Yeah! A thunderous round of applause. Down goes Pat. Down goes Pat. He's wearing puke. Blackface. That was the greatest moment in radio history, period. Yeah. It's impossible to top that. Yeah, it's not it's impossible. Impossible. And there you go. We're oh, back. wow. Is that wow. great to listen to? Wow. The shock and, and pandemonium and that went on. I like how Opie kept trying to talk, and right as he'd start to say half a sentence, Pat would puke again. <laughs> oh. he'd like, he just... Ah! I like how you kept saying, there's no way that's going down. There's no way that is going down. Uh, that was, I think it was him. Was that, that you? Me. Yeah. I, I guess hard to tell who is who. Is and the I, first uh, vomit, the uh, first bit of vomit went into his mouth and wasn't like that... Oh, fire hose vomit. Right. So we were like, oh my God, the baby bird's happening. And it just kept <laughs> getting worse and worse and worse. Just so we, you, could, you could hear the, the crowd like escalating every, with each one. We were like, oh. no! And then when he turned his head. Are we getting the, that shot up on opianthony.com? All right, here's oh. the deal. Anthony, people want, are trying to uh, see the video on Joe Rogan's site. Joe Rogan dot net. net. Yeah. Your site's pretty much crashed. We just mentioned <laughs> Whack Bag. They're pretty much in, in screwed mode right now as well. Oh. People are, like, going all over the place trying to find oh. the video and the yeah, pictures. It's, it's going to be up it's on, on YouTube. YouTube. It's on YouTube already because it's on YouTube through my site. All right, and it's also going to be on uh, opianthony.com very soon. Right uh, right there, Steve-O? Indeed. You all right? I'm getting there. Oh, God. <laughs> Holy That audio, wow. like, was, was awesome. perfect. It just... Encapsulated how fucking yeah. amazing and, that was. And some dopes are like, all we're hearing is you guys reacting. If you can't figure out the pictures at that point, I don't know what to yeah, tell yeah. you. If you when radio you see the might video not be for you. And you hear the audio together, oh my uh, fucking god. It sounded like there were 150 yeah. people in there. Yeah. yeah. And there was like 
twelve. All <laughs> disgusted. <laughs> I saw. We did a hundred and fifty something episodes of Fear Factor. I've never seen anything even come close to that. <laughs> to being it's like that, watching people yeah. chew gum. It was like watching someone else chew somebody else's gum. That's what every stunt on Fear Factor was. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, he's chewing someone else's gum. This is crazy. We just <laughs> we just blew Joe Rogan's mind. Oh, man. Was, nothing. Nothing's gonna happen. Uh, it was his idea. Mark in South Carolina. What's up? Hey, man, that seemed like a true-life version of the aristocrats. <laughs> yeah. Ta -da. Ta -da. Oh, Pat should have done that. Oh, that would have been hilarious. Where is Pat? We haven't oh, seen him no. yet? If Pat's he did Pat from Munaki. He's, he's huh? probably Don't dropping idea. soft serve into the toilet over a free soft FM. Serve. <laughs> well, it takes a lot out of him. Last year, he was pretty much passed out in the bathroom for like an hour. He was yeah. shitting and puking for like an hour, and then he uh, started uh, sleeping on the urinal. <laughs> I mean, on the uh, the toilet there. Yes. Yeah, oh, my God. Uh, I don't want to hear from the people that almost turned the radio off. Whatever. Let's say hi to Brian in uh, Canada, XM Canada checking in. Brian. Hey, how's it going, guys? Hey. Hi. I just got to let you guys know that having when you bring guests on your show, you bring absolutely the best out of your guests. Cause, and I owe Joe Rogan an apology because I wouldn't have given him an ounce of credit until listening to him yesterday and today. So I apologize, Joe, and keep keep up the good If I didn't know me, I'd probably think I was a dick, too. Joe's the man. No, Joe's the hey, man. We, Joe, and we got, some, we got the good stuff in Canada, man. <laughs> you think you got the good stuff. The good shit's in California. We got botanists and scientists. You guys got to... I know, that's awesome. I got the... Players. <laughs> exactly. What are you Joe, guys listen, doing? Fucking like raid Paul Bernardo's backyard. <laughs> Joe, I got a story that you'll appreciate. You might not believe me, but one time I was taking five pounds with me, selling it from c across the country. Sat on a train next to this dynamite girl. Was talking to her. There's no seats on the train. I said, and I said to her, "What do you do for a living?" She goes, "I'm a cop." I said, oh. "You've got to be fucking kidding me!" I swear to God in my life. She was dynamite. Half an hour later, half an hour later, she's jerking me off on really? the train. You got jerked I off by a cop? The only thing would be better if you came into the marijuana. Yeah, and they made her smoke it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> wow, you got jerked right, off guys, by a cop? The... Yeah, jerked off by a cop carrying five pounds a week. Wow. That's, pretty, that's a pretty fucking good story. I got blown by a cop, but it was Kenny. <laughs> <laughs> Kenny right. couldn't yeah, take it. That's no. the one story I've got to tell for the rest of my life. But that's, that's a good story, it. dude. All right, right on. Let's go to Alan in Texas. Alan. Yeah, what's happening? What's up, right. Alan? That was the best radio I've heard yet. I'm buying like five XMs for five of my friends just on today alone. All right, good that boy. Was awesome. I couldn't even hear. I couldn't even hear my own radio over my own screaming. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's pretty cool. That's a compliment, Bill the trucker. What's up? Hey, you know, on that video, if I tune it in, I do not want to see that stupid uh, Foundry Music logo all over the money shot. No, it'll be on YouTube, man. It's on YouTube, clean from my website. And it'll be it'll be all over the place, man. Yeah, tell freaking Steve to make his Foundry Music logo a little small, so it's all about the the baby bird. We need just pure. Oh, is he putting the watermark on the video? Just throw the video yeah, up, man. Just the video. Everybody doesn't know FoundryMusic.com by now. <sighs> yeah, they know. Make sure it makes Enough. it a little smaller than usual, please. Jesus. Is it gonna be OpieAnthony.com on there? Just it, the yeah, it will. What about eatabullet.com? Uh, oh, no. They, hey. well, actually, myspace.com slash Jim Norton has the uh, HD video. The high, <laughs> oh, it has HD. the high-definition version, but I don't want to plug it. But if you want to go there, and there's also a free download, and you can scratch and smell it. That's Interaction, cool. stop motion, different camera angles. And a lot of laughs. Make yeah. your mouse vibrate when, when the throw-up hits. <laughs> it's got like a shock effect. <laughs> that cop story turned me on. That was very sexy. That was kind of cool. Yeah. Fuck yeah, she jerked yeah. us. Hand, I'm in a hand job roll. It's all I'm thinking about is getting jerked off lately. Hand Why hand jobs? I don't know. I can't stop buying them from fucking. I go to these clip fucking stores on online, and all I want to do is get fucking innocent hand job videos. <laughs> really? You get videos? videos of hand jobs? Really? They're a hand job? Yeah, video? that seems like the beginning it's a of fetish, the video. But there's yeah. something sexy about that. About a guy getting jerked off. There's something innocent about getting jerked off. And if a girl so. jerks you off right, there's nothing. I mean, there's a lot better, but I mean, it's fucking hot. <laughs> nothing better, man. <laughs> Thanks, nothing Ken. better than something you could do by yourself. No, I like a girl to jerk me off because I guess the, there's just the motion of a smooth hand job. Thank you, sir. Fuck, Most girls of... aren't that good. I used to do a joke about having a girl jerk you off. It's like trying to brush your teeth with your left hand. It's like, <laughs> there's no way you can get the same rhythm. You know, your right hand. My right hand knows every fucking cranny and every. My left hand is just palsy. I can't get a speed going. <laughs> when a girl's jerking me off, I gotta hold my breath to see if I can come quicker. Like, <laughs> Your toes are all pointed out. Yeah. <laughs> Squeezing it. Squeezing, try.
trying. And then the rhythm just gets messed up. And then they get tired, they have to switch hands. Yeah, they do this, they open close, open close their hand. It's like, look, you're not fucking, you're not throwing a knuckleball, Necro. Grab my dick again. <laughs> God, I hope you hurry up. I don't know how long. Hey, I Jamie Massad is here from the Laugh Factory. Badi, Badi. Oh, is he where? He's here in studio? He's right over there. We'll talk uh -oh. to him next. No way. Uh, he wants to talk more about Kramer. How long is he going to milk that shit? Uh, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> the owner of the Laugh Factory. He's going to ride that the... bitch right into the beach. Oh, yeah, I love the where apology. The where the... There'll be no more there. N word all over the world. We're going to have a s a special speech. And no more N word. <laughs> and as he's We're doing that, the, march. the Laugh Factory logo yeah. is right behind him. Yeah. Huge. We're going to march with Laugh Factory flag with a big N word. With a, a, it's going to say nigger, but with a line through it. So no more. <laughs> <laughs> so everybody know what we say. All right, we're going to step aside. Bill Burns studio, Joe Rogan in studio. Joe's playing Carolines here in New York City all weekend long. And uh, Kenny, you're uh, walking right? around rather quickly. All good? Oh, hustle oh, and bustle. Oh, thanks, a little pepper for my egg whites. Thanks, Kenny. Mr. Rogan, would you like anything? No, I'm good, brother. Thank you. Mr. Thanks. Racist? <laughs> Thank you. I'm fine. Amazing Racist is okay. All right. Mr. Ladies and gentlemen, Mama Bird. Mama Bird has entered the studio. It's the Opie and Anthony show. Ad from Munaki. New in love. By the way, this is like the post show. Yeah, from the eggnog drinking contest. Yeah. Now we get all the interviews and he stuff. He have a towel around his neck yeah. Yeah. <laughs> in front of a locker. The champion. Uh, Pat, with? Pat I never Christ. doubted you, first of all. Never oh. doubted you. I thought that love thing was going to be a little bit of a problem, but um, nah. right when the competition started, you could see you again relaxed, not even a problem, doing the shots. Uh, everybody else kind of had that look on their face. They were scared. You, a true champion, and uh, congratulations on your victory this year. Well, thank you. Yeah. It, it was a little rough, but love pulled me through. <laughs> <laughs> and he set the record, too, his own record, 75 yeah. double shots. Oh, you should tell insane. your girl that you had to look at her face to get while well, you're throwing up on someone's mouth yeah. when you're thinking of her. By the way, for her. the shot of the competition, I think uh, one of the whack baggers captured this, but it's now on opianthony.com. This oh, is the shot is. of the competition. This will that, be on so many oh, freaking oh, computer God. screens in the coming that, days. That, to me... Me is, is the, the shot perfect shot that where says it all. <laughs> Ali is over Frazier. Yeah. You know, that that's Sonny Liston. Sonny uh, Liston, Liston. Yeah. I'm sorry. Uh, Sonny Liston. Uh, that that's just a famous sports shot. I, right just, there. I just love like the white light. It's like his the soul. soul. Look real. It's leaving yes. his body. Yes, yes, yes. It's yes. like an soul. exorcist or something is going on there. Could someone do us a favor and make his that soul. make that into a poster so we can yeah. have it in our studio? Uh, I I love love spider covering his prey. And then, yeah. and then yeah, baby bird. Yeah, just sitting there with his arms folded, completely relaxed, as if this is the natural. It's way so to funny feed. how Steve has to get that foundrymusic.com URL oh, on it. Perish the thought, uh, his logo isn't on it. It looks Hilarious. like what was in Marcellus Wallace's uh, suitcase. <laughs> 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 uh, that is just amazing how much volume is coming out of it. And, and I like his stance, too. He's got a nice stance yep. for, the, for the power boot. He didn't even really bend over to aim that much at his he kept, mouth. Because why bother with that much coming out? He kept good posture. It's yeah, like good old, posture. Old football card picture. That, that last yeah. eggnog was yeah. wafer thin. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, <laughs> it's hard to describe how covered. You, he's obscured from the waist to his head. All you see are his legs. You Pat. puked all over his upper half. Looks Pat. like I'm bu I'm building a human. <laughs> <laughs> Pat Duffy is insane. That is an yeah. That the picture is just amazing. It's just it's so beautiful how the whole event just <laughs> escalated. escalated and escalated. Couldn't have asked for perfect a better, ending. Uh, Timing wise, Better perfect. Contest. It really right. was the greatest moment. Air. Yeah, it was yeah. the greatest moment in radio history. You it look like a dragon, it. Pat. You look like yeah. a dra like you're a mythical creature. It's Godzilla. <laughs> Boot the magic dragon. <laughs> <laughs> Pat's on fire. Today. <laughs> you feeling all right like now? Like a monk. <laughs> oh, yeah. You feeling all right? Oh yeah, I, I puked out most of it, and then I shit shit out most of it. Cool. Yeah. Did you check your? It was uh, getting very liquidy. You do. Oh. You, you say I love shit you. In his mouth, yeah. he probably would have done that. I, I, I had to throw away my underwear over in. Oh God! <laughs> Why? Uh, Someone should get that and put it on eBay. Yeah. Get a thousand dollars for that underwear. With the hole in the middle. Or say you put the on the seat. Yeah. And I think something happened where there was a little splatter going on, so I had to. Oh. Uh, oh what? You got some shit in your underwear? <laughs> yeah, a little splatter effect. Oh, where that happens? That's healthy. Now where is that? that underwear? Where's the underwear? Just in the. Three FM. No, I know that. Just where though? Just threw it in the. Yeah, oh yeah, in the garbage, in the oh, bathroom. So you go you in commando? Yeah. Under the sound booth. Like, so the oh, yeah. fucking next uh, fucking phone <laughs> Yeah, what is that? No. 
Wow. So, you, yeah, you're running without any underwear. You yep. got some splatters, and uh, uh, yep. you puked on a man's face. Yeah. All right, see the shot on OP. All for a woman. It's <laughs> just amazing. All for the love of a woman. Yeah. But well, had, our website's getting destroyed, too, by the way. All websites are getting destroyed as people try to find pictures and video and and whatnot from the contest. We're going to have hundreds of pictures up eventually. And Sam ran home to get the video up on YouTube. The real video. He's got some crystal clear. Oh, uh, uh, yeah. Joe Rogan got the first video out there, yes, but, he did. Uh, you know, we'll, we'll have even better video as we cell go. Cell phone. The new LG Envy. And what the hell is HD uh, Net going to do with that video, I wonder? <laughs> <laughs> hey, did um now now does Master Paul realize he's gonna have to step up his game to compete f as, as they're trying to suit the young lady, uh, the same young lady? They're yes, courting her. They're courting two suitors for real. Yeah, and now Master Paul's gonna have to realize that. No, I'm not uh, even courting her. He's in the back seat. Oh, Master Paul's oh, yeah. trying to bang your girl. No, 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 no. Does she know you like her? I think so. I told he her. Told her he's in love with yeah. her. He said, "I love you" to her. You she, tell her a lot, and she was like, Every "Oh, day. I love so you." She pretended like not. We danced on the big piano. You yeah. didn't really, did you? Yeah. I thought you were joking. You no. Went, you went no. to FAO Schwartz yeah. and danced on the piano like big. Yeah. Dude. That's, yeah. She just she just wants you know from the new movie <laughs> she, Fat. <laughs> she doesn't want all that romancing. She wants oh, to yeah, get right does. into it. Have you stuck it in yet? You want to bring her in, uh, Joe? You want to get the feel in. for what's going on here? Sure. Pat is in love sure. with this girl that you're about to meet for Let's the first bring her time, in. for sure. She's a nice really girl. head over heels. Yeah, I mean, you got to respect him as a champion now. You yeah. know, yeah. when was the last time somebody won a championship and they didn't get pussy that night? Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. He's at the yeah. peak of his powers right now. This is the girl that Pat's in love with. Uh, we're not really sure if she's in love with Pat though. We don't know. They're friends. And she's living with Master Poe, by the way. Living she in the same house? Chair. Yeah. Yeah. Look at it's Pat. What a gentleman. Really when nice. he sleeps upstairs, she sleeps on the couch downstairs and vice versa. What Never the twain too. shall meet huh? in bed. I can't with hear the her dogs. Mic. Turn her mic up, please. Does Pat shave with a shard of glass every morning? <laughs> <laughs> nice pick. <laughs> a shard of a... Are you proud of your, um, your man? <laughs> her friend. Oh, could you just fake it and say, are you proud of your man? Yes, I'm proud of my man. Your man. Yes. See, I'm helping you out there, Pat. <laughs> oh, thank you. I'm trying to fucking well, help Pat, you Pat, why don't you tell her that you love her again, and then let's see what she uh, has to say. And then Joe's uh, taking a look here. He'll give you an honest opinion here. <laughs> Tanya? And this is real, by the way, Joe. This isn't a, a dumb radio bit. The Pat really loves this girl. I love you. <laughs> With all my heart. I love you, too. <laughs> Didn't sound quite the way I said it. No, it's kind of like, I love you like, you know, a friend. So depressing. In the height of his powers. I know. This is like... This is going to get... Are you feeling anything, Joe? Right it's all now. downhill from no, here. No. There's no energy there this at all. This is the best I guess he wasn't show impressed her. by my puking. Did well, no, maybe victory? it was me. I had to throw my underwear out because I shit yeah. in them. Story. Yeah, <laughs> this, is the best, this is the best oh, you're... Oh, shit. There's nothing yeah. happening there. That's like trying to start a fire rubbing two wet newspapers together. There's nothing going on. Nothing going on, right? Pat, you do understand like this is the best your feathers are gonna look your plumage <laughs> this is the best You're you know champion. you look yeah you you can never look better than this and she's kind of laughing at me yeah well, have you guys ever made out or anything no no, no, no making out you how are you in love with her because it makes me happy to make her happy Oh, Whoa. Well, All right, listen. Let's what a weird <laughs> biological trick that is, huh? Oh, wow. Let's get into this, though. You you moved from Missouri, right? Right. And you're living with Master Poe? Right. Have you made out with Master Poe? No. Come on. You know, Missouri's, Oh, you rolled your eyes. You have made out with Master Poe. Missouri is the show me lion. Have you woken up have you unconscious? Have you ever blown Master Poe? No. No kissing? No. Jerk hey. him off? Hey. Nothing. Hey. He's sucking, bro. You didn't know. Oh, you didn't hey, know. look at Pat stepping Pat's in. Pat's getting a little defensive. Bed. Nothing. <laughs> a little defensive. Pat and Rogan are going to throw down. Should we get so Master you, Poe in here? So you and Master Poe just buddies. Master Poe. Yes, Master oh, Poe is my buddy. Have you, ever, Poe. have you ever woken up unconscious <laughs> feeling oh. as though you've been touched? Like maybe you would you watch would out if he down. takes his shoes off. <laughs> like right. Billy Jack. Master <laughs> Billy Jack. Master Poe is staring down Pat from Anarchy now. Uh, why? Need a little mic. Yeah. Why is that? I I I really want to know the dynamic. Here. Yeah. There's something going on. Pat really really loves this girl. This is not a radio bit. <laughs> and he's claiming his woman. Look at his hand. Yeah. We're getting a shoulder. we're getting Master Poe uh, a mic now. Yep. Uh, Pat Good right man. now has his hand on her shoulder. Uh, she's got a little light-up Christmas hat on, and uh, no, now he's rubbing her shoulder a little bit. Ooh. You bought her that hat? Yes, I yes, did. did. Oh, okay. and you're wearing it um, yes. with pride. It was by the tree lighting. 
Uh, I, I took her to see the tree. You two went to the tree lighting? Yeah. No, not the lighting. It was through crying for that. See the uh, tree. Yeah. I never seen a Christmas. Sorry, never had a Christmas tree before, so. Never did. What? Yeah. What the they went got me. A, <laughs> they went and got me a Christmas what, tree. What are you, Jew? <laughs> no. No. <laughs> You've what never had a down Christmas there, tree. Yeah. Yeah. Was, and right. this is gonna be the bestest Christmas for her ever. Yeah. I'm uh, gonna make sure. <laughs> it's gonna be All a right. trailer park Christmas. Let's get Master <laughs> Poe involved here. Uh, <laughs> Master Poe. Good morning, gentlemen. Uh, this oh. is a roommate of yours. Yes. Don't talk so. You got to back off the mic. Poe is very uh, animated this morning. He's very yeah. clipped. <laughs> yeah. What's going on, Paul? Now uh, Paul. she lives in your house. Yes, she does. Now, how did this come about? Uh, well, she had a, a very bad situation in, in Missouri, and she came over here to New Jersey, and Pat, myself, and, and Jay are helping her out. All right. Bad situation, bad relationship? Yeah. Yeah. Basically, yeah. So you had to get out of there? Restraining orders? No, I, I just left. Just you, you just left? Just was, was he abusive? Yeah. Yeah. Was oh, it a boyfriend? Uh, yes. Oh, okay. Next, next question was a Just really kidding, hurtful one. <laughs> Family member. <laughs> but, uh, okay, boyfriend, kind of abusive. Did he beat you with a Mentally Christmas? or physically? <laughs> yes. Yes. Both. 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 Yeah. yeah. Oh, boy. Pat's oh. very... Pat, Pat, Pat has a big rescuing instinct in this yeah, one, yes, I think. Is. Maybe all you needed <laughs> That's was Mama Bird. Q-tips to exactly. clear your ears out so you could hear better. <laughs> <laughs> That's why she's staying at Post, because Post's very protective. Ah. It's not only... Uh, a F. H. Riley guy. <laughs> yeah, he he's also the, very protective. He's a master. Did in you the, say uh, F. H. Riley's? Yeah, four hundred New York Ave, Huntington, New York. Yes, yeah, oh, right. yeah, I know oh, that right, place. Right, yeah. Very fine. Paul is protective. If he needs a green shirt that matches nothing, he fucking guards it with his life. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, Poe. Guards black, those free turkeys, too. A, a fucking black suit with a dark green shirt. All right, Poe. So just, now you went online, I guess, and uh, described your situation as being a dire. No. What happened? How did they find out that you were in trouble? I was on Pal Talk, and this, I told one person, and they yeah. and finally, for like months, I didn't. But they knew something was up, so. Yeah. And then... They just got me out of the place, and I moved down here. And so you came down here from Missouri uh, just because of the internet, because of Pal Talk? No, just I wanted to get out of the situation. Yeah, but I mean, but the the connection was made yeah. through the internet. That's yes. pretty badass. Mm. Just through the, uh, yeah, the internet. internet's fucking Pal crazy, Talk's man. Yeah, really yeah, not is. everybody gets abducted. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, some people my, get rescued. Uh, my website on my message board, people have gotten married, had kids, all kinds of crazy relationships. People have Murders. died. Very bizarre, man. Yeah. The internet is crazy. It's a, it's it's a total different world, man. Yeah. So uh, Poe decided uh, he, he'd be the place that you would live? Yeah. You had a choice now, I guess. You could have stayed with Pat. Him or in, a couple other people. In but the trailer. <laughs> or you could have stayed with Poe. Right. No, I, I met her after. Well, yeah. I was went to Poe's and oh, I met him. Oh, so you had already been living with uh, Poe. Yes. Now, was there any... Did you detect... Uh, maybe at the beginning, maybe things were kind of nipped in the bud. Did you detect Poe... Perhaps wanting a little more than just a roomie. No. Never. No. Always a gentleman. Very. But you guys made it at one point. Poe. <laughs> Any comment on why you didn't maybe try? I know you know you you, you uh, fashioned yourself the Casanova. I just want to know why maybe you didn't make any moves. She's gone through enough emotional damage There's that no she didn't need the likes of you. That's right. <laughs> trying to. Did you ever sing to her? Uh, yes. I did? Uh, yep. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. What'd what did you say to her? From one oh. form of abuse to another. George. <laughs> 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 All right, Pat. Touche. What? I'm, I'm pretty sure they've made out. Everybody. What? I think I'm so. pretty sure, Poe, yeah. Why? I'm All right. Pretty, Why do you say that? <laughs> I, I, I've, seen, I've seen lying before. It's, they've yeah. totally made out. Sure. Being you a Jew, everyone you know does it. Touche. Poe, do you drink? Yes. To excess? Uh, no. <laughs> no. I, I never, I never remember. Uh, you drink, drink a little bit. Yes. A little yeah. pot? No, not no more. No, not no more. I no. used to. All right, Poe. Okay. Did you make out with her? I'm trying to get a little no. background. He won't tell. He's, he's a gentleman. But yeah. She, she's already told me all she needs to. A little, those out. eyes, yeah. Oh, kind of How come you believe it when I say I didn't make out with her? <laughs> <laughs> no. no. You got a point Damn. there, Pat. Pat. <laughs> so uh, now, now, all right, they're living together. They're roomies, whatever it is, helping each other out. Uh, there's a, another party involved, 
or a couple other people that were going to help you? A friend of his, Jay. A friend of his, Jay. Yes. All right, what's going on with Jay? They're just helping me get my life together, basically. Get your life together by maybe helping you, what, find a job? or got a job. You got a job. Can I, yes. can I jump in for a second? Yeah. There's a lot of helping going on. Why don't we ever help the fat chicks? Ah, uh, they can help themselves. Exactly. They're coming out of the woodwork. We do, we do uh, help them. If there's a fucking door, we help them get to it and push them through it. <laughs> Beat it, pig. You're getting a lot of help. <laughs> you certainly are getting a lot of help from a lot of people from uh, across the country. <laughs> so, uh, all right, uh, they're helping you out. Now, Pat comes into the picture. Right. So he met you at... At Poe's house. Yes. Now, what brought you to Poe's house? Uh, well, I'm, I'm uh, friends with Poe. I live not too far from him, and I uh, come over every once in a while. All right, you go Teach over him every some once moves. in a while. He ah, go, there you he go. He goes over there for heat. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And shelter. <laughs> when you want the shit, not look at the grass underneath. <laughs> hey, you leave Start your trailer. Last statement. <laughs> you leave your trailer. You go to uh, Poe's house, and uh, I guess you were invited over for Thanksgiving. Yeah. And you two start chatting, yep. and and you hit it off in some way, shape, or form. Yeah, like she laughs friend. at my jokes. Best Where am I gonna find a girl like that? <laughs> like my best anybody like that. Friend. When yeah. when a girl says he's like my best friend, you're so out. Are you afraid that like fooling around with Pat would hurt the friendship? Yeah. Oh. Well, we, I hope no. to ruin the friendship. <laughs> 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 time in the future. Yes. It makes it Pat, wants, Pat wants to just destroy the friendship with some ass sex. <laughs> well, yes. I, I look in the mirror. <laughs> I look in the mirror and I go, I'm not attracted to me, so why should anybody else be attracted? I'm going to lose a whole yes. shitload of weight, and I haven't been working because I don't really care. Now I have something I care about. And I'm his navigator. Yeah, she's my navigator when she's not working. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. The you, you go on. Uh, yeah. yeah. He, he wants to, to play, music. He wants sing. to play Baby Bird with you while he's still able to whistle. <laughs> Ow. Oh. That's, uh, Ow. Pat's at my house till about 1, 2 o'clock in the morning sometimes. Yeah. Oh, really? Yes, so wait a minute. Yes. Now, you, Pat, you, you, so you're kind of saying you have something that motivates you, and it's time. Yes. yes. What, what do you guys sing in the car, for anybody that might not have heard earlier? All kinds of... Once Bitten, Twice Shy. That's one of her favorite songs. Oh, you like that one? <laughs> Harley Davidson Road Song CD. Yeah. That's all scratched up now. How, how old Skips. are you? 25. Yeah. You're 25, so but you're into a lot of this uh, classic rock. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, and, and Pat likes that. It kind of brings you two together a little yeah. bit. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, <laughs> How many times has she seen Pat cry? Yeah. Have you seen him cry? A little bit. A little, yeah. A little bit. Movies? Ew. I know. He... Yeah, that, that, uh... <laughs> he opens it a fall, really... Well, no, it's, wait, 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 not movie. Wait, wait, wait. He opens up... That's a sensitive guy. He opens up to you a little bit about yeah. What happened, Kanye? Yeah. Yeah. I was telling him a story once, and he I was telling her about how I wasn't happy, and yes. then I met her, and now I'm happy. And he came to me. <laughs> Let me tell you something. Pat. That's terrific. You are, you you should actually be in a book about uh, love, and everything you should not do. Yeah. At the especially at the beginning. Oh. You are doing everything wrong, and I'll tell you why he's at your house till two thirty in the morning. He's making sure she's fucking asleep. Yeah, he doesn't out of the you fight. whatsoever. Yeah. It's right. like he'll just be there watching and go, okay, yeah, I'll leave. He's blocking. Oh, you got to be up at 3.30 in the morning. Yeah. Time you to get know how that, that is. <laughs> <laughs> I tell him to stay till 2 o'clock in the morning. And then he goes back to the trailer and just stares at the stars through the hole in the roof. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my, my sunroom. <laughs> Look at that, a shooting star. Let me wish upon it. <laughs> <laughs> Cessna crashing into your house, but... <laughs> <laughs> Lives right by Teterboro. <laughs> Toto Barrow. <laughs> it's always a toe joke. It really is. <laughs> yeah. Have you seen? Uh, have you seen his uh, nine toes? I guess. Yeah. How'd you lose a toe? <laughs> uh, diabetes. Eggnog. Yeah. Uh, a little sugar. A little. I didn't let my. I didn't take care of my sugar. Got a little high. Four sixty-five, I believe, when I walked in the emergency room. Hacked it off. Two hundred fifty thousand dollar bill later. For two hundred fifty grand for taking a toe I think, off. Well, I had to. I had like a two and a half months of uh, antibiotic treatment. Sounds like the fucking mob. Yeah, yeah. we just would have done it for hundred grand. Oh, we'll yeah. take your fucking toe. And so, how often do you have to take insulin? Uh, I take uh, something else called Bieta. Works pretty good. Yo, how often do you have to take it? That's my sister's uh, name. Uh, every day. 
Hey, How much? Did once you... a day, just once a yeah. day. Yeah, it's it's like an injectable injectable thing. Oh, you take a shot every yeah. day. Hey, um, all right, Paul. Nice. Do you do you see you know Pat making the moves on her? No, no, no. He's a gentleman. Yes, he yeah, wants. He her. could be a gentleman, but you know he, he could, wants. He's her. in we're love. You know, we're both getting our shit together, so we have time. We have, uh, so oh, it's kind of a mutual yeah, yeah. like <laughs> misery thing that you're yeah. both going through. So you see this as a way to bond in misery. Yes. She has a look well. on her face like there's not enough time in the universe. Oh. Wait a minute, now, Kanye, is that what it is for you? I mean, we don't know. Is it a matter of just like is Pat getting stuff? Like, Pat has some goals now that you've motivated him to want to achieve. Like he wants to lose weight. Throw up on other men's mouths and shit his pants in the bathroom. Yeah. <laughs> but then, I plan on being a different person in three, six months. Really? Three, six? So, so whatever she thinks, 30, 30 now, it doesn't matter. Years. We are friends. We do get along and we listen to the same music. We have fun. She laughs. Blah, 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 uh, so you're so, changing for her? Aren't you? Yes. Yeah, you're trying to be changing. what she wants. No, no, this is what I Fucking, wanted, but right, I don't right, have right. the proper motivation. Right, right, right. Brundle Munaki. Brundle Munaki. If nothing ever happens of it. What a weird fly reference. Puking on his food. Yeah. <laughs> and this is why they hang out with each other so much, because they like the same music. Yeah. So hard to inspire. Michael, yeah, we don't have this guy is heading for. Oh, right. I, I, we this, is like, this yeah. is like the mistake like a 16-year-old makes. Right. <laughs> this is like Everyone sees world. the heartbreak coming. It's it's on its way. You can hear the horn. Boo, choo, choo. <laughs> it's coming. It's not even far away. Well, let's ask what, Pat, how, how's this going to end in your in your world? Yeah, Pat? how does it end in Murder, your suicide? world? No, ours are just misery. <laughs> yeah, I'll go back in the trail and say this By the way, is where so I belong. How do you want it to end? How do you want this to, to turn out? You would like her as a girlfriend, right? Marriage. As a wife? Yeah. A wife. Our children. Good Little Pat from God, Munaki dude. or wherever I'm living. <laughs> oh and now, uh, Tanya, um, what are you looking for? Like, like of course, you've been, you've been through some shit. Uh, you come up here. You're trying to get your life together. What is your What are your goals? Uh, short term, medium term. Like, where do you want to be in, let's say, a year? What do you want to be doing with yourself? <laughs> you still want to be hooking up with well, Poe every couple weeks? <laughs> oh, no. I don't hook up with Poe. I sleep with the dogs. Yeah. <laughs> mm. the best but do you want house. you want your own place? Yes. All right, and, and a job. You say you got, you got a job. What are you doing? I'm working at Chevy's and his navigator. Hey, the oh. Chevy's I don't like because I can't understand the way they talk. They're all Spanish. foreign. And Bunch of PR. Hispanic. <laughs> yeah. And I'm like, what? What? Uh, Chevy's like Mexican and, uh, food? Yeah. So all right. All they make a good fajita at Chevy's. I like Chevy's. Casadillas, too. Hey, Poe, how yeah, bad do you want her if she gets her act together? Casadillas? <laughs> Casadillas. What's a quesadilla? That's not even in it's my mind right now. It's a and quesadilla. Mm. That, that hasn't crossed my mind at all. What hasn't, Paul? No. I didn't hear you, sweetie. I asked uh, Paul how, how bad does he want her if she gets her act together. Well, I mean, she's a very attractive girl. I, I yeah. mean, l l here, this is an honest question. It's not a bad question. Have you ever, like, been masturbating about something else and she flashes through your head because you happen to see her walk by <laughs> in the night? It happens. You know, that's not a bad question. If you're a guy, she's a beautiful girl. It doesn't mean you don't respect her. My pop it in starts and ends with her. No. Now, now no, she, she is gorgeous. Absolutely, she's a very ah, pretty. What does she? Uh, what does she okay. wear around the house? Yes. Yeah, speaking of that, Sweats. what does she wear? Sweats. Sweats. But but uh, now you should loose? have a dress code in your house. Two words. They, Easy loose? access. What kind of privacy is there as far as you know, getting dressed, walking around the house? Maybe you know you got to uh, go to the bathroom later at night. You walk out. You don't want to get dressed. What do you do? Wrap a towel around me and run upstairs. <laughs> Little towel and run upstairs. And what do you, Paul? Oh, do you hear the creaking? Have you seen her do you do hear that? the creaking no, up the stairs there. and open the door? That'd be a nice visual that could sleep, seep into. Uh, <laughs> That's when he's not there. When he's there, I dress in the bathroom. It doesn't mean that he's yeah. doing it thinking of you. It happens sometimes. Like you're, you're just doing it. You're in the middle of whatever fantasy you have. Maybe you're kicking teeth in somewhere, and it's just another person. <laughs> right. It happens. Somebody walks through your fantasy. Yeah. Just because Norton's saying it doesn't mean it's gross. It's a, yeah. a guest star. Not a boy. Yeah. I've had friends walk through my fantasy. Not sexual. Actually, I'm jerking off. All of a sudden, I'm thinking of my buddy Bill D'Angelo. What the, hell, what the hell Bill's doing? And then I'm like, oh, I'm back to reality. Oh, back to jerking. <laughs> Could you just stand up and, like, open your coat? I, I don't really get a good sense of you. Yeah, she's a very cute girl. Like, I want to see. I, I don't tell you. Because she's all covered up. I just want to see. Because she's not wearing Wow. It. That's the idea. I just want to see. All right. Very nice. Yeah. Lovely little figure. <laughs> take a little uh, take a little uh, spin. A little Santa hat. Yeah, like, lift a little there you go. All right. Please. Please. You got a boot. Yeah, yeah, that's, you know, that's nice. Quite a hiney on her. That's nice. I think you might be out of your league. I look for the first, you know. Well, respect, gentlemen. 
<laughs> with all due respect, Pat, yeah. we're just saying because she was, you know, wrapped up in a leather yeah. coat. Uh, we couldn't really see. Oh, what a see roller coaster what, what ride today with. is for Pat. At the top of the heap and now just yeah, crashing into right. reality. Oh, yeah. Just <laughs> realizing <laughs> the reality of the situation. You're competing, you know, in, in some way or another. You know, even though it's just her living there. But there's some type of almost competition going on right. between Paul and Pat. Yeah. Well, all right. Well, first of all, we don't get along. We're always arguing. <laughs> yeah. okay? oh. You and Pat? always arguing. That's called no, no, sexual no, no. tension. Yeah, always why, arguing. Why are yeah. you guys arguing? What's, I argue what's the so problem? much that I just walk out. You right, and Tanya? Yes. <laughs> why? She says no. You're like, it's my house. I'll throw you out. <laughs> <laughs> why do you guys argue? We argue because she wants to do things. Her. Yeah, very. You know yes, who else? Uh, like about and what my things? dogs. And my dogs, they love her. They protect her. Yeah. They growl at me now. <laughs> Is it true you renamed your house F.H. Poe? <laughs> Bruce Willis and Sybil Shepard uh, argued a lot on a little uh, TV show called Moonlight. That's exactly. Right. And they never Ted, Ted Danson, Shelley Long. Right. They were always arguing. Absolutely. Rieger and Danny DeVito. Right. What, they what were you guys arguing, arguing right up until he fucked him in the ass. Yeah. <laughs> well, like what? what? Give me an example. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like the other night, he didn't want me coming up here. Why? I don't know. Uh oh, oh Po. 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 You can't get in the, can't get in the way of our radio show, Po. 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 Po had that little blink. Po blinked a couple times yeah. now. Po's mic blocking us. All right, the last ONA show that she was at, she got carried away. And she drank and. You know, she did things that she wasn't supposed to. What ONA uh, show? Uh, what did she do? She was Halloween, Halloween show. Halloween show? What, what Halloween. things? I got too drunk and my eyes were rolling in the back of my head. What did you do that you're not and supposed to? And she disappeared. To? But I haven't done that since, have I? No, of course What'd not. What did you do? What did you do you weren't supposed to? You fucked a black guy, didn't you? <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, I you just got it. that, Pat? Oh. There was no, Poe's uh, almost arm's length away from him. So I'd like a legit to. question. What'd you do? Cause yeah, yeah. That's not yeah. a bad question because you're saying you did something. And she, you're like, yeah, but I didn't do it again. It's like, well, what'd you do? I just got drunk and they were supposed to be watching me because, you know, I was nervous. And um, I wound up getting lost. I went took off with Patty and they got upset with me. Stalker Patty? No. Um, Patty. Patty 2006. She disappeared for two hours. What, that's the new model? But I was just up at the... Do you have a cell phone? I do. And you are a grown adult, right? Right. Can you just go wherever you want to go? Get drunk. Oh, she right. just looked at Poe. <laughs> you know something? Let me tell you something. Poe has set she's, down she's the rules. She's repeating this abusive relationship. Right. I was just going to wow. say something wow. like, you're like right. that. You're, right. you're absolutely right. Yeah. Maybe you're, you're the way you are, um, you're... You're looking for people, and you don't know this. A lot of women just do this subconsciously. You're looking at another kind of relationship where you're being dominated a little, and you. No offense, Paul. I'm just saying because you're not in a relationship, so that's kind of silly. But you know, and they, here you have the sweetest guy in the world who would treat you like a princess. <laughs> the put princess you on a she pedestal, is. So, but you seem to want. Guys that are geared where the fuck were you? You're not supposed to do this. You know, arguing all the time. And meanwhile, you'd be you, you you'd say something to Pat, and he'd be, oh, okay, sweetie. All <laughs> yeah, right, you know what? I'm, what did you say? You guys are very perceptive. Nothing drives her up more. Yeah, Pat, yeah. you got to get a yeah, little, like, uh, oh, little yeah. a little right. tough in your talk. Just, she <laughs> wants, hey, bitch, what the fuck are you doing yeah. out? And Poe's not yeah. abusive. Poe's not, I don't think he's abusive. I think Poe is just a rescuer, a codependent rescuer. He's not a, He's not that to a dominated chick or be mean to her. He just wants to smother her and love her. I don't think he's mean. But but, but his style is, hey. And he's a Latin. Where the, very fu where the fuck were you? The Latins. Where did you go? Woman, I cook told me dinner. you. Yeah, I told <laughs> you this. You'll get something like that. They're very parental. <laughs> yeah. That's right, but the Latin is very possessive. Drunk, no. Darker cocks than the whites. Where okay. did you uh, Where did you disappear off to? Thanks, Just Dan. where that clock guy, whatever his name was. Uh, Flav of Flav. Uh oh, wait, you were in Flav's dressing with room? Six of his no. posse? Oh, no. fuck. I just went to the front of the stage, was dancing and with Patty and Neo God. And who? Oh, Neo God. God. Neo oh wait God. a minute. Were, were there girls involved? Because I looked down at no. one point. Yeah, you were making out with some girl. Happy no, kind of girl. I you were making out with a girl. Yeah, I think I saw that from the stage. Frenchy no. hair? That was really? it, was it, was it was It was, uh, what's her name? Uh, fucking, oh, the sexy one, baby girl from Pal Yeah, Pal. I saw a few I don't know if it was you, but I saw baby girl kissing I somebody. I saw a few other no. girls making out. She's probably kissing Frenchy. It wasn't me. There was another girl involved with... I, Happy type of girl? Poe comment? Licking girls. 
Did you see anything <laughs> like that or hear about it? Well, that was the time that she was gone for two hours. Okay? Yeah. All right, so we really didn't know where she was. Well, you know And, what? yes, she is 25, and she is a woman, so she yeah. can decide on where she wants to go. But as long as she lives under your fucking roof, <laughs> it's going to be some my rules. No, 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 no. Guys. Okay. She was <laughs> topless unless you're eating First dinner. First time I've seen Poe sweat. <laughs> hey, Poe, have you said to her, look, I paid the bills around here. Has that come out yet? That's right. Go in there and cook dinner. No. Oh, he's like, woman, get in there and clean my, or, clean the kitchen. Get in there and cook All my right. dinner. <laughs> why, don't we, why don't we wrap this up, uh, Pat? Why don't you get on your knee and uh, you know confess your love to this uh, professor? Uh, it's been a while. This, um, Is she uncomfortable yeah. with this, Tanya? This, Are you uncomfortable uh, with this, Pat? Really, like, person. tell her, tell her why you love her dude. and <laughs> what you would like this, between uh, the two of you. Uh, just get, let let her know exactly how you feel. That might be uh, what what she needs. <clears throat> Anya. <laughs> Is that a fart? Or <laughs> pardon my breath. <laughs> pardon, pardon my breath. <laughs> yes, I just puked on a man. That could have been me. Uh, have I told you lately I love you? Yes. Oh, yeah, a couple oh. seconds ago. Uh, I would like to make a life with you in the future when I am a better person. Are you going to cry? Yeah, no. Oh, oh, Pat, Pat. Oh, Pat. Pat. Oh, Pat. 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 Pat, let's, let's talk something. That, my knee hurts real what, bad what right now. I'm you. so fat. Yeah. Tell Tanya what she means to you, how she's changed your life. Because I mean, you mean here. everything. And stop because hiding Because I said I didn't. Uh, I didn't care. I, people might not notice this, but I wasn't very happy before. And when I met you, now I'm happy. So it doesn't matter if anything ever happens. You're going to cry. Oh, so do you. honey. Oh, 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 see, this is every day. Oh, now, this oh. ends in murder-suicide. They cry oh, every fuck. day. Yeah. <laughs> restraining orders. Suicide. There's going to be restraining happen. orders. Oh, Pat, God, no, wait, wait, Pat. I want to be Tristan in Legend of the Fall. You were, you were sad. Pose but, the older brother. You were sad when you met Tanya. Yeah. Um, and then you, you say what she's done done for you, but I mean, like, how are you not sad anymore? Like, what do you, what do you see this? You should tell her where you see it's going. So yeah. Well, well I, everything. I'd marry her tomorrow, but I'm not the uh, person who'd uh, oh, oh be God. worthy of I mean, marrying some her. wedding. Wow. Yeah. You carry over the threshold. But I'm a mess. But floor. I'm a mess. Page and one. <laughs> when I'm not a mess, I'll pursue that. Page one. Right now we're just up, we're friends and we're spending time pedestal. together. That's yeah. all I care about. Get that putting off, her man. on a pedestal. Oh, that? she's getting a phone call. Oh boy. Oh god, that's never good. Who the guy, hell's this? Guy. <laughs> there you go, Pat. That's just right. master pull out phone calls. This is her ex-boyfriend in Missouri. Yeah. <laughs> Get your ass down here, girl. <laughs> Who's calling you? I I don't know who that who was. Who is that? Yeah. Oh, well, I don't know. Oh, that's a, oh, wrong number. <laughs> Paul, he's dialing in his uh, thing. Get the fuck away from him. Let's go to Next Cleveland. Thing. Leo, what's up? Hey, you guys missed a great line from Ope. She said she left with Patty 2006. He said, what is that, the new model? Oh, okay. Yeah. Thank you for that, sir. I found that to be rather hurtful. Yes. Yeah, well, and mean-spirited towards Patty. Oh. All right, we got a break. All right. Oh, then. now there's text messages. <laughs> oh, yeah, there's. Oh. All right, who's it? Pat? Pat, you this are what you're gonna have screaming to in in a fucking flat spin. Well, what are you doing? I thought you loved me. <laughs> there's no pulling out. <laughs> I suggest you're you reach one for the many. handle between your legs, pull it, and punch out watch because you are going in hot. You're one watch of many. The yeah, watch the canopy in goose. Hot. <laughs> oh. it, it's just I see it coming. You There's think it's no end saving with, this. If I can't have you, nobody will. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. You know, who knows, man? You might use this as inspiration to become yeah. a totally different human. That's being. exactly. Yeah, and you might not want her anymore. Pat. You might get a stripper. A 25-year-old yeah. woman was killed today, and yeah. the murderer. And he'll murderer. come walking out bloody, going, "I did it because I loved her. I loved her." He's <laughs> covered with entrails and splatter, and <laughs> yeah. Make a joke Chips about it. Brain. Oh, oh <laughs> boy, we got some pictures coming up. Yeah, where's where that? I guess she mo she models uh, FBA wear. Oh cool! Oh cool! Very nice. Oh, nice. What's wrong with that? Go. Let's see. Pat. Uncle, What's wrong with Uncle that? We're supposed to take those down. Pat, why? Yeah, he never did. That's nice. Pat, why? Oh you? Jesus! <laughs> Nothing <laughs> wrong with that. Look, look at Poe. Look at Poe. He's getting upset. Oh see? nice. This is why I told you not to come. Poe, I told you she shouldn't have come today. Pat. This is the the love of your life. I wouldn't mind that so much. You but see a girl's breasts but, but, and her legs. Wow, way wide who's, open. Look who's more upset. In a barn. Look who's oh, more upset. Poe. Who put these up? Poe. Who who put the pictures up? Who took them? 
I took them. Wait, well, you're in, in them. Missouri, though. You're and in I, them. So and I asked them. Uncle Inky nice. to took. I took them Uncle, on my own. Uncle Inky. Oh, Holy Gary. Wait, shit. wait. You set up a camera with a timer? No, I just, with my webcam in Missouri, I just sexy took it with my, you know, I took one Snap. hand and... Oh, I got gotcha. you. No, no, those both hands are free. <laughs> yeah, someone yeah. taking a picture. No, no someone's Joe taking. Rogan's not no, 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 no. That's a little better no, than no. a webcam. Both hands are free. You're lying on the couch, and that's webcam. a high <laughs> megapixel camera. That's not a webcam. Yeah, Get back to that. Uncle that right Inky. there is not a webcam. Yes, it is. Oh, come on. I, w- I want to hear shit. about Uncle Inky. I know how to Photoshop. Is that you know how to Photoshop <laughs> what? You know how to change the resolution of a photograph? <laughs> Prototype what, webcam what plan we haven't that seen yet. On? Yeah. It's a new one that's coming out in yes. 2012. <laughs> no, I don't believe it. up in that one. Look at that. So Uncle Inky took... Uh, I used, no, I he, took him. You took him? But he, he sent me the clothes, and I took him, and I asked him to take him down, but he never did. Why didn't you take him down? I thought you were friends. We are friends, okay. but... What's with Uncle Linky then? Yeah, what's up with the Uncle Link? Come on, Uncle Linky. <laughs> That's Pat's girl. But yeah. you took him yourself. And yeah. Aunt Inky is fine with all this? Did you blink? <laughs> <laughs> what did you do? Blink and then the camera oh. took the picture? Mm. Yeah. Uncle Inky, this is a, a ca- leather face in this Oh, oh webcam oh, recorder. Yeah. Paul, you don't look very happy about this. What's oh. the matter? Yeah, oh. Paul isn't happy. Why aren't you happy? You Paul, us. get in I'm there. I'm smiling, I'm fine. You're not smiling. No, Paul's, uh. That's the type of smile of fucking. Uh, uh, a German Shepherd has before <laughs> bites your fucking bag. Pretty much, po po is the last smile you'll see. Pretty yeah. much, Poe has decided someone has to die today. He's picturing <laughs> snapping Uncle Inky's neck or somebody. Now yeah. you've seen these, right? You've been very mad, so you screen capped them so you can have them for your, like you know when you <laughs> fueling awful things. But them being up is offensive, right? No. Okay. They're uh, nice pictures. Very nice. Uh, yeah. It's going to be screaming at it. Artsy. Which Pat, one do you like best? Hey, Pat, before we go to break, why not a roast beef shot? I mean, you know. <laughs> I want Pat to work this a little bit. Let's see, yeah. if, see if you have a shot. Get back on your knee and then talk this out. Is your knee hurt? You want to sit no. my knee? No, the part about uh, what it's going to take for her to like you. I have to look at the man in the mirror. Come on, Pat. Uh, Michael Jackson. Here, see, you can sit before my seat, Pat. I, I Pat. do th- I say anything like that to her. Do you want to sit in my seat because your knee was hurting? You don't have to kneel. You can sit and talk. Yeah. Have a little talk. We'll just listen to it. Well, this talk, isn't very intimate. But be talk sincere. about happiness <laughs> and, and what and you could offer in the end. Future, yeah, and, and to get your body together and your yeah. washboard abs. And your uh, <laughs> fucking actual washboard that you do the laundry on. You're growing your hair back in for her. Yeah. You're changing, Pat. Yeah. Uh, Pat's going to be a gym uh, I'm a gym be rat. a stud. Come on, Pat. <laughs> hey, oh, Let's go, Pat. Go ahead, Pat. Uh, Don't be awkward. Just leading him on. <laughs> when I become the man I want to be, I will pursue you. As to be my girlfriend. And more. <laughs> this is way <laughs> harder to watch. Smooth, than aren't I? Yeah. yeah. Well, Pat, no, no, and, and, and you were very sad. For, we all knew you were sad. Yeah. You seem like a different person now. The yeah. petting was a little weird. That's I didn't see the petting. He was, see, he, she he, wasn't very happy. Like, when she took those pictures, yeah. she wasn't a happy person doing that. Right. You know, she and wasn't. in the past three <laughs> weeks, she's changed a lot. Oh, because of you. She's becoming a happy heart The last two wild. days, we were very happy. Oh, is he done? Could you help her become happier? Yeah. That's my goal in life. All right, and, and what do you have to say to what Pat said? I've seen better shit come out of your mouth about an hour ago, Pat. <laughs> yeah. What? I care about you a lot, and yeah. I'm glad I make you happy, and oh. we all make each other happy. Yeah. All and that's, and that's all we need. We, that's all we need we, for a now. A lot of we, a we, lot of we, we, we. You we, understand we. when a man we, we, loves, I'm going all the way home. When a man trailer. loves a woman as much as he loves you, hearing things like we. And, you know, yeah, we'll be happy. Who the fuck's we? Yeah, he doesn't want to hear that. He That's wants... why you got to talk to her. <laughs> yeah. That's how you got to talk on, to her. Come on, Pat. Yeah, well, I'm not yeah. in a position where yes, I can make it. Are. Me and her. You no, are. No, no, you are. are. Yeah. Of course you are. Ask her, who, who, there. ask her who the hell's calling right now. Yeah, why can't you, Pat? Yeah, who the fuck is that on... It was restricted, so you know it was Yeah, uh oh. <laughs> How could he pull his hands around his pocket? There's a lot of lies going on. He here. dialed yeah. with his cock. He's a <laughs> why, are you saying, why are you saying it's me? <laughs> because you're the only restricted that called me. You see? Me. Do you have <laughs> a message? Is the argument going on? Do you have a message? <laughs> no, you ran out of minutes, so only Verizon people can call me. <laughs> Verizon phone or a deadbeat. Uh, What's your pay or phone bill? Tell them I got my paycheck. So you can call other people. Wait for Pat to pay for her. Why not? I don't pay for my stuff. It's not. It's right. Pat, do you pay her when she uh, goes to work with you? Yeah, oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, Pat. Uh, Jesus Christ. I'm not she, worthy of you. She's I very good because she stays in the van while I do a delivery. I don't have to pay the muni meter 
and and I don't get tickets. And I look oh, huh? name. And I go, to oh, to <laughs> Matt, right. by the time this is done, you're going to want to beat her with a parking meter. I'm telling you. <laughs> Our Never. Butt. You, you are walking with... We should take a break for your own good. Yeah. yeah. All right, guys. Guy. Every, My heart should everyone take a break. Take a break. <laughs> yeah, a flak jacket or something. <laughs> oh, please. It's, uh, it's so... Oh, my God. The tragedy I see... Why aren't you stomping Patrimonaki's guts out? Pat to be on a truth. toilet somewhere? Her? Yes. Have we taken care of her? Yes, that was the number one goal. And we, we've accomplished and, and quite and a bit. And there's people who think that, that it's not that. Exactly. But it is that. Uh, well, we've done, we've yeah. done miracles. Yeah. All right. Sorry. Well, we keep up the good work, I guess. <laughs> is that going to be the name of the yeah, video? Whatever. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, we've kids. We've done miracles. I'm real happy for all of you. Yeah. <laughs> It's a wonderful relationship. We're going to take a break. We're going to get Jim, Jamie Massad in from the Laugh Factory, okay? Yes. All right. We'll do that next. Joe Rogan in Menage studio. Menage Blah. Playing Caroline's <laughs> all weekend long. <laughs> That's some loud bed music, isn't it? <laughs> Hope he's still zipping his fly up as he walks in. Yeah. When are wow. they going to fix this microphone, by the way? Jesus, it's annoying. I want my thing back. You ever watch those shows, Seconds from Disaster? Yeah. Uh, on Discovery? I love it. It shows like... Um, what happened, some engineering problems, and uh, the end is unavoidable because of what happened. You see a building collapse, you see a yeah. bridge collapse, you see a plane crash. Uh, we are watching that with Pat. Seconds from disaster. She was on the phone with someone as I was going to the bathroom. Yeah, there's a whole thing yeah, going on. I, I'm trying to protect our buddy Pat because that's he's way out of his league. He's going to be somewhere one of these days at a pest event, and she's going to be making out with some guy, and he's going to just look there like, yeah. Huh, why, why can that be me? She's in the major leagues. He's in pee wee ball. The problem is, there's, <laughs> like, there's not the even. Is she isn't though, huh? She's like no. CBA. CBA. Yeah, but he's yeah, like something's going on there. Yeah. What are you saying, Ari? Yeah, she's like pretty good. The problem is, guys like that, his body type get laid all the time. He's just so unconfident. Yeah, he's no confidence. Yeah, yeah, Joey Diaz. Yeah. All right, let's get Jamie Massad in here, buddy, <laughs> buddy. Buddy, <laughs> seriously, things, we buddy. have to do something about the N word. Take it out of dictionary. For the people that don't know, Obviously. Jamie Massad is the uh, owner of the Laugh Factory in L.A. where Kramer did his thing. Obviously, uh, two nights Joe ago, Joe Rogan has hurt him a lot. <laughs> What's up, brother? Uh, how are you, Joe? Wonderful, Mr. Massada, um, and yourself. I'm doing okay. I'm doing all right, I guess. Uh, yeah. Trying, trying to do the best we can do with all of the comedians they are surrounding you guys. And, you know, the special Joe and everybody in here, they're thinking of what I did with uh, banning the N. It was kind of like a... You mean the word nigger? Please, please be nice. Can't say it? Uh, you know, uh, Just say that it's a word. We're talking about the word. Uh, no, Just we, a word. The, oh, I know, but the whole Not thing... Not calling anybody it. I know, I know. But the thing happened, you know, you guys, you were here, you didn't see it. I mean, I was in the Los Angeles. The time is South Center. All of the sudden, everybody, they're trying to have a riot and all of that stuff happening. You've got to do the best you can to stop it. So are you doing this for self-preservation? Is this pretty much... Please look, I'm trying. Don't burn my club down. No, 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 no. It's not only that. Or is no. it a personal no, no, decision no. that yeah, you're actually making through no. your own morality or something? Yeah, can't, we can't start banning words there. No, yeah, you yeah. can't. Yeah. Uh, yeah. No way, no, start no. Banning the no, word. no, no, no. I'm not banning a word or anything like that whatsoever. What I'm trying to say, we got it as a comedy, as a comedy community, we got to come together somehow, you know, calm the whole thing down because of, it sounds like to all of the people. People all of the sudden up there, they're all ready to do the riot. Oh, come on, and we did still, have no on the, still, on the they're brink. still angry about a, a it, sitcom guy from years ago who said a bad word to a heckler trying to hurt him. And, and then they really apologized poorly. And then fall, fell apart on television over and over again uh -huh. with Al Sharpton and Jesse Jackson and David Letterman. I mean, is there, if they're really ready to riot, if they're going to riot, they would have already rioted. No, no, they were going riot. But they're they, not going to riot now. No, no, they were going riot. I mean, at the time we were. Uh, day before Thanksgiving, I was on the TV Wonders radio. A bunch of places was there were five, six thousand of people. They were outside. Mm -hmm. They were all kind of like a, 
it was like a dynamite. It was ready to blow up. Right. And so what we do, we have to do something because in Los Angeles, they, these people, there are a lot of people. They are unemployed. There are a lot of people. They don't have no jobs or anything in South Central. And they were, it was just going crazy. So what do you do at that point? You got to do something the best you can do. Calm everything down. I think, I think you calm things down, though, by telling Michael Richards maybe that he can't perform there anymore because it was more, not, not so much for the language, but just for like the outburst and the turning away of, of your clients clientele you know you, he turned away uh people from your club that is a reason for you to say hey you're not welcome back here anymore yeah, but for reasons. using words i mean it's like if if mencia comes in and says beaner 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 uh is are you gonna ban him is it is it something no, like that? no 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 i mean none of he that you know uh, no but yeah. you know the whole thing is what we trying to do the time you see the whole thing happening what's happening in again in los angeles you guys all see it from outside the time I was mm. involved with it, the time I saw it in Los Angeles. Well, I can figure out what's going on out there. I just, it's figure, hard to figure, figure, figure out. Yeah, I'm yeah, sorry. Yeah. I can figure out what's going on out there <laughs> just by uh, what I hear in the news. Oh, they're applauding you on things <laughs> like that. But uh, I'm sorry, it was just a Freudian slip. But, uh, you know, I don't think it's as bad. I'm but there. Again, I'm not well, out I'm there, there too. It's not there. No, but, yeah. but you guys, you are all, you know, everybody, Joe Rogan, everybody, they are there. They live in Beverly Hills, Brentwood. I don't uh, live in Beverly Hills. Oh, okay, wherever. You're not living in South Central. The time you go in the South Central. If I lived in South Central, would it make more sense? Uh, really think I, so? I think you would be agreeing with me if you leave there. I think Jamie is afraid of his club. This is why I, I, it, I didn't hate that you banned it. Only because right. I didn't look at it like it was a politically correct decision. I think he just didn't want his club to be a focal point of this rage with that big insignia on the side. And that's an area that has a history of really shitty racial violence. And look, if I own a building... I just don't want people fucking Molotov cocktailing it. I mean, so that's that the only reason I sure kind of sided sense. with with you on that. Yeah. I don't think banning a word. I think it's disgraceful. But here's but here's how to preserve your club from being burned down. You know, you got to do something. Here's think, how it could have been stopped way way earlier. Why didn't you get rid of those fuckheads? But when they were heckling other people, weren't they heckling other people all night? No, no, they was not. That's what I heard from other comments. No, I was always there. Nobody I mean, else. I, I mean, the, you you just hearing all people they exaggerating. I was there. The guys they were ordering drinks at the, by the time I. And a couple of them, they were talking. I was right there. And one of the guys, and Michael looked at the people. He said, what's going on in here? And the guy said, nothing. And he, Michael kept on asking, what's going on? Why you talk? And the guy, he said, hey, my buddy think you are not funny. He said, what? He said, my buddy said, he's not, you're not funny. And at that point, the rage is came in. And, you know, comics, they are, you know, I mean, all of you guys know you're coming from insecurity. You're coming from, you need a lot of love on the stage. And that's what it is about. Yeah, and but the at that point, it's like you make fun of the guy's shirt. You could talk about his big yeah. head. That's the thing. Like, you're saying, it's like, you should never do what he did. You should no, never do that. No, no, He's because he's so he, incompetent. That's what it really yeah, is. Now you're yeah. 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 And, dude, yeah. it's like, yeah. if you're bombing, that's what happens in comedy. People say yeah. you're not funny, and then you have to deal with it. Right. What you don't do is is what he what he did was fucking wrong. Well, I had heard from uh, he had did a set at the comedy store before he went up at the Laugh Factor, and the guys who saw him at the comedy store, my friend Brian was talking about it, saying he was like a different guy. He was like yelling and screaming and swearing. And he just seemed like all amped up. You he had know? a chick with him, right? I heard yeah. he had a chick yeah. with him. Yeah. That might explain why that rage came out, because there's nothing worse than bombing in front of a girl. You know why it's that chick? It's fucking embarrassing. She's living at Poe's house. Oh. <laughs> She's being protective. She's in a cage right now. <laughs> Would it help with the Laugh Factory, though, if they wanted to cut the problem, if they just banned black patrons? They're, yeah. That's an option. Uh, I, I mean, I, when you call a central. white guy a nigger, they very rarely even flinch. <laughs> I, I, I don't think so. any of that would have <laughs> yeah. He's actually answering it. No, I don't yeah, think that would actually be the right way to do buddy, it. Buddy, that's not the way to handle it. I got a question. Start I got a slow with situation. drinking fountains buddy. in bathrooms. <laughs> Four different restrooms. No, but, you know, the whole thing was the time this whole rage went on, mm -hmm. and all of this, and I didn't know what to do, and all I did, I mean, after 28 years of being in business, I decided... I give everybody's money back and a lot of people they start taking advantage of a lot of opportunities uh -huh. they were there. Yep. You know, a guy coming in he said I have four hundred dollars worth of drinks. I said four hundred dollars worth them. I said, I mean, $400. I said, show me the bill. He showed me a knife. I said, okay, here's $400. He showed you a knife? Yeah. Oh, I mean, I oh, wish boy. you were there that wait, night. Wait a minute, wait a minute. The guy yeah. pulled a knife on you? Yeah. yeah. Why didn't you call the police? Here's because my bill. at that time it was going to be a riot. 
Yeah, right you, I mean, all of the, you guys you've seen outside, you've seen from outside, you don't see what, what was going on up there. It was amazing stuff was happening. All of a sudden, a lot of people, Jesus. the opportunists, they are standing up there, they looking at everything. It just doesn't make sense. For you guys, you know, sitting up here, why don't you, at that point, if I, by the time I'll call the cops and that and that and that. Listen, it's yeah. pandemonium. I totally understand. I totally understand you giving people their money back, apologizing. I totally understand you banning Michael Richards. I totally understand all that. I, I just I, don't understand you printing receipts on knives. No. Stupid <laughs> <laughs> fucking move. <laughs> Handing out a, a laugh factory knife. Jesus. <laughs> Complimentary <laughs> laugh factory <laughs> switchblade. <laughs> a lot of engraving going on. Thank God. <laughs> Paul Monial carried around. <laughs> oh, please, homie. And, and, uh, Put the knife away, homie. Wait. And uh, of course, Paul Mooney get on all of that. And Jesse Jackson yeah. and all of those guys, they're all coming. Are you going on a radio show with them? All of them, they have their hands out. Oh, you got to do something for my church. Well, this Paul guy Mooney, gotta... I think, made a great point. He said the guy had a nervous breakdown. I think that's exactly what it was. He's just yeah. not a funny guy. I mean, that's the reality yeah. of it. He got all that love all those years from those sitcoms, and that's... Look, man, I've been in that fucking world from news radio. I've seen those people. That's They want their bagels and their smoked locks, and they're there at the table read, and everyone's clapping and laughing, and there's all this extra love, and everyone waves to them on the red carpet, and it's a bullshit world. Yeah. And you go from that bullshit world to the fucking trenches of Saturday night in front of drunks at a comedy club, dude. That's a different animal, and it's man. His, and it's his words coming out of his mouth, not yeah. Larry David's or yeah. Jerry Seinfeld's or the writers. Not only is it his words, he doesn't have that much time on stage. He's right. only been doing time. I mean, how long has he been doing comedy? He, about six months, yeah. seven months. Oh, no, God. no, he's been no, doing it longer, longer than that. I saw, no, I've no, seen no. him at the comedy store several years ago. No, he's, no, no. But he came in, but he came in. He stopped. He came in for one month, two months. He's been doing it other places. He's been yeah. doing other places. Because yeah. I saw him at the yeah. improv yeah. at yeah. least a year ago. Yeah, so he's been he's been scattered back and forth going on stage. But the bottom line is... The guy is up at the one of the biggest stages in the country as far as stand-up goes. You know, you're going there. You're going to go up after all these major n national acts who are going to fucking slay. And then you're going up basically an open micer who's a superstar multimillionaire. And on top of it, he's got this fucking tremendous attitude. Mm. You know, I mean, you know, the, 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 whole, the shit that he said was just, that's insanity. I mean, you can't say that. I mean, yeah. none of it makes any sense. Yeah. I mean, you know, someone doesn't think you're funny, so you're going to hang them up by their ankles and stick a fork in their ass. And look, I found a nigger. None of that I makes the any sense. Part was in the in in the middle of it where he tried to turn it around and try to play it like he was trying to teach hey, people they're something. Just words. Oh, those words were still words. like, no, dude, you you fucking no. yeah. snapped. You yeah, snapped. And that was he was in down. your mind. It's like you Mooney yeah. hit it the best. Mooney said he had a, a nervous yeah. breakdown. Yeah. And he is in a way he did. He did in a point. He did have a nervous breakdown. And then he want to come in to talk to the people. Did outside. you let him on stage the next night? No, he told me he want to come in next night to go apologize. I said, okay, Michael, come in. And CNN, they came in with a camera. Jennifer Wolf came in with a uh, CNN. They wanted to have him on the stage to apologize. He went on the stage, and he was on the stage for five, six minutes. He didn't apologize. We gave him red light. And you know what's the red light? <laughs> People, they don't know out there. He didn't apologize. What did he no. do? And he ran off the stage, and he went to Jennifer. He said, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. And Jennifer said, we wanted you to say it on, on the camera. He said no, and he ran out of the door. That's the end of it. So he went on stage. What did he talk about for six minutes? <clears throat> the Japs. Five, about four or five minutes. He just when uh, he What's the deal? You know, I mean... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what did he do, though? This no, is he, an interesting he, question. You no, know, but he did, went on. He was nervous, and I think he was doing some of the jokes, but he was... Uh, I mean, the time he goes on the stage... First of all, you know that, uh, Joe, uh, because you've been into it because you were a star and are uh, your star. The time you go on the stage, people, they go crazy because of you go on the stage. And he went on the stage for five minutes, three minutes, people, they went crazy to see him. And uh, They went crazy all, to see him. Did they know about the YouTube the video? Before? wasn't out yet. No, 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 yes, yeah, some of them they do. Some of them they Did knew. anybody boo him? Uh, not really. Not really. They were waiting for him to apologize. You know, and then all of a sudden he got off the stage. He ran off the oh, stage. Oh man, he blew it. You know, it was. He just, should have checked in a rehab. I would have said I was on yeah, a that's fucking the best to go. a pound of coke. DMT. Hey, hey, don't you think you remember that night? DMT. I'm pissing DMT. blood. You put Velcro DMT. on the ceiling. The last thing you say. <laughs> yeah. You you wet their lips and stick them to the wall. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing, people. <laughs> uh, uh, three, if you slice them thin enough. Don't Gary? you think banning words though starts to, sets a real bad precedent for club no, owners? No, I, I, I don't. You know, is is not a, you know, is just like a pro 
pro, uh, you know, I mean, again, all of you guys know I listen you're in a really, Joe. You know, you're knowing, in a tough uh, position though, because the other yeah. other races are going to come out and say, well, you got to ban Spick and you got to ban this word, you got to ban that. Gook, think, faggot. Fat. Yeah, you know, what about I, hacks? How about <laughs> ban hacks? First? Ban hacks. Or do you? Let, yeah, no. What, what it really is? Or do you let is, the word appear eventually on that stage say, again? You can't say that shit in anger. Like, right. yeah, no, just I, deliberately trying to piss. But there's, there's I get a way around that is if someone does that, you don't right. book him again. Yeah. No, but, yeah, but, but it's no, not but, like people are thinking, right. he's dealing with the fucking media circus. Like, he's yeah. he's got to do something. Yeah. He's also got to deal with the fact that uh, t 20 Asians aren't going to come to his place if someone says chink and uh, stab him with chopsticks. Well, they, uh, they got but the Chinese stars in certain on, situations in the area you're in, there is an element that might be a little angry and riled to the point where they might do some what about, physical damage. Damage. No, Jamie, the, what, what about Black Knight? You do a Black Knight yeah, over there, right? Yeah, we do. We do a Chocolate so how, Sunday. How are you going to do that? I mean, chocolate, chocolate Sunday. Chocolate Sunday. <laughs> you doing Chocolate Sunday? They're not allowed to say the N word. Yes. And what? No. Oh, oh, that's no. hilarious. No fucking. Yeah. I bet the first You're guy so gets done. up there. Oh, no, 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 no. I mean, no. Even Paul oh, Mooney came in on Wednesday night. Paul Mooney came last week. Exactly. Three minutes long. No, he did not use one word. How about that, Elizabeth Taylor? No. <laughs> that is crazy. Why did the cameras leave? <laughs> oh, homie, I'm ready for my African American. But, but I, I just got to uh, finish what I'm um, uh, wake up call. You know, one thing I'm going to say is it was like, a, you know, pro uh, sports. They say you got to be nice to fan if you are going to be a little bit crazy. I don't to think fan, those guys were his fans. Well, you know, yeah. the people, they come in in the club, they are uh, comedy fans. Well, I'm comedy fans. Yeah, Definitely yeah. not Michael Richards fans. No, no I want to say, I mean, uh, every other uh, people, they come in in the club, they shouldn't use the word because of, we say, if you do it, we take some of your money from your paycheck, we give it to charity. That's what we're going to try to do. And that's right now calming people down. you got to do something. You can't just, you know, say, no, we are not going to do much? it. You yeah, no, how much? Wait a minute, you get like 50 bucks a set or something. What do you get a set of the left hand? Yeah, like 75, 75. Not that like another. How much money fucking comedy store? They rip you off those cocksuckers. I never got a check from anybody in LA. <laughs> no? I never got paid in LA. I, I don't get paid at the You never store. got paid from Laugh Factory? No, from no one. No one's ever paid me in LA. Oh, you better go in cashier booths. Always your check is there. Buddy, oh. it's ready. Oh, so for somebody, you. let's say someone gets on stage. Buddy. Unless oh, one of the black you. people steal. No, no, no. But <laughs> someone gets on stage. Never hang them by in in yes, a very comedic context. Yes. They use the word nigger, and it's going to happen. How much is it going to cost? One of the boys uh, are going to do gonna, that. Uh, first, he's going to take take their paycheck go to a charity. Their whole uh, paycheck. A whole so paycheck. It would cost, how much money is that? Uh, seventy five. Seventy five bucks. So seventy five bucks. Yes. If you That's blurt that word it. out, it's worth yeah. it if you get a good laugh. And wow. what, what if you say it twice? Does that affect your next set? Yeah. Then, you then you're going to be, for three months, you won't be able to come <laughs> wow. back to the lab factory. That's, That's crazy. What's That's what you're say. So first time you find them, then the second time, the you know three what, months though? off? Yeah. And then then, hold on. Using, but it's so worth it. There's a comedian out there that's going to do it just for the yeah. exposure. Yeah, what about he's going to be the guy that breaks the ban and he's going to be all over CNN? Have you uh, ever done something similar to this for guys who steal material? <laughs> well, I've done that many times. You know yes. that. Does the Mencia yeah. perform at your club all the time? Not true. Uh, hello, hello. Don't even go there. Doesn't you know he? that. Yeah. Doesn't he? he no, performs all the no, time? no. Thank you. Stop them. Stop them. No. It, from first day, come on. What? You know better. Than that. Come on. Yeah. The Mencia yes. you know Logan you Battle so Royal. You. Oh, dude. You know, come on, man. You know, he's I mean, there. He goes there. Yeah, but you know, not not in. You know, most <laughs> of the people they do anything like that. It's what about Dane? What about Dane? Dane Cook. Yes. What about him stealing people's material? Dane, he does not steal any. What are you talking I, about? What, what are you talking about? That's hilarious. Go on the internet. What Go on the internet and Google, watch all the videos, listen to all the people talk about it. See, you ever see the Louis C.K. clips? Yeah. When Louis C.K. was working out his material for uh, his HBO uh, special, and Dane did three of his bits on a CD? Blatantly, I again, again. Uh, who took from who? No, 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 no. Dane takes from everybody. No, no I stop. Mean, Louis no, C.K. No. doesn't steal from anybody. No, I've never I, heard Louis. No, I Louis C.K. is a great comedian. I, I, I've never heard I any. Not Louis one person ever say that he steals from anybody. I, 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 Every comic that I know says Dane Cook steals. No, Dane Cook. I have not seen buddy, something. Buddy, just because he's your number one guy, buddy, does not mean he doesn't steal. Joe, 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 that is one thing. Don't speak with fucking tongue. No. I tell you something, Dane, Dane Cook, he's a most hardworking guy. Yes, very hardworking, very ambitious. Everybody, and let me tell you, everybody jealous of him. They trying to get yes, the undercat him. True. Oh, he's this, he's this. Very okay, true. what else you can come in? Because he have number one record, he have one number yes. one everything. But, but, but what? They've you, always said jealous. he was a thief way before that. No, no, nope. they yes, did not. They did. As soon as, 
Yes, they did. Bro, as they soon did. as he made no. it, everybody jumped. No, 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 no. On, way, on, way before. That's uh, not true. I, I never heard of it. No. Uh, as soon Jim, as he made it. Have you ever heard of this? I have heard. It. Well, the problem was when it, when the when the clip showed up online, it got to be ugly because it was between Louis and Dan. The clips were there, and it was like, oof. It's obvious. Yeah, yeah but now with the internet, but it's not it's just really, him. Really it's Jim Brewer. He's stolen from me. He's stolen from a million different comics Maybe in L.A. Like that cutting at times, like like you said, Chappelle. I mean, when comics make it, a lot of times comics aren't jealous. No comics were ever jealous or bad about David Tell yeah. or Louis no. Black. There's a lot of guys that or make CK, it. Or CK or 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 Chappelle. I mean, Chappelle's oh, Michael Richards. enormous. Oh. Chappelle's a good example because he's yeah. Like so nobody, so nobody, yeah, nobody. Nobody says he steals, ever. Everyone yeah. says Dane steals. Yeah, but uh, let me explain something. You're not telling the truth. I'm telling the truth. No, what you're I not. Know. Yes. Bro, but it's not no. true. It's, no. not tr it's not a truth. I'm not saying you're a liar, but I'm saying you, you might not be aware of it. It's definitely I not might true. Not, I mean, the only thing I'm saying, as soon as I see his record, his, his CD came number one, and he went on the chart. He became, after Steve Martin, he was the first person going up the chart. Nobody ever done it. And everybody got jealous. Everybody start calling. Well, yeah, well, 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 but that doesn't mean anything. You're, you're, still, you're avoiding the. No, the I'm point. not avoiding yes, something. He did, he did do a, a tremendous thing, and he was very successful, but the fact remains, he stole material. No, I. On that CD, he took stuff from Louis C.K.'s HBO special from years before. That's a fact. But uh, yeah, show it to me. Show it okay. to me. Well, yeah, yeah, I mean, I mean, I, I, I mean, you know, I, hey, when you say, come on, Jamie. You're a great diplomat, by the way. Hey, Joe, where is it online? You are. I'm not. I, no, I'm not. Uh, you yeah. can find it online. I mean, anyway, can I, think you're I think you can go to redband.com. I think he's got it up. I think, uh, the, you know, there's a whole uh, a Radar Magazine is printing it. They're doing an article right now about him stealing. There's like a bunch of, uh, they're, 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 he's been accused of it on CNN, had a whole thing about comics saying that he steals. I mean, it's all over the place. Where there's smoke, there's fire. I've never met a single comic ever that people People say steals that doesn't steal. Have you? Have mm -hmm. you? Bill, have you ever met a guy that everybody says is a thief, and you see the guy goes, no, this guy's completely original. I've never well, heard one. I, I remember was guys, uh, I'm not going to say names, but just one guy who made it, and it's just everybody where I was at was saying, this guy took from me, this guy took from me, this guy took from me, and I was looking at their acts, and I was... It was. I didn't see it. Who, well, who is this? This doesn't make sense unless you give us context. Uh, yeah, if you, if you didn't think he was a thief, you could say it. Cause you're not yeah, thinking. Leary. Like everyone's saying, Leary took Oh, his, Leary took dude, the and, Hicks and stuff? The Hicks stuff is pretty I don't bad. know anything about it. I'm just saying that they uh, Well, were you guys, never listened to the Hicks they, stuff, they, they were guys. I saw a Leary steal over and over again back in Boston. Early in the 80s, in the, in the late 80s, rather, the early 90s. I saw it. I saw it with my own eyes over and over and over again. Well, I, I saw him I do saw Ray Romano's who, material. I saw, guys, saw him do Tony V's material. I saw it with my own eyes in clubs. I saw him do Bill Hicks material verbatim. Then I saw Bill Hicks do the same material a month later, and I was baffled. I was an open micer. And I said, what the fuck is going on? I what I saw was guys confused. who stunk in their acts nobody would steal from were walking around saying it. Okay, that's, I'm sure like, there's the a lot of that. Of course there's so delusion. I never people. saw That's delusion, of course, yes. Of course there's that, but the fact remains that guy's a thief. That's a fact. Uh, is, uh, yeah, uh, I mean, Larry, I said, I Larry saw for sure, I've seen it over and over again. I saw it with my own eyes. I mean, he doesn't anymore, but if you look at the difference between, you look at his, his first No Cure for Cancer, then look at Locked and Loaded, pre and post Hicks being dead, dude, there's a monstrous difference in the level of the material. The material post Hicks being dead is fucking horrible. The stuff that he did before, when No Cure for Cancer is some brilliant shit. Yeah, it's a completely different thing, because he was taking the ideas from someone else. That yeah, is a fact. Yeah, but Joe, uh, yeah. I mean, if I can say something here, you, you're very fast to jump in a co conclusion of somebody. Do you somebody know why? Do well, you know why? Because, because uh, you know, I've been explain. the victim of it. No, and let I've me seen explain. it happen yeah. over and over again. And because I work very hard on my material, and I write a lot, and I sit in front of my fucking computer for hours on end, and then I go to the comedy store, and I have little pieces of paper, and I go over it in my head, How's which bitch am I going to do? I'm going to go into that, and then I go into that, and I work on this shit over and over and over again for months, and then some fucking douchebag goes up, he sees me kill with some bit, and then he reworks it, and then he goes on stage. And you know what? Club owners don't do shit about it, and then they get on here on a radio show, and they say, no one steals, he doesn't steal, he doesn't steal. But and it's not true. That, no. You haven't looked into it at all, and you're defending someone who is widely known throughout the country as being a thief through the fucking comedy community. You talk to club owners, you talk to people in HBO, you talk to people everywhere that I talk to people, they know he steals. Okay, let me explain something. Is that doesn't mean you telling me you you thought of a material 
doesn't mean somebody else. If you thought of building a helicopter, yeah, and true. doesn't mean another person, another That's place does do not be able. There to There is a thing see. called parallel, parallel thinking. thinking. Yes. yes. Yeah, but it's, uh, and then I've you, had that you happen can, to me. Yeah, but you sure. I've had that happen too. I had that happen recently. We were just talking about it. a buddy of mine in L.A. I said, "Dude, I got this bid. It's like your bid." I go, "Don't even worry about it. You know, I know you're not a thief. You know, if you know a guy's not a thief, it's like you don't even have the conversation. You know, if you got a, a comic that you know you respect, like, dude, it's a fucking common. It's something happened in the news, and you thought." About about something and I thought about something and they're similar but I it's think sometimes if people are already jealous of a guy's success and then that parallel thinking happens it just becomes once you get to a certain level it immediately becomes he's a thief he's a thief. without a doubt thank there you. are definitely thank crabs you. in a bucket thank however you. with the Dane Cook thing they Three were talking they were calling him a CD. thief they were calling him a thief for years years ago they were calling him a thief I was uh, I had a problem with him way back when he was doing one of my bits on premium blend he did my bit about tigers fucking on the discovery channel he changed it to rhinos I called him up he told me he's his own fucking agent told him to stop doing the bit, and he was going to stop doing it. Then I came to the Laugh Factory, and he's doing one of my other bits on stage. I confronted him, and that was the last time I worked at the Laugh Factory. I don't work there anymore because I didn't want to go up in front of him and see him doing my shit and, and, and have him go up and do it. But I never thought Dane was going to make it. I, like a lot of people, thought that Dane was like a mediocre comic. I mean, he's a fantastic uh, self-salesman, a, a great marketer, a genius strategist as far as like marketing himself and promoting himself. I mean, you got to give the guy massive amounts of credit for that tireless worker in that regard but I never thought he was very funny so I didn't I didn't worry about the repercussions of him stealing material I heard it from everybody over and over again comics were saying that he's stealing their shit he's telling them to stop doing bits that they've been doing for years because that's their bit and they're gonna he's gonna sue them I mean I heard it from everybody you've heard it we, we've all heard it it's like it's not uh, because the yeah. guy got famous that's bullshit he was getting this this reputation long before for sure there's crabs in a bucket and for sure there's when people get famous people try to drag him down but that's not what's going on here yeah but again you gotta look at it of the way I look at it yeah you look at it as a club no, owner and he no, puts asses in your no, seat no that's no, how you look at not, it that's not that's he's not he's not that's not the reason come on uh, what's been, the reason he's been, he been working there 12 years right and a lot of people they came to me the same time he came with a joke another person came out with a joke the joke you're talking about discovery and uh, tigers and all of that everybody can do that joke and you saying to me well some Somebody see that sh joke. It cannot be done. Another person. I got a call from Jim Brewer. Jim Brewer was working with Dane Cook in Canada, and Jim Brewer called me up and he goes, "Dude, bro, dude, fucking Dane Cook's doing your material How verbatim." In Kent, seven, yeah. eight years ago. It was a long time ago. And well, then I heard he did it on Premium Blend, and that's when I called him up. And I, Dan and I used to be friends. I was friends with that guy. He used to open up for me back in Boston when he was with Al and the Monkeys. He was a sketch group. And, you know, I, I've known him for a long time. He's always had that reputation. He's well, always had On that CD, there's three bits from this Louis C.K. HBO special. That are yeah, nearly listen, word for word. He'll change I'm, one word and it's almost. Exactly dude, I'm same. a huge comedy fan and I love it when people make it and I, I love being inspired. I love watching good comedy and I'm not one that believes that if someone becomes successful, that means that other people aren't successful. I think that it, there's enough success out there for everybody and I want everybody to be huge. I mean, I want everybody to, who's, who's a great comic to get out there and have a bunch of people enjoy their work, but that's not what's going on here. Well, uh, to me, uh, again, maybe some of a lot of stuff, uh, I'm not saying you, a lot of comics that I spoke to. I see they're coming from jealousy. They're you think Louis C.K. is coming from jealousy? I don't know. Louis C.K., for example, one of the jokes that he particularly talks about, I seen it. Dane Cook was working on the stage much before Louis C.K. How long? How long? I don't know, about maybe eight, nine, uh, nine months before Louis Yeah, Louis had those jokes for about six years. Okay, six years. But and this, Dane's seen those jokes. But you don't know if Dane's seen it or I he do. saw it on the, t on the TV course, or something some that came in. Or you saying, oh, He's he went them. and he took the... He saw him. Louis was in the audience, and oh, Louis was on stage, and Dane was in the audience. Louis talked to Dane after he did sets. He, he talks about it. About a Dane saw him do the material. Uh, again, again, we all make an acquisition without, you know. I no, mean, no, no, all no, 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 we're not. We're Louis, not making acquisitions. No, let's, let's have Louis and uh, Dane start talking to each other. Say this has happened. You saying stuff? Well, well, I mean, why, I, why are you defending him? Why are you openly because, defending because him? Because I'm openly defending him because of I think a lot. Of, I mean, a lot of people. They went. They came to the club. I'm the only club. If I see you're proof, the only club. Oh, I'm the only club. The only club, other, what do you mean? The only club of van people, if uh, Carlos Mancio, any of that stuff, Paul Mooney came in, said Carlos Mancio did uh, his jokes. I was in Laugh Factory, I said, Carlos, you cannot do that anymore. But he you still can't. performs at your club. No, he doesn't. He doesn't ever perform at your club. 
Except, no, no, only one time he came. Come on, he wasn't there recently? No, he came one time with a showcase for the, uh, what they call it, uh, for, uh, uh, what was that? Okay, well, I'm being lied to then because someone told me they saw him here very recently and they've seen him at your club a couple times. Well, uh, I mean, if they've seen him, I don't know, but personally. So it's when you're not there that he No, I mean, I'm there all the time, but if they Okay, so you're admitting that Carlos steals. You know Carlos steals? I don't know, Carlos, again, Carlos, (laughs) but let me explain. No, no, I admit it. I admit it, Carlos, let me explain it to you with Call us. Call us. I admit it. Call him by a slave name. Okay. Okay. (laughs) Call him Ned. Ned or whatever. Whatever. Is is the whole thing is I'm just trying to say I saw Carlos and George Lopez. They were upstairs. They were, you know, almost killing each other. That was actually in the lobby when George Lopez grabbed him by the neck and threw him. No, it wasn't in lobby. It was upstairs in my club. It, it was sure. upset. I thought it was in the front, bro. No, 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 no. I, I mean, it might have happened more than once. Yeah, yeah I mean, I uh, well, again, again, you get. Right. I mean, I saw it. I saw right. it. Uh, I, you know, I tried. What to happened with Lopez and Carlos? I don't get all the Lopez. Skinny. Carlos stole all Lopez's shit and did it on his HBO special. Lopez Carlos is more him. subtle about his stealing now, but in the early days, it was fucking horrible. It was just blatant, verbatim, just just giant chunks of material. He's not a creative guy. I mean, if you talk to the guy, he's not very intelligent. He doesn't have an unusual point of view, and he just steals. He's oh, so him and Lopez had a beef. Yeah, in, in the he's club. had a beef with yeah. everybody, bro. Mooney, yeah, Lopez. Mean, you know, I mean, I've seen, I mean, I've seen a lot of people. They get in a fight and everything and the time they came in to me they told me about it and I find out if they did it then I try to react on it and do whatever I can Mm -hmm. and to come in to tell me oh as soon as somebody make it and everybody jealous and trying to put him down I I, 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 I'm a you keep saying that I'll say something about Louis though Louis did not push I will say this because I know Louis well he didn't push that Louis Louis didn't push that issue he actually uh, we were talking about it one time on the set and he's like nah man I don't want to get into it and, and and talk about it publicly, just because then it seems like you're bashing the guy who's getting famous. So Louis actually yeah. tried to be very low key about that whole thing. He I tried to be on big purpose, about it. I, like, yeah, I, yeah, I had a conversation I, with him about it, and I said, dude, you're not going to come off bitter if you're just honest about it. You don't have to, you know, just it's, you don't have to like let a guy get away with something like that. You can talk about it and not come off bitter. It is possible. Yeah, but again, okay, everything, all right, he stole this, he stole that, but everything he's made so far, he made his movie, became number one, that's this all, came that's number all, one, that's these all, all he stole. That doesn't he stole mean anything. No, no, bro, that's, we're not talking about the fucking movies, man, we're talking about comedy. Yeah, we're talking you know, about comedy big and deal? everything, everything. You're, you're is, making it like it's not a big deal. It's a lot of people no, don't I always do, stole I, until they see these CDs that become number one on, on, on the charts. Once they see it, once it's out there, they're like, oh, that's the real. Still, that the real thing still. about Dane is Dane would have made it without stealing. They, Dane made it because he's brutally ambitious and he's a no, very he's smart a ta- guy. He's a talented too. He's very talented performer. Yeah, yeah, I'm, thank I, you. I, I believe all that. Yeah, but you're not. Okay. All right, all right I'm, ba- I'm back. I'm sorry. Louis C.K., uh, Dane Cook. <laughs> okay. Got some audio. Because you okay. haven't heard this yet, right? Let's see it. Yeah, please. All right, let's see if you have a comment. So this is Louis C.K., obviously. Listen closely. One time I saw a guy in a bicycle, and he was about to get hit with a car door. It was horrible. And he wasn't looking, and the lady opening the door wasn't looking. It was just, like, just for me. And I didn't know what to do. I was like, ah! Like, I, I wanted to yell something, but what do you yell? And I'm trying to, like, if time slows down, I'm trying to choose the thing to yell that will have all the information that he needs. Because it was happening really fast. I had, like, that much time to yell, you know... What can I yell in that much time? This, hey, you got to buy all. No, you know, that's not. <laughs> she can open the door to God. Shit. <laughs> so I, I just yelled out, bad thing. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't really specific enough. Oh, well. So there you have it, Louis C.K. Now, the, what's that from? You know off hand, Joe? Oh, it's, I don't know. It's, it's, it's one of his HBO specials, or is it a CD? This goes back a while. A I, see, I saw Louis do that years ago. I actually don't know where it's from. It's like 2000. It's like from 2000. 2001, they're saying. All right. And now here's Dane Cook. Three weeks ago, one of my dreams came true. I finally got to see something I've always wanted to witness live. I finally saw someone get hit by a car. I did try to help this man. As the car was coming towards him, I reached out... And I said, oh, oh, that's all I could think of to say. There's so many things now in retrospect that I would love, I'd love to have been like, you're about to get struck by a vehicle. I did not have time to say you're about to get struck by a vehicle. So I went with, oh, which is like a concerned moan. That's from 2005. Okay. 
Can I comment on that? Yeah, yeah, of yeah, course. Absolutely. We're playing it for you. Okay, okay. That particular thing, I know Dane Cook. He came to me. He said he saw an accident really happen. Now, you guys coming up say because of, you know, it, it was rec recorded so much. If something happened to somebody. But dude, he saw that bit. That's the same bit. No, he it, it saw this accident happen. That's, that's all well and good. You see an accident doesn't mean you're allowed to take someone's bit to describe the accident. And that's what he did. He described it exactly the same way he saw Louis C.K. describe it. That's a stolen bit. Well, I, um, to me, the time he described the accident happened to him. That doesn't mean anything. That, that does mean to something because no, if something happened to you, Joe Rogan, if somebody punched you in the face or something, yeah. and you're going to talk Are about you it, you can't me? say, you can't say, no, I, no, no, no. Are you falling apart here, Jamie? No, no. I mean, I'm saying somebody, somebody Jamie, you're something. falling apart no, here. No, no. That, that's a stolen bit. No, that's it's not. not. Can, I, can we get a consensus that, here? How many people believe that was a stolen bit? It's very close. Yeah, it's pretty yeah, close. Yeah, if yeah, everyone in the, in the peanut gallery just raised their hands, everyone out there, Joe the, Burrs, so that a stolen bit? See, if you have something happen Dude, to you, I, I see people on stage and they'll do a bit. I'll be like, oh, my God, the same stuff happened exactly to me. You don't, Dude, I, I had a bit one time, and I swear to God, another guy came out. He had a bit, and it was like fucking the setup That's that possible. we had were like word for fucking word and I got all paranoid and I started inventing this conspiracy like this guy's on a TV show he had writers and they, they were in this Chinese restaurant that I was performing in out in fucking Worcester and they saw it and then I just <laughs> after a while I just realized that like that is possible like parallel thinking we, we were yeah, discussing that and, uh, but this is not a case Greg of Girardo parallel had, thinking had, had a bit about again uh, we're talking TV about six years before and during those years and before that he was doing the bit before he recorded it in 2001 he was doing that bit before and he's been doing it and then Dane comes along and puts it on a CD in 2005. You don't think he saw that? This, Joe, you, know, Joe. You, know, you know what the thing is? The, the pro people definitely steal. They definitely swipe shit. They definitely switch shit up. But actually fucking proving it is what sucks. Yeah. Oh, sure. Yeah. Because, Absolutely. Because people you. rewrite they, things. They or steal being a paranoid. Being a paranoid, Jamie, Joe. there's nothing paranoid about that. It is that. paranoid. That, that is Jamie, fine. there's nothing paranoid about what you just heard. I, no, because I heard the other part of the story. You don't want to face the, the, the other, other part, part of the story. The other part of the story doesn't mean anything. The guy, he was, he was almost in an accident. You don't want to hear that. You want to hear what, what okay, happened. Okay, let's look at it this way. Uh, no. You know Chris Rock's joke? about uh, tossing your salad you know that joke he does about uh, watching that prison yeah. show now what if I watch the same prison show and I go on stage and do a joke very similar about tossing your salad even though I know Chris Rock had done that show that joke for five fucking years about tossing your salad that would be stealing material Jamie that's what that is okay, let me even though that. I okay. saw the show okay. Okay. even though I saw the same show he saw it's still stealing material when you know another guy did the exact same fucking yeah, that's thing that okay, rule okay. Of who got there first okay. right. no no, 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 I understand. I understand. It's the same setup. I listen, that could same. have been parallel thinking. Let's uh, go to another. Yeah, well, let, let, you can I, can so? I make it? Can I make it one no, comment? No, 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 what do you think? No, I, it, it's way too close. Well, let's it's stealing, right? Cannot, you think yeah. it's stealing? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, well, 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 Anthony, what do you think? Joe, we have a soft. that's too We have a soft spot for this because in radio, the same shit happens to you guys all the time. Okay. Can I say something? One more example. Let's see what happens. Okay. Now, well, here's another like, example. You have to say it too. Like, I never jumped on the Dana stealing bandwagon. Only because I know a lot of people attack somebody when a guy's getting. You have to see how many instances it happens in. Like, if you hear one bit and you go, like, it was one, one bit. bit. Absolutely. Because there is something thinking. that can be very close. If you have close an open mind, all right, fine. Parallel. Yeah, I, I, I have try not heard one. Yeah, but, but you guys don't know. Let's try another one. Okay. You don't want to listen to me. Well, you'll have your say. Okay, thank you. Here's another example Louis C.K. first. My wife and I were thinking of having a baby and. I like to have a kid because you can name your kid anything you want. So I like that part. <laughs> I like to give my kid an interesting name, you know, like a name with no vowels, maybe, you know, just like <laughs> just like 40 Fs. That's his name. Go clean your room, you know, something like that. All right, so that's Louis C.K. Yeah, from 2001. Special. Louis About, is a fucking yeah. an original guy, man. Louis yeah. is a very, very out original. there original yeah. guy. Yeah, weird. All right, here's Dane Cook. Very weird. We got Bill Burns Studio. Bill was telling me off mic that uh, he's been waiting a year for today. Yes. Who hasn't? No, just a whole year listening to Pat from Munaki Puke. That's like the funniest audio ever. Isn't actually, that great? I've actually little, been trying to little. explain it to people. <laughs> oh. And we, that sound is that gurgling, sucking chest it's wound. Hilarious. 
kind of sound. A gallon of eggnog hitting a hefty bag. Yeah, yeah, it's always hilarious. And we learned that Pat Minaki's in love with someone that's not in love with him. Uh, during the break, I hope the rest of America understands. We're all just walking around going, "Oh God, no! Oh, oh God, no. this is oh, just going to no. end in a suicide." Yeah, it's going to be bad. You can't explain. I was trying to tell my girlfriend about the audio with of the puking, and you cannot explain to a girl. The beauty of vomit audio. There's no way to make that translate across no. gender. No. The chicks just don't dig vomit no, audio. it's almost like Three Stooges type thing or, you know, it's oh, just yeah, it's a girl gene. You think puke, it's a form of slapstick? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> it's one of those things that girls just go, I don't get it. It's disgusting. It's I don't <laughs> I don't get it. Why don't you go grow up? It's just stupid. I watched uh, Jackass 2. And there is a scene where Steve O is wearing some kind of space helmet thing, and he pukes in it, and it's it, <laughs> it's a glass fishbowl pretty much on his head, and he's vomiting into it, and it's filling up with puke, oh. and I'm roaring. It is just the funniest thing, and girls like just don't find that funny. I don't know why I find it funny, but it just is. <laughs> and she comes running in. She thinks you're watching, like, Sleepless in Seattle. <laughs> Tom Hanks said something cute. <laughs> and and all you're getting is this. Oh. Yeah. We're, and we're, laughter. Guys are pretty simple. By the way, uh, <laughs> he might make up the material right on the spot, and he's not like, he's commenting what's happened to him. And, again, this one, I would say he went on the stage and something happened happened to the kids or something. One time, I got to tell you one thing so you uh, clarify something. Let me explain something. Oh, you're please. in denial, okay. bro. No, no, no. Oh, I'm deep. not in denial. This, this Let is me. a little deep in denial, Jamie. Can I finish it? Jamie, can I finish you're, you're, it? You're, you're, it's not true because okay. he says that joke all the time. Okay. It's not like someone yelled at, what about kids, Dane? And then okay. he just said, okay. uh, I want to name a kid with a lot of letters together. Even though I've never heard anybody do that before. Okay, and I will okay. say, even though the bits are very similar, I, I did kind of enjoy Dane's bit, too. Did you enjoy it? He does it with the <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. Uh, one time, one time, a, a guy... Made me laugh. <laughs> one time, well, i got to tell you something. One time, Los Angeles Times was doing an article about uh, Robin William Robin William being taking material from other people. Yeah, true. And I... They call me, everybody, they talk to everybody in the industry, everybody. They say, yeah, Robin doing that. Robin did that on Tonight Show. Robin did that on from me here. Robin did that, that. But for Robin, my only thing is seeing him to what he's doing on the stage and how long he's been doing it. Robin is a type of person, he's addictive to laughter. And that's what I said. We call and him attention whores. I don't know if it's a. He it just doesn't like a, a drug addict. Is a, uh, he need a fix? The time he's on the right. stage, he need a laugh. Right. And it that's as know, opposed and Robin, to what? As opposed to every other fucking so, comedian. Yeah. As opposed yeah. to what alternative comedy? Yeah, that, that's <laughs> Jamie. Jamie. Dude, that, if, if you're defending, that's one of the shittiest. Uh, no, no, if, I'm not if saying you're defending no. it because he's addicted he to love, no, love, no, love, no, yeah, buddy. I'm saying he took it. He took it. He took it, and he took. Saying Robin Robin Williams is a joke thief. Absolutely, yeah. Okay, so we have Robin, but Dane no. Still Dane no? It's still Dane no. Let's hear the third one. Hold on, hold on. Treat Either. yourself Treat to yourself my material. To number three. Uh, okay, right. let's see. <laughs> <laughs> Treat yourself. Wait, Ari, what was your thought? Buddy. These are two. Wait, we got to get him to do it now, right? All right, let's hear it. Hold on a second. Hold on. Yes, Ari, Jeremy, can you do me a favor and just say treat yourself? Treat yourself. Uh, well, what did I say? What did I do? Nothing. Uh, Why are you there. picking on me now already? Well, yeah, you sound like you really know. Buddy, listen. Uh, you just sound more, like someone we know. One more bit, buddy. Someone that I... Whatever. All right, here's oh, the what? third someone example. took your right? material? Here's another one. <laughs> no, I jumped on his cake one day. Uh-oh. After he said, treat yourself. Uh-oh. All right, here's the third example. First, Louis C.K., the bit is called Itchy Ass. And I had an itchy asshole for like a week. And I could have won a million dollars. I still would have been going, fuck my asshole! It itches! I wanted to like eat bad food so I would like fart to scratch it. Oh, that's a damn funny bit. Oh, that's hilarious. Yeah. It itches. We're going to do that one on the radio Monday when we have a different audience. And uh, here's uh, oh, Dane Cook a few years later. The other day, I don't know if you've ever gotten this, about, uh, it was about 2.30 in the afternoon. I got the itchiest asshole I've ever gotten on record. Oh, it's the worst, isn't it? Oh, you just, you feel, usually you're at work or someplace that you can't focus on it. You got to do some other activities, right? And the entire day, you just kind of bounce around and try to, try to shake it out, right? 
Oh, man. Just rewriting material, man. Here's the deal. Here's the question, mm -hmm. Jamie. These are three bits from a Louis C.K. HBO special that all three bits appeared on Dane Cook's CD four years later. Okay. Now, that's you were telling me... Oh, okay. you, wait a minute. Do you think it's even possible that he stole them? Wait, wait, wait. Is it possible? Uh, let, let, I mean, let me finish what I'm okay, saying. Okay, but just answer that question first. Is it possible? I don't know. I don't, uh. you know, I, I personally, I don't think he's that type of person. He's mm -hmm. not that type of person, buddy. He's not a, buddy, a person. He buddy. buddy, he's he buddy, he is. He's not a thief. Okay. Hey. Okay. I yeah. mean, you said Louis C.K., he get an uh, itchy asshole, and but Dana, he would never have an itchy asshole. Maybe he never... <laughs> <laughs> That's what we're saying. That's exactly what we're saying. You got us right. I was going to say it. I was gonna buddy, say it. itchy asshole happened to everyone. I have itchy asshole right now. Right now. I'm I'm talking to you, my, my ass, ass is itching. itching. Kill so, me. So I can uh, say anything. My yeah. ass is itching. It's, because it's, I, I want to yell nigger because... <laughs> hey, so hey, hey. That's not... That's I, not, I not enough of that word. I gotta say one bucks. thing, man. He, Jamie is punching his way out of the corner. You gotta give him some. Oh, yeah, he really is. Fucking is swinging blind, bro. Oh yeah. He had. He he you know, no, it's like one of those old school fights where it's like ninety-eight rounds. <laughs> right. You are one hundred percent right that people will always be jealous of successful comedians and they always wish that upon themselves. But you're one hundred percent wrong that that happens with every comedian. That's not the case with Chris Rock. It's not the case with Dave Chappelle. It's not the case with David Tell. There's a lot of very, very successful very funny, very famous comedians that no one ever says a word about them stealing material. It seems like Dice, smoke, Dice and Kinnison both were accused after they became huger than huger. Thank you. Thank you. Never Kinnison, Thank stuff. Thank never you. Kinnison being accused. No? No, Kinnison well, accused yeah, Dice. Kinnison accused Dice of one bit. There was a, yeah. a bit that, uh, you know, Kinnison used to do a bit about gays. I don't know. How does one guy look at another guy's hairy ass and find love? How does that happen? Yeah. And Dice did a bit. How does one guy, you know, see another guy's hairy ass? And it was a very similar thing. Right. They'd work together. Who knows? But it was really like well, one. That's one. And when over, I was, I was in a club. The time they start fighting, they start punching each other in the face. Yeah, let's talk about and I try, club. I try to separate yeah. them because of, mm. you know, again, people that come close to <laughs> each other. You know, it just, uh -huh. you know, <laughs> really it does. cannot, you know. I mean, if you know a person, uh -huh. if I, you know, I mean, if I know Dane, as long as I know him, twelve years or thirteen years, he is not that type of person stealing. So maybe is they're close. But why he's so not that type he does? of why have, why have so many people say he does for like 10 years? Why is that? I have no idea because of you. Maybe the people, they don't know him. Jamie, I know, know three him. bits Jamie. from the same guy from the same HR All right, listen, special. we're not going to solve this okay. year. Yeah, we are not. No, We no. do have a plane to catch at 1.30. I like uh, it, though. Jamie Masada has a oh, club, uh, another yeah. version of the Laugh Factory here in New York, right? It's on, yes, sir. It's yes, on sir. 42nd Street. It's actually got a really cool vibe. It's over Show World, which is a, a really, it's, it's like a lot of the same uh, uh, interior was kept, like the fucking lights, and it's really a cool place to go, man. Uh, I got a cringe here. Whites only, only, though. Whites only. Absolutely. Whites only. That's right. That's right. Who's at the Laugh Factory in New York here? Oh, why you guys? Are you brought me in here, roast me, or you're trying no, to I'm pick on me? No, what did I do wrong to you guys? I was under a misconception. Like, like, that's what I, I mean, heard, I'm, I really, I love comics. I love everybody. I love Joe. Right, I love Jamie, everybody I love in here. You, you know, I mean, you gotta understand the Opie and Anthony show. You, I love you guys too. I listen to you guys all the time. I love you too, man. Yeah, I do. I do. My buddy from, my buddy Tony Vanderka called me. Of the show, Jamie. Like when you listen to this show, what's your favorite bit? Yeah. The time that all of you guys, comedian, they're on it. I love that Very show. Generic. Oh, wow. yeah. Very generic. Yeah. Right. Right. Name really one Hollywood. thing we've done. Said what? Name one, one bit one we've signature done. Signature bit. One signature bit. I mean, the, uh, for example, the stuff you do all of the time you do. <laughs> oh, my uh, God. No, no, no. Wait, wait, wait. The time you were in another station you, you were doing. I was fight. getting in Los Angeles. was getting a whole thing about you guys put in competition, sex stuff. was going to guy having right. it in church and all of that stuff. Yeah, it's, 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 church. It's, 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 it's O&A yeah. Party Rock. Does that, does yeah. that mean anything? O&A Party Rock? Yeah. yeah. Do you know what WOW is? Yes. What is, what is it? it? Wow! 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 Yeah! Wow! W O W. What is yeah. wow? Yeah! Wow! It has something to do with our show. Yeah. Wow! No. Wow! No. Yeah, no. Mm. All right. Yeah, wow! Well, we just started. That's that that we do, we, we don't do it that, that much. Bit. So yeah. We don't do it that much. You might recognize it as Flash Friday. Okay. Oh, Speaking like of ripping oh, off, yeah. don't who's Flash Friday? Yeah. Fucking like us. Oh, That's stinks. stupid Tom Lickass. <laughs> anyway, who's at the club this week in New York? Uh, everybody. 
Good okay. cop. Everybody. <laughs> Everybody. I mean, I don't want all of the seven like, stars. Michael Richards? Huh? No, Michael Richards? Yeah, plug. No, because you guys, you all, I, even name though I say, comic who's there, I, I know, I know, I know. Oh, for Jamie. Example. Hey. Jamie, name buddy. one comic who's Jamie, there. just say Michael Richards is going to be there. You, Dan Cookie's my friend, buddy. Yeah. Jamie could be, know you could be the president. You could be the fucking president. Why? I can see you at a podium getting asked a question and just fucking going like, if you want to, when are we getting out of Iraq? It's a big country, Did you say Aries Spears? Yeah. Tremendous thief. Oh, Tree here we go. Men. I knew I, if I said <laughs> the only guy anybody I said he's going to That's not on. true. That's what? not true. I'm a huge supporter of comedians. It's yeah. not true. Yeah. Aries Spears is a thief. And you know what he is, is don't you? Oh, yeah. Former cast member of Mad. That's right. TV. Yeah, and he worked with Damon Wayne right now on his new show. Uh, you know what Damon Wayne's is? A brother of other uh, Damon Wayne's uh, Wayne's uh, brothers. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what the fuck? There Excuse me. Excuse me. <laughs> what are you guys doing? To me? All right, listen. We got to wrap. I should have just said nigger. <laughs> oh, God. oh. 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 oh man. R. Nelson. <laughs> <laughs> what do you say, Jamie? Say it once, Buddy. just for old times' sake. Say it. What, what time. shall I say? Bigger. Yeah. The word. Say bigger. The, bigger. 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 Yeah. Okay, guys, you picked on me and I'm... Now say, no, now say no, no, now say no, nickel. No, no. <laughs> and we will edit All that right. together. <laughs> All right, guys, Nobody you're great. Thank no. you very much. Right, Jamie, say I love no you guys. Hold on. Word. Hold on, let me wrap this up. Yeah. Jamie, before you come back on the show, you got to do a little research. You got to understand our show. You, you don't listen to our show, which is fine. You're a busy guy. No, but, don't but I, forget. I'm working at the 2 o'clock, 3 uh, o'clock in the morning. Yeah, that's all right. fine. You know, I get mean, you got to look at this. In L.A., get an XM. Listen for a couple weeks, and then we're going to test you. Why don't we get Jamie okay. an XM? We can get Jamie Miss not an XM. No, we, I I guess, let's get, get him an XM. No, I, I get an XM. Right right right. Next time right. I'm in here, I'll, you test we me have everything. have one for him, then? Because we're very sharp here, right Jamie. Right we know when people Stop. are like kind of... Okay, okay. Don't get on my case, please, right. guys. Jamie I'm going to do it. No, <laughs> we are one of the best clubs in L.A., if not the best club. Beautiful fucking club. The Laugh Factory. Badass place. Once he gets rid of all the hacks, it'll be a really good place to Hey, hold on. And we backed you up on your N-word, Ben, even though I don't know theory like it, but I, I know why you did it. I, I backed him up on it for, right. the, for that reason. Uh, so right. you know, Jamie's always you. been cool to Thank me. You, I, I've been perform, uh, performing. Right. Jamie, just no. try to no. try to banish no. from my car. All right. <laughs> yeah, good luck. All right, right. drive home. Opie, what do you got? You going to the phone or something? <laughs> yeah, we have to because uh, it was a very busy day. We're almost forgetting that we did the eggnog drinking contest today. Uh, eggnog, Pat, yes. Pat uh, <laughs> Pat won it again this year. Yes, he he set a new record, 75 double shots of eggnog. We did the, the uh, baby bird. And we got our own Sam that we sent home early on Hi, the phone. Hi, Sam. Sam, what's I, up? I, uh, I got the video. It's uh, compressing now, and it'll be up in YouTube in 15 minutes. Oh, All right, here's the, problem with, uh, here's the problem with the video, though, because, I mean, with YouTube, it's going to hang out for about 24 hours before it's available in the, uh, in the, in the search. search in the regular put a, search. Put a link up on... Uh, on uh, Opie and Anthony dot com, and then we'll put one on Whack Bag and put right. one on other message boards, and it'll be great. And Everyone also, they it. could uh, search it out by just uh, searching out your account, OA Videos. Yep, that's the username, OA Videos. All one word, OA Videos. But uh, the first video clip and many more from the eggnog drinking contest are going up as we speak to Sam. Spread phone. like wildfire. This yeah, you one. guys, help us out on this one. Let's make this really viral. I don't think it's going to have much of a problem, but let's really push no, this one. I think uh, the puking on the face. Hey, where's that? Can you show Jamie that picture from Pat? Yeah. He wasn't over at Free FM. This yeah, this is, happened this is what happened today. The pictures are a real photo. The pictures are up on Opie and Anthony. A guy com. throwing up on another guy. That's eggnog. Throwing up in his mouth. Oh, my God. I saw it from the other room. Yeah. Oh, it's amazing. Fantastic. Isn't it, this is, it's almost beautiful. Yeah. It's almost beautiful. It's art. It is beautiful. That is artwork. It is Sam is going to be working on video clips all weekend long, so thank can, you, Sam. Can I, can I, can I do right, something? Can uh, I uh, can I yes. plug something in here? Absolutely. LaughFactory.com. Go see Joe Rogan. Go see everybody. They are wonderful guys. I love all of the comedians. We love you, Jamie. You know, it's just, uh, please, don't put me on the spot like that, nah, Joe. Jamie's a good guy. Uh, love one, you guys. one in Los yeah, Angeles. And to support the Left Factory here in New York on 42nd Street, it really is a cool club. When, I he, mean, yeah. when he said, uh, can I plug something, I was going to hand him a fork. Uh, oh, <laughs> oh, no. Oh, 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 oh,
Videos up on opianthony.com and YouTube. Uh, you know, do what you can with those uh, videos, guys. I okay. will be in West Palm Beach Monday and Tuesday broadcasting tomorrow night's the bake sale. And, and we're, what, what are we doing there? Bring on bands and shit? Yeah, it's just a hangout. Yeah, okay. we got up on stage. Bring on some bands. i got to go home and fun. fucking pack, man. No shit. shit. I don't even pack. know if I'm going to make the plan. I'm, I'm at the I'm Improv, Ontario, California. Bye, everyone. Oh, wait, 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 Bill Burr, what? In, uh, the Improv, Ontario, California. <laughs> All right. Uh, by the way, line of the Thank day, you, sponsored by BowdogFight.com. Like Log on and watch American fighters battle for the right to represent the U.S. in a bat against the Russians. It's all on BowdogFight.com. Here's today's line of the day. Next time uh, we talk, we'll be live from West Palm Beach. Yeah. Here, here comes line of the day, line of the day, line of the day. He's just drinking now. He's up to 70. Uh-oh. Oh, here we go. Here it goes. Oh, 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 my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. The baby oh, bird is going the down. The baby bird is happening. The it's baby happening. bird is happening. Oh, oh, my oh, my God. God. oh, my 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 God. <laughs> I I almost wet myself. I swear to you, I'm laughing so hard. I have never... We lost Jimmy. He's laughing so hard. He ran into the corner. Yeah! <laughs> A thunderous round of applause. Down goes Pat. Down goes Pat. He's wearing puke. Blackface. That was the greatest moment in radio history, period. Yeah, it's yeah. impossible to top that. Yeah, it's not possible.